somebody's post yeah, uh, spoilers. Yeah, good luck to all three of you, avoiding anyone being a dick in chat with spoilers, but, yeah. you know. I feel I like I'm not going to uh, open I'll... up the chat this time, just to be sure, because someone is going to super yeah. chat it for sure. I'm, I guarantee it. <laughs> I might look, I might not look at chat, I don't know. I guess, I don't I know, I, I guess I don't open. care that much. Um, well, if you spot anything, don't repeat it, I guess. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, there are ways to spoil it. It's oh, obvious. spoiler. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I actually need to get back to... Well, I guess we'll wait till the stream is up and live. and We're in front of all the people and their happy, smiling faces. Wow. Yeah. Should be Leave any moment now. Smiling faces. Gonna lead, lead this conversation into a positive direction. Yay. Hell yeah. Describing yes. our, our residences. It's funny, such. like... So many people will already just tweet with caps lock on. It was this, this, that, mm -hmm. that. And other people will be like, it was this, this, that, that. And I was just like, I saw it. That day. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I tweeted. Mean, <laughs> you, know, you know what? I think there's a benefit to, you know, thinking about it <laughs> instead of just immediately throwing your thoughts into the ether. But yeah, if I guess it's also just nice to see all the people <clears> react and you can just. Re not react to it, but you can see how the how the discourse is, and then you have. I like wow. to talk about do it that. Well. I like to see people's reviews of things, and I like to get other people's thoughts of things before I maybe put something out because they might legitimately bring up something that I missed, or they have mm -hmm. they might have God well, yeah. forbid an interesting or insightful perspective that I hadn't considered. And you have they to do be a bit very of, helpful. Like you know, you think Thinking and feel a thing, and then you have yourself. to go just say why a couple times, and you start yeah. getting way more insight. Well, it's the general thing, right? Whenever you think of a movie where the more you think about it, the more it falls apart, or alternatively, and much more preferably, the more you think about it, the more you realize how great it is. You gotta give yourself DLJ's, time to do that. TLJ is my go-to example for that, because yeah, I walked out of the theater yeah. confused. No. I, I was <laughs> sort of I was sort of shell-shocked when I walked out of that theater. Yeah. That was a <laughs> silent car ride home, I'll tell like, you that. Was that... <laughs> that was... That was... The character, yeah. Like, <laughs> and now like, I hate it. Good. <laughs> I think, I think that, that was one. that was that kind of movie where uh, you're like, was I just betrayed? I was. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah. speaking of um, I got uh, speaking of uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, they they emailed me uh Dang. yesterday, so. I'm curious. I guess they're doing another round of because I get one every once in a while, and I'll get them for both channels. Um, Tell me so I'll get like double emails. Bite. Oh yeah, I might do that. Yeah, I'll say I, my rate is one million dollars. <laughs> maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll translate that to dongs. Let mm -hmm. me do the USD to <laughs> dong translation. Is US. that an actual currency? Uh, yeah, the Vietnamese dong. Oh right, okay. All right, so I got to do the math on this one. There's gonna be there's gonna be a few zeros. Um, let's see. God, that's a lot of dongs. Uh, so that's one million times uh, twenty three zero three five. So that's all right. So that would be twenty three trillion thirty five million dongs. Okay. So I will do a raid Shadow Legend. Um, I will I will do a raid Shadow Legends ad for twenty three trillion dongs. <laughs> well, we'll have to see if they're uh, if they're going to be reasonable or not. You know. I think that's a fair rate. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. Uh, we're at the point now. I think uh, for you, where I'm I'm like hesitant to say absolutely literally anything, even like singular words describing emotional states that, in relation to this movie. Just I'm like, I wouldn't want to imply anything. <laughs> <gasps> She I just read. Yo, she just. Uh, I just got the email back for a price. Um, <laughs> this is. This says seven hundred. So that's strange. Mm. Or... Their, their prices have been very inconsistent. So um, they count. They. She said, uh, since we calculate the prices based on the last video's views, we could offer you seven hundred. So. That clearly isn't true, because I have received that money for dog bites. They have offered to do that much money for dog bites videos. Um, so I don't know. It's very, very strange. So their pricing is definitely very skewed and all over the place. Le oh, le oh, let me reply. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, um, I've... 
I've given your pro <laughs> position a decent amount of thought. <laughs> Send a and two minutes I <laughs> have considered. I have pondered uh, this for weeks. And I have. <laughs> let's see. I've given your proposition a decent amount of thought, and I have con. Uh, and I am willing to negotiate. <laughs> Dude, it would be really <laughs> funny if you were like, I just don't know if my soul isn't worth more than that. You know? And they're like, what? And you're like, well, your reprehensible. Uh, you know? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> your product uh, so, is horrible. <laughs> should I should I throw in an advice from my legal team? <laughs> I've been advised by my legal team not to sell my soul for this low. <laughs> legal team, I am... I will be making a counter offer. I will be making a counter offer of. I gotta get the symbol for Viet. No, I'll just say Vietnamese dongs. Um, counter offer of twenty three. Let me make sure I get the right amount of zeros, because I look at zeros and I just my mind. Uh, twenty three. Uh, do 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 do. That's a lot of zeros. Uh, twenty three trillion. Da, 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 da. Vietnamese dongs. Um, Vietnamese dongs. Please consider this offer and email me when you have post haste. That'll be a... Oh, that, yeah, that'll be good. Oh, well, oh I don't know. I no, I want yeah, encourage them to really take their. Oh, I could. Do you think so? They don't I could go the route to of... take their time, right? They should have the answer immediately. You're an Advice important from person. My legal team. Okay, I've given your proposition a decent amount of thought, and I'm willing to negotiate. <laughs> On advice from my legal team, I will be making a counter offer <laughs> of 23 trillion uh, <laughs> Vietnamese dongs. Please consider this offer. And e uh, please consider this off. Okay, so after that, we'll say, uh, please. Uh, uh, what did you say? Take hate or what? Post haste. My post haste. haste. Please return with post -haste. a. Yes, that's uh, right. Please return with a uh, verdict, or please return with a, your reply. Please return with your reply. Mm. Post haste. <laughs> as in the YouTube business, time is dunks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, as, as, oh, wait, instead of YouTube, I'll, I I will I might I know I won't say YouTube. I will say uh, verified. Uh, uh, let's see, freelance uh, influence. <laughs> in, uh, the as in the verified freelance influencer uh, business or entrepreneurialship. Can we do that? Do you think that would work? Just wanted to mention, by the way, we're already 15 chats behind where we were before the stream started. <laughs> this is worth it. Uh, it's it's entrepreneurship, not, not entrepreneurialship, yeah. just for the record. Uh, but, yeah, time, like, okay. Entrepreneurialship, is that I thought, what people say? I thought it, it? it's entrepreneurship. That I thought makes it was sense to me. Shit. You want Sorry. entrepreneurial... Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I thought it was yeah. entrepreneurial ship. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've given your proposition a decent amount of thought, and I'm willing to negotiate. On advice from my legal team, I will be making a counter offer of 23. Oh, I have considered, uh, legal team, I have considered your offer. Have considered your offer. Uh, and we'll be making a counter offer of 23 trillion Vietnamese dongs. Uh, please return with your reply post haste. As in the very, should I mention the exorbitant, um, uh, uh, what are they called? Overhead fees of my of my business over exorbitant overhead business fee uh, business uh, expenses. Or we could just leave it here. Thank you very That's probably much. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, you know, very much. Don't, don't ever complicate it. We wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> no. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant afternoon. No, it's probably like nine. So there's some Russian in the. Uh, uh, her name is Russian on behalf of the thing, so uh, pleasant. Well, I don't know. It's probably day somewhere in Russia at any time. So, um, 
I just say Isn't Red Shadow Legends developed by an Israeli developer? I guess that would mean the same oh, thing, right? Oh, that time would frame. be... A, oh, I thought you were going to say that's a... Okay. I, Someone in the office reads says like, Sir, there's another one that wants Vietnamese dong. Well, I guess they would have... There's probably no, some no, Vietnamese okay. YouTubers who've done ads, though, for Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, really certainly. That. Someone from yeah, Vietnam absolutely. wanted some dongs, yeah. Yeah, the whole world isn't just the United States. Yeah, I Mel. I've sent the email. Okay, we'll fuck see. you, Jesus. <laughs> see if she gets back Fucking to me. racist piece of shit. I mean, I am German. Come on, I have to be racist sometimes. Wow. You'd have Germany to. You'd have that. to give me more than seven hundred fucking dollars to, because uh, that their pricing is very skewed. You'd have to give me certainly way more than a thousand for me to completely betray my principles and shill for a predatory pay to win mobile game scheme essentially there's no way that anything like it'd have to be way way above a thousand for me to even consider doing that my breaking point is i mean i i've well i have a little I, bit of self-respect i i would i would like the idea that doing a raid ad will allow me to at least buy a playstation 4 you know like i don't <laughs> like maybe at the very least but even then that's that's quite low you, know? five you, or... you should well, because PlayStation mean five. 5 costs like $10 billion right now, right? So Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you said PlayStation yeah. 4, and I was like... I, I, I You said about 4 I, by accident. I, 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 yeah, you did. I was about to oh, say something. I, I assumed okay. you meant 5. I thought I was Should missing some context. I was like... Because you can, you can buy a PS4 with probably yeah. only millions <laughs> of dongs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. For the PlayStation 5, that's like, it's worth the whole entire GDP of, like, Spain to get one. It's crazy. Um, but before I read out any Super Chats, is there any question I could maybe answer for, for, that you would ask, Fringy? Like a yes or no one related to this film that, that I could answer, or are they all off the table? Um, I think the problem is that you probably know that I could infer a lot of things based on, uh, based on any questions about the film like if you said did you enjoy it and then you said yes that would that i think i'd be chill with if we were reversed right now i'd be fine with knowing if you did or not uh right i'm not <laughs> kind of <laughs> i just i want to uh you didn't I'm like just... spider-man no he's saying is that what you're saying <laughs> I'm so... felt like a trick Mad. to get me to like <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, all right. Not even, not even the simplest question of that. I mean, just ask me. Did you see the whole thing? And I could be like, yeah. There yeah. you go. <laughs> did you see all of it, including the post-credit scenes? I did. Were you so upset? You walked out of the theater. I already know what the post-credit scene is, so I don't really care about that. Yeah, wow. that, that was announced already. So it's um, it's Doctor Strange 2's trailer, which yeah, um, oh. I guess isn't out. Is that on, out on like YouTube yet? It's not out yet, and huh. well, I guess I guess if you've decided, oh, we want to show this at the end of the film, then maybe you're concerned about spoilers for No Way Home in that trailer. No, well, the only spoiler would be that Doc Strange isn't going to die in No Way Home, but I don't think that shocks right, any of you. We all exactly, <gasps> yeah. Um, interestingly, because you uh, did you say that the plot had leaked pretty much for Doc Strange too? Um, yes. Is, hey, we trailer? get to know the plot that we get to know the plot for that movie before the actors do. Oh, that's crazy. Well, um, we to start judging by the trailer. Judging by the trailer, it could still completely match up with what those leaks were. But uh, did the leak mention anything to do with adapting, kind of adapting uh, the what if scenario for Doctor Strange? I don't think it did, which I'm pretty sure because I have seen the uh, I have seen like the discourse on that trailer. And um, it seems like uh, people are wondering now if uh, if it lines up. Because it looks like from I haven't even seen that episode of What If, but a lot of things I happen in it that I was like, wait a minute, that's the What If, isn't it? I, I guess it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't watch like any of What If after the first like two episodes, so yeah. Yeah, mm. same. Yeah, we we all kind of tapped out. I don't think it'll matter, luckily. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, yeah, I, yeah. I doubt it will. Like, I doubt they're gonna make the movies and tailor them to to like line up with fucking like something that most people probably haven't even watched. 
Uh, Mordo's changed his look. I don't know if you like, would care anyway, but like, I just... I'm not excited to see yeah, him whatever. be back and being a bad guy. He was cause... such a nothing in the <laughs> Doctor Strange. He could have been Too something. He was, he was a nice he friend man, you know? He was friend man. But, but then he became evil. stupid evil. Now, friend what's man. interesting is... That's a downgrade. He, like, if we consider everything that's happened since Doctor Strange, he might have a point. Um, about Doctor Strange specifically. Well, right. Because, to be fair, I would chastise the fuck out of Doctor Strange for the Infinity War decision. Like, what the yeah, fuck was that? that? Was and he's like, well, it was the only way we could win. I'm like, bullshit, it was the only way you could win? <laughs> Fucking you wizard. You're telling me that in, in the endgame fight, you couldn't just trap Thanos in the mirror <laughs> dimension, and that would just be the end of it? It would be over. Versus controls or something? Make it a little bit more difficult? It just can't. Oh, well no, just like, because in Infinity War he tries and it doesn't work because he has the gauntlet, but he doesn't have the gauntlet in Endgame. Trap yeah. his whole army in the mirror dimension. <laughs> it's over. And I just, but Endgame, yeah. the number of options that Doctor Strange had to win. <laughs> like, I just... And you know, yeah. if everything were to be the way that you'd perceived it from the trailer of Spider-Man, maybe Mordo would have more of a point as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'll have to find out if that's true. I'll have to find out in some hours from now, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess, because we, we'll just have to move on then. If I, I literally, I yeah. can't even tell you if I enjoyed it. I can give no. you, um, random facts that could literally mean anything from the audience. Ooh. Um, in Britain, Ooh. we're a very, we're possibly the quietest audience you can imagine. The only, I think one of the, I, th I said this when we were talking about Endgame, one of the only times I've heard people cheer was when Cap got the hammer. I was like, whoa, yeah. British Same audience, TV. calm down. I've never heard you actually make noises. Um, that was pretty great, though, yeah. There was two big cheers for this movie that shocked the fuck out of me, not because of the event in the movie, but because of these people being, like, so loud. I was like, holy shit. Okay. Look at these people. Disgusting. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, it's, um, it's the same here. Like, people don't cheer... Like when, in movies. I'd be curious if um, what you guys' results are in your cinemas for that. Uh, I will count. Yeah, I, mean, I will I'll keep be... tallies of the amount <laughs> of cheering. Around, like, how many was that? How many people cheered? Can you put your was was that a half cheer? Or should we should we get a, like should we round well, up on this one? I will say though, when you see like some of those videos of the audience reactions, like I kind of hate it. Yeah, no. I... This is interesting to watch, but if I was in this theater, I'd be mad because I can't hear anything. Shut I, up. Like, I'm not here to yeah. it for you. I can, I, I can I totally agree with that, but I guess like the hammer one with Cap, I was fucking oh, smick was on really my face cool. for that. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah, um, I was, yeah, but, I was grinning. But that's what I'm here. saying, right? It's like it's cool when it's not when you see these reactions where it's just screaming constantly, nonstop. <laughs> it's like man, dude, there was. Can we just? I I want to hear some lines, please. <laughs> there was a bit of that. Like the example I can just give this easy would just be the when that Doctor Strange trailer was playing. And they were just showing bits and bobs. I heard someone go like, Oh, they're doing the what if episode! Okay. And I was like, um, yeah, thanks, shut the thanks, fuck up. <laughs> I know. Most like, people don't even know that what that feels, is here. That feels to me like, hey guys, I know what they're doing. Pay attention to me. Yeah, you it's know? just like, shut the hell up. Yeah. This is about me somehow. Okay, Oh, okay. I know uh, a thing so that you don't know. Twitter. A Splinter Cell remake. Is it yeah, they're doing a Splinter Cell remake. I was going to bring oh, that up. Someone had mentioned bad. it to me recently. Four. Uh, oh boy. Oh, he's so, so upset for him. Well, okay. I you always I don't get know. nervous. You get I don't nervous. know. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. I've played think. the first Splinter Cell though, so this that'll be uh. Will it be cool. a remake of the first Splinter Cell? Is that what I, it's going to be? Well, it says it's a. Yep, cookies, yep. So, Splinter Cell Remake, uh, that will draw from the rich canvas of the brand. Oh. The rich canvas of the brand. The way to put yeah, it. Yeah, I know, this is corporate words, just, that will draw inspiration from the whole series, <laughs> you know, like. Oh, uh, uh Jay started No Way Home 25 minutes ago. Oh, boy. Oh. Jay will be joining oh. us on Saturday Day because Ew. that's essentially the OG Spider-Man crew for EFAP. We don't. We, we're gonna do our take first. We're not gonna involve any of the crazy people with adaptation or the crazy people with MCU Spider-Man has no agency. All right, they'll come later. No, because I yeah, that's, <laughs> they, that they is can have a time later. later. But I don't want to. I don't want to spend time talking about that straight away. 
Um, no, this this game is clearly far away though, because the ad that's announcing it is also saying, "Hey, come work for us to make it." <laughs> so, all right, I guess uh, I guess there's still a lot of time left. I can't I can't wait for I I guess I never thought about a Splinter Cell battle royale, a stealth based battle royale. So I mean, who knows? So I mean, I I no I nah I I the problem is at this point is like. I hear that and it's like that could be cool but no I no i i'm not wanting it. it i'm just like there yeah. how will they try and take this and turn it into a battle royale i think i think the question is when you think about that remake and the dead space remake is so how are you going to monetize these games yeah like is it just point of sale because it probably won't i don't know point of sale at this point is like really not as good from a profit standpoint as like microtransactions it's uh so yeah, I even going to Dead Space Two, they had armor and weapon skins and packs and stuff that you could get. Yeah, DLC. Um, we always want to sell DLC. A hundred percent of the profits, basically, yeah. from that, and so, very low. Uh, I I only like, hope that it's that inoffensive. If well, I hope it's nothing. Ideally, but I hope be. it's nothing. But I think that's. Uh, I don't yeah. want to set myself up for disappointment. Disappointment. Yeah. When it turns out that it's just some, it's just some shell of an experience that's trying to hook as many people in to make it worth it, so that they'll spend lots of money, like Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> um, so shall we begin? Yeah, I no. suppose we could begin. That's very what well. Do, right? <laughs> I will start with today's, and I will cycle back and forth with older ones, and we'll see how much we can get done. Who knows? All right. Uh, I recommend the YouTube Running Shine. His is, is that? Oh, the YouTuber Running Shine. There you go. His Ocarina running video was shine. funny stuff. Okay. I running have no idea who that shine. is, but yeah, sweet. Mm. Uh, Drinka said people he trusts said it was good. Well, that could be anybody. Uh, that I, could some be, some people yeah. assumed it was me, and I was like, look, Drinka knows a lot of people in Britain. Uh, uh, and I'm like. I ain't saying the movie's good or bad. Uh, I'm not touching that. Just like okay, to to be completely clear, I don't think I'd be claiming either of those things, even if I thought them, because uh, I want to think. Because we haven't while. seen them. Well, you well, haven't seen it, loser. He's seen it. Well, yeah, yeah. You gotta think about it. Yeah, but three of us haven't, and you know, I know That's you can avoid spoilers and trying to. Well, you know, what I'm suggesting it. is that um, even if I thought it were good or bad, I'd need to be sure and think about it for a bit. Mm -hmm. Instead of just shitting your take out there because you're desperate to be first like, and listen to. Brown Table has been tweeting about how he's ready to cry. Like, it, it, <laughs> like just, I'm ready to calm cry. Down. Calm that's down. Just, calm I know you're not allowed to say this sort of thing, but that's such a girl thing to do. <laughs> it's like, I am preparing to cry. I don't know, just calm down. Just calm down. You'll be fine. Calm down. Cal, can you calm down in a situation like this? <laughs> it's serious. It's Spider Man. Uh, by the way, that's not us making fun of the idea of shedding us here in this movie. That's not no, that's us it's literally fun of just. Table. This... I guess it's just the idea that you're searching for affirmation on Twitter of like, hey guys, look at me. Look I feel at me. things for uh, Spider Moon. <laughs> I know that you're all thinking about this movie, but I need you to think about me for a little bit. How does this all relate to me and my experience and me? And whether I'm going to cry. That's, I don't know, that's what it feels like to me. You know what's funny, though? It's all fed into each other. Like, several people were annoyed at me. They were like, tell me what you think. And they're like, <laughs> not yet? Like, wait? That's, they're like, that's what? That's kind of interesting, though. It's like, I don't know. For some movies, I want to know what people think. But for this one, I'm, I don't want to know what people <laughs> think, really. <laughs> I barely want to know what I think. I'm trying to think of like the most <laughs> valid -d 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 reads, and, and I'm guessing if they were like, well, because I want to know if I'm going to go see it, I'm going to base it off whether or not you recommend it specifically more than I'd be like, oh, well. That would be surprising for this <laughs> movie, well, I guess. <laughs> I think there are some people who just don't care that much about <clears throat> Spider-Man, and they're sort of, huh, so-so in the MCU. And, mm -hmm. Oh, definitely by now. You yeah. know, they're, they're, white, like, if they're like me. This is one of the last ones I have even any level of interest in. So they're just sort of, uh, you know, like, huh, should I go or should I go see something else? Or is it worth um, seeing? Because I know Marvel's such a mixed bag. Out of curiosity, bringing, how many hours until you will be talk to about it? Um, how, is it like talkable two, two or talk to right? 
so probably like seven or eight hours. I'm just trying to think. If, awake, I'm or? trying to see if I'm going to be awake or not. Because I, I um, I mean, if you if you want to stay awake, I'll, as soon as I'm back, I'm happy to talk about it because that'll be. I'll probably want to talk. I will say, if I had seen it before this started, I would be struggling not to say anything. I would well, imagine. Yeah, I mean, I'll be fine, but there you go, that's a huge spoiler. I would like to talk about several things that happened in this movie. <laughs> yeah, of course. But I mean, several things happened in this movie? Several oh, things. Oh man, might as well, I'm not going to watch it tonight, Dang. guys. What a spoiler, several things happened. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's not even just the one thing, or even the two Damn things. Impact. A couple. Oh, by the way, th this is something of a tangent, but hey, thanks for adding other game modes into, like, Halo. Uh, <laughs> three. That was nice. I'm you glad you made enough it. money from selling Slot. white that we could get some more game modes. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, but still, they work faster than the, the Epic Store with the trolley. The easiest ones to implement, <laughs> though. Not, it's like tactical. It's called Tactical Slayer, but it's SWAT. It's like, okay, that should have been... That's easy, right? So in terms of adding things like One Bomb or uh, or King of the Hill, I guess that's going to be a lot further Yeah, because this is just like settings. No shields, headshots. These are just settings, exactly. Yeah. And like, like four, okay, just, yeah. Instead of teams, it's it's everybody, which should have been there straight away, but for whatever reason, it wasn't. Okay. Um. um I was gonna say something different. In this topic. Are we good on that one? That's or? fine. Okay. I got nothing else. I forgot to tell you guys. So I thought it was funny, and I guess the EFA audience might find it funny as well. But I was on uh, the latest open bar. Um, Anna, that Star Wars girl, myself, obviously, uh, Robert Meyer Burnett, uh, uh, he had a, quite a few people on it, Sargon as well, just sort of celebration for his, uh, subscribers. And, um, Drinker mentioned that he'd seen, I think, like, five episodes of Midnight Mass or something, and, um, I was, like, just about to be like, oh man. Stop yeah. there. Yeah, because I, I was like, you're almost the, and, um, Anna went, oh, the last episode is so fucking bad, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And he was like, yeah? And she was like, yeah, they screw up a whole bunch of shit. A lot of characters get fucked in that episode. And I was like, ooh! I like ooh, <laughs> yay! Our island grows by a is... tiny, tiny little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was some way to shade the criticism we get. Maybe if we dig a hole. Oh, Aristosthenes just, would be happy. Just, I, was about to say, I mean, I've got you know, the cap you face just, on right now, just like yeah. yeah. And you could just hide mm. underneath a tree, really, you know. <laughs> worst comes to worst, yeah. Trees actually defend you from the sun. Uh, a lot yeah. of people use trees that way, actually. You just a blanket. <laughs> you know how, like, I, I mean, in the same way that Isaac Newton, he was just sitting under that tree. That changed his life, sitting under a tree <laughs> when, if you stand in the sun, you just burst into Bro, flames. That could change your life, too. Isaac not Newton knew it. what was up, okay? He knew what was up. He, he didn't he, know what was up. He was... Maybe he was... Maybe that was his secret, that he was uh, a bit of a vamp guy. Um, someone said, hasn't she been a fan of EFAP for a long time? It was like, well, yeah, but I, I don't expect to line up with everybody on everything who's a fan of EFAP. Uh, we don't. Yeah. In fact, we, just we don't. Do I've seen, yeah. yeah, we outright don't. And I've seen, like, everyone, including, like, loads of actors and directors and stuff, praising the fuck out of everything to do with Midnight Mass. Not that directors would have any reason to, you know, directors are rare to do something like that. Like, oh, that episode was shit. But, um, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah the, it, it was just amusing to see someone else in the wild, in a sense, be like, yeah, it was that last episode that fucked everything. It's like, true. It's a shame because it should be obvious with how bad it is. Oh, it, do yeah. it doesn't it's, it's hide a disaster. its badness. Yeah, it's, it is um, a disaster. I feel like uh, like pe people who are like in the, heavily defensive of it don't quite get how humans work, um, and they're very uncharitable shame. to the criticism. Mm -hmm. Well, you I, have I guess to be. It's just how do you how do you sit there and explain like a hundred people? just agreeing, including with their kids, just agreeing to die. In Horrible. a very well, we painful way. Um, One of the worst yeah, in ways a very painful way. We yeah. went over how, how As we... As they sing and smile. How we understand Despite the mechanics the to work. Um, I mean, it's not fantastic, but you get some you get some benefits, and I think I'd live with that well, for yeah, sure, that, actually. I, I, think the, I think the big thing is, you think about the vampires in Midnight Mass, it's like, we see, we see in multiple instances that they have agency. And the capacity to make the decision not to uh, indulge their bloodlust, we see that with uh, the Monsignor. We see it with Pruitt. I mean, we see that with uh, Riley. We see that with uh, yeah. Riley's mum and dad. 
they all so if if they have that capacity isn't that, then it's like hmm isn't that great isn't by the way lot, as a message just, instead of like eh, you might not be able message. to deal with that's it so what, kill yourself that exactly <laughs> that's it i think really, that's the fundamental yeah. thing is like if you have a story it's about a dick a it's story a... about addiction, and then you give the characters this very bad addiction. It is some real weird messaging that the good outcome is to cease being. Like, that is bizarre. No way they'd all agree to. Why is Bev the only one who doesn't agree? Well, yeah, I mean, think about how many of those people happily drank the floop juice. Because yeah. they wanted to- they wanted to live. They were so desperate to live that they were happy to just drink it immediately. To then yeah. just immediately want to die, but that's because they turned them into zombies in the last episode. They they have that, like, yeah, the, the and that's excluding. Go ahead. Only excluding have. important characters. <laughs> I was going to say excluding all the stupid decisions everyone makes. Yeah. Yes. What's that metal? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just that's just the one half because there's the other half that actively tried to be vampires this whole time. We're just fucking people over, being bad people, and they just in the end like, no, we're, we're cool now. <laughs> and like, also uh, to kind of absolve them, you know? Like, oh, I'm sorry. It's yeah. like, dude, like, you're a bad person. <laughs> you, you, you thought about this. Like, the other people who didn't agree to this, I, I think that they have a lot of, like, leeway, you know, the people who didn't agree to do this. But the people who orchestrated this plot, like, yeah. you made that we, choice. We see that one guy, I, I forgot his name. It's like, oh yeah, I turned him into a vampire, and the guy comes back. It's like, I killed my whole family. It's like, yeah. oh, it's gotta be fine. It's like, fuck, yeah. you're a well, piece of you're... shit. Something we um, we, I was talking to you about it. I think yesterday. Time is a mystery to me. Uh, the <laughs> guy. So like the, the, I'm pretty sure we went over this when we first talked about it. But um, fucking realization, man. Like of all the main characters desperately working against the clock to get rid of every source of shelter before the sun comes up. When you're just sitting there like. How about we wait until after wait the sun, until comes, the sun up. comes up, and then the vampires are trapped, and you can burn the buildings down right with now, them in them. They are immune to guns, almost, and um, they have gun. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it, just wait. <laughs> just Maybe wait. there's another time. Yeah. If you just if you're in the universe the and they're all planning their little shenanigans, you're just like just hide, just hide somewhere until the sun comes out, hide dude. Until the sun comes up. The ticking clock is not when the sun goes up. The ticking clock is when the sun goes down. down. Again. And God, just imagine. Wait. I just, I just guess it would be too cruel of a scene, right? Where they're all in the church or whatever building that is, <laughs> sleeping, and all of our minute. heroes are yeah. just pouring gasoline all over it, and like we did it, everyone already, because they can't get us. The sun's <laughs> out. They're fucked. Right, it doesn't and, have as many, and, and of course that doesn't give you an excuse to just kill off like, all of the characters. There are people like, are so blinded by their love for the rest of the show, which I understand that they like don't even yeah. they don't even take any uh, of those criticisms. They're like, no, nope, all of you, all of them wrong. You're like, wow, it is I. It is ironically a, a rather religious position they're taking up. Ah, nice. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know if Drink has finished it yet, but I worry for him. Just like run. I worry as well. <laughs> I hope he likes the legitimately good parts because there are many. But fuck Hell me yeah. in the asshole sideways. That last that last episode. Oh hey man. Oh ho, ho, ho. He's, he's working now on House of Usher, the fall of House of Usher. So we'll all be <laughs> jumping for joy the With second Mark that comes Hamill out. In it. Yeah, I read the yeah. story. Hell yeah, man! I, I like. Uh, give me another Mike Flanagan attempt. You know, I I'm, I will <laughs> happily take more Mike Flanagan attempts. I'm, oh yeah, I don't like yeah. I'm more happy that yeah. Midnight Mass exists as is than not existing at all. You know, I'll Definitely. take getting five good episodes. Yeah, or six, I'll take right? It. Yeah, yeah. Six, six, actually. Yeah, yeah. Really. I'll. Yeah, they, I'll take it. It's better than what we normally get. There's legitimately great stuff in there. I'm happy we got a show that had great stuff in it. Um, I've loved Pokemon my whole life, but the campaigns are baby difficulty, so Nuzlocke is one of the best ways to play. I guess that's like one of the challenges that you do. Oh uh, yeah, Nuzlocke means that it's like when a Pokemon faints, it's dead. Like it doesn't come back. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought Nuzlocke was the name of a Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I could believe that, yeah, but... Uh, it which could is... be. <laughs> <laughs> Nuzlocke. <laughs> no, that's yeah, a funny name, isn't it? Uh, why are you talking about Super Chat? Spider-Man is out. Hey, Saturday. Oh, right? Not for me. Well, to be fair, I don't even think many people have seen Spider-Man just yet. Uh, no, like it's at all. just out. It's not a lot of time. It just came out and Britain had it, like, I think, the earliest? <laughs> or one of the um, earliest. 
I think a few countries got it, but like very few. The UK is one of the first. I don't know why we got it so early, but we did. Um, a lot of it movies must have been very come good. out on Friday, and a lot of movies <laughs> come good. out in Australia on Thursday, <laughs> and a lot of movies seem to come out in Britain on Wednesday. Well, I ain't complaining. Up. Man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because Fringy had to wait long for Dune. Yeah, Dune was yeah. just this weird was anomaly, absurd. though, where it just, uh, yeah, I the don't fact get that it. you got to wait, like, another three months. Is, uh, does I think anyone... it was because theaters were closed in, like, uh, a lot of states, so was there it? wasn't much of an incentive to put it out. Like, you just wouldn't mm. have that many people being able to go, but of course, like, theaters are open here, so. Would there have been an amount of time that you'd have to wait that you would have said, fuck it, I'll watch it on streaming instead? Um, yeah, probably, but I mean, a couple of months, that was fine for me. Would it be like a year, do you reckon, or...? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I think at that point it'd be like, man, I, I feel like I'm missing out. Because, of course, you know, I want to I want to experience it in, like, the yeah. super duper cool way, you know? I know for... I do like, um, I do like movies in theaters. Me too. Uh, for me, there was definitely the aspect of, like, with... Because my dad and I, we hadn't gone and seen a movie in years at the theater. Literally so years this, at this point. Literally right? years. Yeah, it did, it did yeah feel literally kind of years. Um, yeah. It had been almost... I mean, it had been almost two years to the, almost two years exactly, because it was The Rise of Skywalker, which was the last one for me, but for the both of us going to see Sonic. something. Okay. I think, that, I think the last I one was still... Rise of Skywalker for me as well. Yeah, but for the both of us uh, going together to see one, it had been longer, and I wanted to, you know, go out and see one again with him. And Dune was, we we both liked it, so I'm, I'm glad he got a good theater experience. I certainly enjoyed it. Yeah, he, wants to see the, to he wants to see Moonfall. Oh, oh he's, the Roland he's not Emmerich interested movie? In, <laughs> yeah, because we like those dumb popcorn cruncher disaster mm. movies. We're, we're mm. big on it. We, we really like them. I, so I kind so of enjoy them too. See it. But yeah. I don't want to see another thing where Gordon gets chewed up in the gears and we all just forget <laughs> about him. I don't know. Does Rags know what that reference is? Or? Is that the one Do from... You, uh, is that... Oh, is that the one from 2020? Oh, I, yeah, I said 2021. It's 2021. Uh, I was like, oh god. 2012. Gordon was like the the new, I think, the husband dad, or like yeah. boyfriend. So you know, taking on the mantle of stepdad. He was just a good guy, a really good guy. He was a pilot who saved their asses so many times. Like they'd all be dead if it weren't for him. He's the gross um, stepdad. He was we don't like him. And, and he was, and he was, you know, I mean, he was reasonably friendly with uh with John Cusack. Like, in terms of being, you know, nice to him and not cutting him out. And, uh, he gets chewed up by some gears. He has, like, the most painful death. And then they all just forget about him, and John Cusack reunites with his family, and then I care that Gordon's dead. And I hate oh. it. I fucking hate it. And to me, that was, like, peak the thing I hate about a lot of Roland Emmerich films, where there is, like, very little consideration for the lives of people who aren't main characters. I, I hate it. I really do. Um, oh, the uh, it, the the greedy billionaire gets a better death than uh, yeah the greedy he billionaire because he dies a, to save his son. Death. Yeah, well, Gordon, yeah, exactly. Like and Gordon gets shoot up by some gears. Which but then is again, which, which kind of reminds died, me of like, Midnight Mass. The Russian oh, God, yeah, dude, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Fringy. Oh, just I remember another one in 2012. There was a Russian pilot who worked for the 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 oligarch guy, who flew the massive jumbo plane that got them to uh to like Nepal, where they needed to go for the for the lifeboats, and he dies. He falls off like the cliff, and they just don't really care that much. It's really annoying. And then also like the I think the 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 guy's trophy wife, she also dies, and there's like no consideration for her either. It's just something that happens in Roland Emmerich films. Like I hate it. Yeah, of course, the mirror here with Midnight Mass is that pretty much all the characters, they get the same fate regardless of their of moral their status moral, or yeah. their decisions or their you agency. They they all get the same end. You know what reminds which is, me of... Um, sucks. You, you, you bringing that up about... Because I'm thinking of the... I, I was going to say the protagonist. I don't know if we can call it that. I've forgotten a name now. Um, so have I. <laughs> I oh, well. Riley. Um, she... Uh, the the way in which she is attacked by the vampire kind of reminds me of the Ray Shields in Revenge of the Sith, where it's just like, oh, okay. It's like, how did that happen? Right. Just like, just did. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Just did. 
I, I will say, like, Rags, the point you made about the fact that every, like, Midnight Mass wants to trick you into believing that the crazy religious lady is like, ah, she got her come up and she was screaming. It's like, dude, they all experienced the same thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it, they, they just don't show, it's one of those things, if we're not showing it in graphic detail, there are, those, all of those people are screaming in agony as they including die. Including the their children. Kids. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's the always children. the big thing to remember, including the kids. But we're just not we're just not going to show it, so you won't think about it. Maybe they're all just standing still and just like, out of hey, sight, I want you to think about, in... You know what? What do you think it feels like to have your blood just to combust inside of you? It's like, good. think about that. I like how you said inside. Think about how you, much... Like, because you wanted to make sure as... no one confused as to like watching yeah. your blood combust in the <laughs> science it lab. Like, blood, yeah. It is. It is. It is combusting in your veins. Your veins are on fire. Your blood vessels Your are on fire. Your veins are Think on about fire. That. That's a, that seems like a song name. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. That is. That 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 was a that was a really bad use of television. Mm -hmm. I hate it, it to this day. Yep. Yeah. Definitely in my go-to list of endings that you fucked it up. Did incredible <laughs> damage to the rest. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Feels bad, man. So it said, if I'm being charitable, I think the evil religious lady was just screaming because she really doesn't want to die. But to be fair, burning up should cause everyone to scream. I was going to say. Like, yeah, it really exactly. should. Yeah. I think really burning should. to death is probably going to hit. <laughs> there are, uh, that's not the way you want to go. That's not, that's not, that's not how you want it to happen. Uh, the Cerberus Harrier in Mass Effect 3 is Goat Gun. I can't remember that one. The Cerberus Harrier. Um, I bet if I saw it or you reminded me what it was, I would probably remember. But the names, I just do not remember the names of the guns. I remember the Vindicator. Because um, that was in... I think there was a pistol called the, the Talon. But I, I just can't remember the names of a lot of the guns. I liked playing that game as a pure adept. Because ME3 had a nifty system where the less guns you took in, the faster your powers recharged. So if you wanted to play a soldier, right, you could have all your guns, and they were really good, but you didn't get your, your like, your concussive and shot as much. But alternatively, you could play as an adept, which is a pure biotic, and you could just bring in the minimum pistol, and you could just fucking go ham with biotic powers, and you could use them really quick, which was just fun to play. Um... So I, I I really did like that about Mass Effect Three, cool little gameplay thing I enjoyed. You just flunk people around. You could you could arc like the way that you aimed at enemies. You could hit them behind cover with some of your biotic stuff. So you'd 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 aim to the like if someone was behind a pillar or cover, you'd aim to the left and hit them with like a biotic push. And so you're aiming to the left and then they flump over towards the right because where it hits them. And it was just it was really. That was really, it's kind of fun to do. That was kind of deep, yeah. It was kind of fun. I enjoyed using the <clears> magic <throat> space badge. Watch Elseworlds Arrow vs. Crossover for more Ruby Rose Batwoman. I have I will forever, it, that's our little our last piece of Ruby Rose Batwoman we haven't experienced, okay? <laughs> we cherish it. It's like, it's my heart of thorn, or sorry, it's my, it's my blood and wine. I haven't finished blood and wine yet for The Witcher 3. Cause I just I want it to be there for me to go to. You, you, you know, know you've said that so many times. Yeah, I know, I, I know, I, I, I understand. I don't understand it. I, I, I don't. It's it's well, weird. I was gonna say I, we will watch the Ruby Rose thing eventually. eventually. We, we've got <laughs> normal no, Batwoman to see still. <laughs> I just think. Yeah. It was great to of... see her in Resident Evil. It brought us back to a happier time <laughs> when she was true. beating up criminals we, in yeah, the streets we... of Gotham. Can we just highlight once again, I know we did in the actual EFAP movies, but I don't even know if you remember this, Friggy, because it's such, all those movies are so bad, but they, like, go to a big place, and there's, like, this weird area where they're walking through big blades that are, like, a spooky, you know, uh, trap, and then they're all walking through, and I think um, Ruby Rose gets, like, caught on something, and it, and it sort of, like, scrams her or whatever, and she's like, ugh, and then she puts a middle finger to the camera, and then it shows Ian Glenn watching her, and I don't know, I think he gives an order to, like, activate the thing. He's like, wait, what? And then those blades, they start spinning. Turns out it's a big fucking fan, a series of fans. No, no, and it starts getting right. so fast within seconds that everyone's already struggling to walk. They're, like, they're getting pulled back. 
And they're like, everyone grab onto something. And then, like, the, you know, there's just good things to grab, except for Ruby Rose, who's about to fall into the. Oh my god, blah, 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 blah. and then she gets grabbed and saved. And you're like, oh, that was close. And you, we watch her in. bag, like, fall into it. Um, right. Yeah, it treads it, yeah. And it's, it's like, it's over. But then it, like, keeps going. And then she gets picked up again. And then they can't hold on to her this time, and she just falls in and dies. And you're like, oh. <laughs> oh. It's very strange. Yeah, so she strange. Has <laughs> Just like no impact on the plot whatsoever. No, she's yeah, she's just sort of yeah. in it. Because if you're if you're in those movies and you're not Mila Jovovich, just rip. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. Because they all that's like a that section they all get killed one by one, don't they? Um, and it's not the first time either, where all of the survivors just like but, die. The, you know, the, there's no yeah, there's the, no one to care about except her. She's just this is her story, and you all of you are just worthless additions to her story, and your time is limited, and you will die in silly, <laughs> ridiculous ways. Yeah. Well, that like that that's is, Secretary yeah. Death and Jurassic Park or Wesker. Like we, uh, we the, hate Wesker's the, the death the with the foot smoosh <laughs> so much; it's considered on the level uh, of the so Jurassic dumb. World death. That, uh, <laughs> that Secretary one is just bizarre. I, I don't know why it's like so mean. Nobody does. Yeah. Uh, nobody knows why that happened. It's almost like it, it's think comical in the way that it's just, it comes out of nowhere, <sighs> practically. And then it just goes Specifically on for so very, long. Yeah, it's like a joke. It's yeah, kind of it's interesting just like a we, joke. We kind of highlighted it with, with Midnight Mass. These are like a basic sort of, we don't talk about these things very much on EFAP because we try to stick to consistency in writing, but satisfying villain deaths versus satisfying hero deaths, you're like, you don't have your hero like fall into an no. acid pit and go wah, 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 and his bones well, go away. Uh, uh, um, and meanwhile, yeah, you don't exactly. have the villain die in his sleep peacefully. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, yeah, oh. I, I mean, I feel like uh, I, in it, 24 has a, a couple interesting... So, uh, By the way, that I was, think his name is... I just want to clarify, that, that wasn't like a strict rule in any way, shape, or form. Oh, like, no, sure. Exactly. I think this yeah, is more just like, like satisfaction feeling and... you get. Yeah. 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 Like, so I don't like, want to walk out of a film and feel miserable. That doesn't mean you well, can't make me miserable. I just would rather not feel I'd that rather way. Not. <laughs> I'd rather I'll not. You, yeah. I, there was, uh, in 24, I, I, oh, was Mason, that was his name. Uh, he was, he was like the CTU director, and, and then he, uh, he gets exposed to radiation and is very, very, very ill. Um, and, like, he's going to die. His time is up. Um, and then he gets put in a situation where he can fly a plane that has a bomb in it, like a massive thermonuclear bomb and he gets like a heroic send-off for basically flying it out into the desert and it's like that feels appropriate he did something really noble yeah. um and the show like recognizes it meanwhile it's season six the worst season of that show there's a character called curtis who's been nothing but a chad throughout the whole series constantly putting himself in danger to save lives he's an awesome dude um for whatever reason, I think there was conflict behind the scenes in terms of pay, so he got killed off, and he dies because for some reason he just kind of goes a little bit nuts and jeopardizes the mission, and so Jack has to shoot him, and it's really uh. lame, and everybody hates it, and rightly so, because it's really annoying when characters who are good just get these shitty send-offs. I can, like, uh, it's just annoying. You've now triggered a memory I'm aware of only as of recently for a show I don't even watch, but um, this one, those people in chat will know exactly what I'm talking about because they'll be passionate fans, but... Do you know about the Expanse one, with this the almost exact thing you just described happened? I don't think I am familiar with that one. One of the main characters got cancelled IRL, and I think he got fired after the season was already filmed. So right. it's like, wait, how do we kill him? And um, basically, like, there's a scene where he's piloting something to help people get into a thing, and in the actual story, it just all went without a hitch. And then they edited it so that CGI blood is on his nose or something, briefly. And then the, the characters ask where he is, and then I think one of them just says, Oh, he had a stroke. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, was, he, like, it's something to do with what he was flying, uh, in the way that he was, like, I cover what their explanation was, but I fucking laugh my ass off when I heard that. To do with, like, he pulled off the golden stuff, scene you know? maneuver. <laughs> Yeah, you're not supposed to use that maneuver. Everyone well, knows that. Uh, there's like a one percent of the audience that are like it's so poetic. He died doing what he loved, piloting. It's like shut the fuck up. This is like some <laughs> no, weird doing bullshit. What he loved piloting. <laughs> he died doing what he loved. <laughs> <laughs> having, what? A having a stroke. Having He loved. He loved oh. having a stroke. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Oh, <my> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I thought I, that was I, hilarious. Is... 
But that that's all part of it, right? And you're right, we don't talk about this as much, but this is this is the thing that I used to not like when I was thinking about these. But but the thing is, is right, is like, what criticism do I have for Gordon getting chewed up by the gears? It's like, I don't know, it's more of like a moral one, almost. Yeah, it's just like we involve them every once in a while. A we invoke guy. our our reactions and things yeah, on an emotional if, level, I think. Yeah, if I was reviewing that, I'd be like, so this just happens and I hate it <laughs> yeah. and it sucks, well, so but I, I guess think, that uh, happened. <laughs> well, I think it's one of the things we talk about in Batwoman, right? Batwoman is a good thing at highlighting this. Like, f stories tell you something about what you're supposed to think. And when what you're supposed to think doesn't line up with what you've been presented, it really feels awkward. So, like, for instance, if you had heroic music as a hero is just, I don't know, like, killing a bunch of good guys, it's just like, wait, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, oh no, the better one. Uh, WandaVision is a good example. The show is oh, not condemning yeah. Wanda. The show is not condemning her. Like, well, Monica's statement is what the show wants you to think, but it doesn't line up with what actually happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's really dissonant. When, when you said, like, good guys killed a bunch of soldiers with, like, I guess, heroic or maybe even Happy action music, music yeah. I immediately thought of... Da, 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 while yeah, she's just wiping uh, yeah. through that, <laughs> <laughs> that I think that's one that a lot of people don't pick up on because no, they're just like, no. oh yeah, they're like Germans, they're the bad guys. It's like it's World War okay. One, guys. Okay. Like it's a yeah, well, they're they're not okay, the bad guys well, in World War One. If that, anything, that might have been it, a failing ugh. on the British education system because I know that, but I don't think I learned it in school. Uh, well, well the, World Germany, War One is unfortunately World War I, yeah, like all the education in Britain to do with wars World War like, is much more oh, World War Two. Yeah, so in Australia, yeah. it's much yeah. more World War One. Um, we focus a lot more on World War One than Two, which is kind of interesting because, of course, we participated in both, and it's not like our role in both was negligible. Um, I think the reason why we focus more on World War One here, though, is because and like Gallipoli is generally considered to be the birth of the national identity for Australia. It was the first time that Australian soldiers fought under our flag. Um, it's like the most important, like Anzac Day is, is far and away like the most important um, day that we have in terms of uh, like memorializing soldiers, mm -hmm. more so than Remembrance Day. Well, yeah, but um, like, so we, I could, yeah. it's not an excuse or anything because like I know. Because uh, the, I know even just from fucking movies and just osmosis of the world, like it's 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 hard to miss that World War One is not World War Two. Like they are different events. No, they're very different wars, and they yeah. started for different reasons. There was basically just the death throw of like the old colonial empires, essentially, just these petty the, feuds um... and entanglements and bullshit. It, yeah, it never, I know growing it, it up, it shouldn't have happened. It was a total waste of lives. Growing growing up, World War One was just simply not something that people really talked about. Or well, certainly not. It America, wasn't taught in schools. Yeah, you guys um, weren't really part of it for most. Yeah, of we it. didn't get into the very end. Yeah. Um, and and, and, so... and I think the big thing that it just you know like it, the end of it, it was just and and World War Two is more recent as well. You know, there are plenty yeah, of people it was, who yeah, World yeah, War Two yeah. who were still alive. I understand. Yeah, if you if you are gonna only teach well, one, you should teach the second for a lot of countries. But, like, World War I was really important. And it's weird that I feel like I just discovered that the Great War happened as late as I sort of discovered it happened. It's kind of like the right. Korean War, where a lot of people just forget that happened. The Korean War is called the Forgotten War, though. Um, yeah, and, yeah, exactly. And people forget about the Korean War. A lot of people died in the Korean War. A lot. Um, a lot of people. It was, uh, it was a big war. But, um, I, I don't know, people don't think about it. We can highlight, like, we know how and why. It's just, like, it's, I guess, Wonder Woman just highlighted, like, damn, that's bad. <laughs> like, the, the, the people think that that is the case, and they're totally chill with all of it. Because it's always just been, I think I said to you guys when I first met you about, because uh, I've, I've never been too solid on Wonder Woman, I was like, I've always been made uncomfortable by that movie, with how it does World War I stuff. Think I think the problem that it has is it's kind of like it's it's a little Captain America. It's really easy because it's like well, he's like a guy these are the Nazis, in America who you know? yeah, grew the Nazis up and wants to fight so, with his yeah. countrymen, right? Like that's a standard yeah, exactly. story. She's it is way more fucking, She's well, an she idiot believed, alien who yeah, like she's not really right, alien. Right. That's, <laughs> that's the big thing is that it's Steve Rogers has reasons to like he he he's on this side because he believes in this side. He's, and he's, he's there, whereas. He's more virtuous World than your World average like, like person in terms of going like, I don't well, want to hurt anybody, I just want to fight exactly. bullies or whatever. You're like, oh cool. And he goes out of his way to try and save lives, he puts himself in danger to save his man. 
Um, whereas Wonder Woman, just if, if a German had bumped into her, it would have just been the same story. Exactly. But it was. It was wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The German would have had to been hot. True. Yeah, it would have <laughs> definitely been helped stun. Chris Pine. It, it, it helped the allies. What's the, German, <laughs> what's the German word for hot in the sense of attractive? I'm not gonna tell you. Gernis first. Yeah, that one. Gernis first. If Hans was Gernis first, then <laughs> she she would be she'd be <laughs> fucking talking to the Kaiser. She'd be going to Berlin. We have to get these documents to Berlin to stop the British because she's just such a ditz that she'll go over with the whoever British the first person is. Are Aries. Yeah. British. The British yeah. are Aries. Churchill. Churchill and, and, and is the funny Aries. Part is, the British guy was Aries. Like, he was. <laughs> yeah, so that, that just confused. That movie. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey, look, sometimes wars happen and you can't just solve them. Nah, nah lol, kidding. I am Aries and I did it. Uh, and then <laughs> I kill you and then the war is over. And that's what I mean. That feels just like disrespectful to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was really I think a lot of people felt that was disrespectful but they they sectioned it off they were like one woman is good the third act is not fundamentally good. betrays World... the whole story that they were trying to tell yeah. which is that wars happen and that, that maybe people we just have failed yeah and and they, can't stop it they do nothing with it in world war one does not get a lot of attention in movies and stuff and no. it is the perfect war to use as a backdrop for the concept of war shit you know, like there's yeah, like this side, that side. We should. This this shouldn't have and happened. Whose this fault is a tragedy. Wasn't even their fault. Are the people who die, like people yeah, who were not it's... responsible for the political decisions that made this happen. And it ain't and, just and some fucker who made everybody do it. Okay, it's complicated. No, well, yeah. I mean, and that's the thing, right? In the first Avenger, it it isn't just that they killed Red Skull; it's that they destroy this whole base filled with a bunch of bad guys. Like it's 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 a big battle to like finish this off and to end this uh to end this threat, uh, and of you know Cap's heroic sacrifice as well. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I think you need to be careful when you're doing stories based on real wars. You just got to be more careful about these things. Agreed. And I think Wonder Woman handled it horribly bad, but it for some reason <laughs> yeah, has a really, really good funny. reputation. It's like hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just yeah. go into this war zone where everyone's getting shot. It's like, look how cool I am. I'll just win for you. I'll just like, win I for you. Yeah, okay. I really don't like um, that bit. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, it's like, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. It's like, yeah, cool. Most people aren't bulletproof. Um, you you compare fact, it with them, direct comparison with Cap, where he's, like, fighting with all of the guys. He's not, like, exactly. he's better than them, obviously, ability-wise, but it doesn't come across a We're lot all that in way. This together. Yeah, it's a big team yeah. effort. Yeah. And someone would be like, that's As what it is in Wonder Woman. I'd be like, not really. No, it's not. No. She just goes over <laughs> she just and dominates. poses as she struts across the field like it's a runway. With a beaut with a glamour shot, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, which is so inappropriate. Like Somehow not getting shot best. at all. In the legs. Yeah, Even though it's in like the a legs really right huge no, mate, she front got very, line. She got very lucky, okay? In what some chat, some, some fucking Chad German with his shitty ass 4 MOA Gewehr rifle, <laughs> sees yeah. this sees this supermodel <laughs> with her goofy ass outfit come out from the other side of the trench, and he's like, you know what? Fuck this woman. Fuck and that. he is able to, from like miles away, if you time the bullet, and yeah. hit her. Like fucking Chad. And yeah. she's like, blocks it. And I'm like, oh. It's the I best shot he's ever landed. He's like, shot he blocked that's, it? <laughs> that is a that is an incomprehensibly difficult shot that this guy, this 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 dude was able to make. A lot of people think that's like the best shot though in any superhero film. Like that is that is a common sentiment I've seen. That's a trailer bait shot. It is well it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is one of those. <laughs> Does Ethap realize yeah. it could make the same arguments for World War Two as well? World War Two is a lot more clear cut with some of the decisions the leaders were making. In terms dude, of... dude, there is there is way there are not enough there's not enough collective balls in Hollywood to sympathetically <laughs> make stories true. about the Wehrmacht. There's no oh. fucking way that people are prepared yeah. to do that for the most part. They don't want to have but, that. They don't want to have that talk. In terms of presenting the story, though, that you know, World War Two was very much more a clear case of good guys versus bad Definitely. guys. Definitely, yeah, Probably yeah. More so than oh, like yeah. many wars that I could really think of. The fucking the, uh, the dude who did it gets cited, there, yeah. in place of Satan all the time. Like, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. no one, no one will ever name their kid Hitler ever again. You know, no one, no one will do I it. Guess, I, I, I was thinking as Adolf is ruined as a forever. First name Hitler. <laughs> Uh, not, only, not only not the mustache too. Out there called yeah, the it's mustache. the Hitler mustache. Yeah. The mu and now part of it was our fault for propagandizing it so much. But I mean, uh, come on, it's very distinctive. But, yeah, there are a couple of German films, exp and then Battlefield Five had the Last Tiger like campaign mission where you play as a tank, German tank commander at like. That's the, the one. Board. That's the one I need to play. I haven't. Uh, I haven't done the campaign I stuff. Really good things about. And, and so there are. Yeah, that's the only one I'm even interested in. There are a couple of stories that try to make us aware, like, hey, there were, there were Germans who were trying to stop this as well, okay? And you're like, all right, all right. Because you get that, um, uh, wasn't it? It was extra credits, wasn't it? That was like, if someone is essentially on, uh, uh, they said a Nazi, right? But like, there's no such thing as a good Nazi killable, that sort of thing. Oh, there was, there was a film if about they were the July the plot. You're right, there was a... Uh, there, there was that film that was trying to talk about the people who tried to assassinate him in 1944. Yeah, I think... I think that's Cruise in it? Yeah, it's, it's uh, very uh, Hollywoody yeah, that film. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, assuming that, there's more than just that one. Was, that uh, one. Brian Singer. I think Brian Singer... Um... I'm sure that there, there are... There were there's gotta be. Yeah. That's not... I'm gonna, well, and I mean, and then you have, like, interesting... I always sing the praise of World at War, but World at War was, like, you know, in the Russian campaign. Just showing all it was like, examples. yeah, like, you are being brutal to these mercy. Germans. Yeah, yeah, the guy who was begging for mercy, and then of course, depending on how you play, um, Chernoff will have different observations about whether or not he thinks you're a hero, or maybe it's a little more complicated than that. You know, that's because World of War be was one of the last cool card games. Well, one of the last Call of Duty, <laughs> Call of Duty Vanguard is like tries to be, oh, look at these action hero soldiers doing all this crazy stuff, and it's like, man, I hate this so much. Like, I really hate... Um... Time to enjoy some cheese and sea words, Jim and Bad. Hey, we're allowed to say Cracker on uh, on YouTube. They haven't banned it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's become the C word. Yeah. The C word. <laughs> We had, we had a lot, lot of fun with that yesterday. The other state word. It's, it's so funny. I just think it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. If we were like dual streaming right now, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, Twitch, <laughs> oh, okay, oh, let's chill. All right. And whose fault is all this? Yeah, I wonder. Because you say the same word and people think hunt, right? Obviously, they don't think yeah. the other <laughs> thing. So, like, now it's just, now it's, uh, it, like, logistically, it's starting to get complicated. It How do I communicate? Yeah. How do I communicate the idea of communicating the idea? We're adding yeah. more layers onto it because you can't just say the thing. I guess, I, yeah, I should be saying cracker. 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 Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, it's the well, as, with the R. <laughs> well, you can give people the yeah. you can give people the c word pass, right? Oh yeah, wait, pass, I'm allowed yeah. to say. Uh, you, you're yeah, you say you can it, say right. it, right? I, I if say that's that as how if three of us here. There's rules. Uh, dude, I love the idea that we finally got a word for you. You're not allowed to say this one, okay? Yeah, three. <laughs> well, well, you can't I, say that. That's it, our it, word. That's our right. word. <laughs> well, you know what? Now I'm just having them big brain thoughts of like, oh, that's no. interesting, uh -oh. isn't it? Um, because, well, because I'm, I'm like, I'm mixed technically, right? So yeah. I'm, I am equally as black as I am white. Well, does that mean um, you have access to all the words black. or none of the words? That's just... Well, it, 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 feels, it feels unfair to have it be none of the words, doesn't it? I always feel like the easy word to say is it's like, if Will Smith counts, then I, then I definitely Dude, imagine count. like, we're all having fun, saying crack and back and forth, oh, the second free does it, we all go quiet. <laughs> so, moving on, uh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Alright, that, uh, all right. Right. that was a choice you made, okay. I mean, if we're gonna get really technical, the N-word is our word too, so, I mean... You know what? Mm. All of language belongs to all of us. It's a beautiful <gasps> little system that lets us communicate ideas. Oh my ideas. god. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, ultimate power. Ultimate <laughs> 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 power. If Fringy says unlimited. the C word, if Fringy says the C word and his face starts to get all droopy and fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, my powers. <laughs> no, no, Man, we've had so yes. many. So many Revenge of the Sith references lately. We should do an EFAB on that. <laughs> I don't want to. I just went silent. It's almost like that would be unnecessary or something. I don't know.
I have no opinions on this whatsoever. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. The next one says, Fringy's always going on little adventures. And they have a little green heart. Oh. oh that's nice. Is, you, is you. your heart green canonically? No. My, right. no. There, there is no, like, I, I feel like this is always the thing I need to clarify is, um, in the Fringy lore, Fringy is a human being. Like, he's just a regular uh, person. He now. dresses up as... Wait, he's not a no, he's like, not a bird or an alien. You know you don't get no, to say any no. old lore. I was gonna say <laughs> was, when I met you guys, I was not some eldritch tentacled beast that <laughs> <laughs> that, that just happened you, after a while. When you met me, you were a rotting watermelon slice. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what you were. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. You're saying press X? It's not. Nah, it, the, the way that it works is in the Fringy law, Fringy is a human being. <laughs> that's that is uh, <sighs> that's the law. There is no green heart or green goo blood. No such things. All right. You mm. know this if you read the comic on Twitter. You know this out. if you read the law. <laughs> Search your heart. You know it to be true. Go yeah. to the primary source. The comic. Yeah, Mick. Yeah, I don't want them assassinating Fringy in the new movie adaptation, you know. The 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 friggy film. They turned him into a yeah. frog. He was never a frog. That was just a meme. God. <laughs> that was always a meme, that's right. Death of the author applies. Attorney. I'm not saying that it's just because I said it. I'm just saying if you if you look at it all. The turning the fringy's gay. And I'm not saying that my goo is blood either. I'm saying I'm just What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo yeah, that changes a lot of how I view you. It doesn't change thing. anything, it's nothing. Oof, blood goo. That sounds like it has extra power now. Blood magic. It's like Bloodborne. But oh. better. But green. Oh, green, now. <laughs> uh, Metal, thoughts on AEW? Personally, I think it's pretty flawed, but a better step in direction for the future of pro wrestling. Also, can I get a CM Punk, CM Punk, <laughs> CM Punk? It was a few months too late. <laughs> oh. I I really like it. I'm I'm basically that's only the only thing I'm watching in the wrestling right now. Unless there's something New Japan wrestling stuff happening. Uh but yeah, I'm 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 a big fan of AW. I like it a lot. But I do have the, the not perfect, obviously. Their women's division is kind of shit, even though they have a lot of talent. But they don't have any storylines at work, so it's kind of lame. Do you, you watch women's wrestling for the plot? Watch wrestling for a little bit for the plot. Okay. I figured that you would watch it for the plot, right? The characters and their interactions. I'm it's sure like that's like, kind yeah. of, yeah. Like, you get to watch. What's his name? Is it Finn, ba Finn I, Balor? Finn Yeah, he's in WWE Finn at the Bar. moment. Who's the Scottish guy? It's Finn Balor. Villain, or Darby. Seamus. Oh. <laughs> Seamus. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Seamus. Of course, it's Seamus. Seamus. He has oh, red no, hair and is very Sh pale, like for real. He's like he's like super yeah. pale and red has red hair. <laughs> nice. But yeah, like it a lot. Looking forward to the wrestling. Well, tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna watch it live because too late. But yeah, it's good, it's good yeah, stuff. Right. I like it. Um. Also, watch Arcane, you massives. No, you. Uh -oh. Rags uh, Das uh, recommended it thoroughly to me as well. Literally, oh, like my everyone. Goodness. Oh my gosh! I swear to God, guys, if that's gonna be shit again after all these things, we'll beat you all up if it's shit. Hmm? We're gonna beat you all up if yeah. it's shit. Yeah. Any, any sing, Take your lunch money. You. Take your lunch money. <laughs> um, watch Twelve Monkeys film. Best Brad Pitt performance. Uh, it's I need to watch Twelve Monkeys. It's usually yeah. cited as like one of the best time travel movies. I haven't seen it I forever it, yeah. ago, so... Um, I remember, because I've been re-watching a bunch of YMS reviews, he used a clip from 12 Monkeys as an example of like Brad Pitt's range, but that he's often just gets typecast as Brad Pitt. Agreed. He's really late. He's super talented as an actor, but um, it's, yeah, he it gets squandered a lot. How many people wanted to see Brad Pitt play a character in a zombie movie versus how many people wanted to see Brad Pitt in a zombie movie? It's like, yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, it's the thing. It's how star power goes. You just... I feel like Samuel Jackson has evolved past it where whenever we see him, yeah. it's to see him, but also at the same time, it just... Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> playing a character. Well, because usually he gets... Yeah, usually he gets to play different people. 
I wonder if it is a thing of like, because Samuel Jackson is often not the leading guy. He's like the, you know how like films always have the and credit? He's usually that guy. Mm -hmm. And so that's, and usually the and credit guy, because it just seems to be a thing with stories, right? That the protagonist more often than like other characters will be like more of a default person. Um, um, and so he's one of those actors where once he dies, everyone will be sad. Everybody, yeah, yeah. everybody will be sad. I'll be very sad. I, will I, be uh, very I, sad I really like Samuel mm -hmm. Jackson. Uh, hi, Massives. Since I'm a big fan of your animal tangents, I'd like to try to super chat you guys an animal of the day for you to talk about, starting with a creature <laughs> yes. called the Goonch. Enjoy. Goonch? <laughs> Is that a wombo right. creature? Is it G O O N C H? <laughs> That's the one, yeah. A goonch is a catfish, Bagarius Yorelli, uh, known as the giant devil catfish or goonch. It's uh, let me get you a picture. <laughs> uh, I this, like wombo words. Is this a made up image or because look at that? Look oh at this God. is like one of the image results <laughs> from look at that. I was like, there must be some kind of like rendition. Game, like, yeah. That's awesome. But it makes it look cool fucking fish. badass as hell, yeah. It looks like a dragon <laughs> fish or something. I think it is the, the little uh, mustache thing that it has that really gets yeah. the look. Yeah, all the catfish have whiskers, but this one is particularly... He's got Chad whis know. whiskers. <laughs> yeah, this is... Jeez. Uh, just be it. Just think, oh, I'm just gonna go in this river, and you step on something slimy, and you're like, oh, I better step off of it to get away, and then your next step is still on it because it's that big. <laughs> you know? Uh, 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 what a... I don't know. I guess people are just holding them, so I guess yeah, maybe they're just really um, all the docile. People... They just sort of sit on the bottom and just suck up food and stuff, as catfish tend to do. Yeah, they seem really like, chill, I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Them. Don't judge them by their appearance. Well, I yeah, mean, I don't know. Just yeah, just, you, you just don't expect it when it's that big. The the you maybe maybe you don't want to disturb it, but everyone seems to be having fun with them. I'm assuming they're not killing them. A lot of these are from Thailand. Okay. Tend to be where they are, so that explains all the. Um, I don't know. I because I look in the background and I see a lot of really super mountainy kinds of you know jungly sort of. We have the. Uh, I remember one of these big fish in Australia. That was nice. We have the EFAP grocery store, we can have the EFAP menagerie, and I guess the Gooch <laughs> is going right in there. He's chilling. Gooch. I definitely yeah. should go in there. I like that animal. That is... That's that's a big... Think about all the meat on that thing. Mm. All yeah. the... That's a... That is days of food. This One fish. fish. That's that days and days of food for many people. Villages. Yeah. I don't know, man. It seems like a fairly small amount of food for the average size person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the idea of fairly small catfish for a normal. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, it, this is it, really? I think. Um, <laughs> I think if ever there was like a ration situation and movie Bob's involved, you reckon the person doing it would just be like, "Dude, just you gotta die." There's no well, point. Just, <laughs> uh, you just you, you can leave and come back in a week. To sustain It'll you, be... we have to give you all of our rations every day, like this. <laughs> an episode of The Simpsons when Movie Bob, <laughs> yeah. for some reason, will slot in as Chief Wiggum and say, Come on, Homer, you're the fattest, and it's like, nobody just acknowledges that. I'm pretty sure it was Chief Wiggum in that gag explicitly who said Homer was the fattest. It's like, that's funny. It is. Is that, is that the time where the, 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 when they're on, like, the raft? Or we, uh, or no, I, I, no, I think that was something else. I think it was um when they were in, like, a plane thing. I I can't remember actually, but I remember the joke because like a... Mo pops out with a bit of Homer's flesh on a on a fork. He's like, "Wait, so we're not eating Homer?" <laughs> <laughs> I just remember when Homer's trying to eat all of their rations, and Vlad's just trying to stop him. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. you gotta eat it like this. Hmm. <laughs> 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 The fact that they had a Krusty Burger out and an oil ring. I think as a kid I didn't realize just how funny that was. <laughs> yeah, I won 500 Krusty Burgers! <laughs> I remember that's good shit. Putting it on an oil ring? <laughs> hey man, you know that franchise gets around, okay? The yeah. Popular. I've uh, been playing Infinite all day. 
the last three days. It is insane that the people who made Halo 5 made this. Game is phenomenal so far. Absolutely love it. I heard the campaign's good. I have not I've played it yet. I still campaign. want to. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what the it. plot is, though. I, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's also <laughs> what I've heard. I've, I've lost all the plot. The Bring Endless, the, the Arbiger. I don't... I have no. lost the plot. I've I've lost it. It's gone. It's a, it eludes me. It slipped away. Have you played more campaigns since yesterday, Fringy? Uh, yeah. I finished the spy mission, so now I got to take out the the anti aircraft cannons. And uh, uh, oh, okay. Isn't that well, the first it, thing you do in the overworld? No. This is a uh, this is the it's the mission that was in that demo the 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 demo with Craig in it. Uh, okay, because I remember you do the first two missions and then you go destroy the uh, anti-air cannons. Or are they just more later you need to destroy? There, uh, there must be more later then, yeah. Okay. Uh, Rewatch the Lee debate. It still hurts. Also, did you see the <laughs> base dictionary.com on Twitter against corporate Stanley NFT promotion? I didn't see that, yes, I but did. I saw I the did, Stanley. Yeah, one. I also saw the Bob Ross one. Um, so gross. Really? Where it's like the uh, Bob Ross Funko Pop NFT thing. Fuck off. And what? You, you always sit there and, and the first thought I had is Cyberpunk isn't that cool. I was promised a cooler world where there'd be like crazy robotic arms and like hot AI ladies, but it's not that. Cyberpunk is just pain. Everything it's is now sellable in digital cards. Pain. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> we live in cyberpunk. We got everybody. all of the bad without any of the cool shit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, if we got all the, the evil, weird corporation stuff, but we also got all the cool shit, I'm like, well, you know, it's, you take the good with the bad. Cards, yeah. Um, we got all the AI bad. Shit. Yeah. I guess the AI chicks are coming, though, soon. Yeah, give That'll them a sec. Yeah, like, just can't cooking. play anything on the internet anymore, and it's like, ugh, we just got the shitty version. Well, yeah, we're getting Demolition Man for that. Those little mm -hmm. kiosks that just print out uh, reports on you for saying words wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love how far ahead of its time that was. Like, it's just beautiful. <laughs> You've used a prof profanity. <laughs> Cool world too, though, where you got like these crazy robots running around. <laughs> I wasn't talking about 2077. I was just talking about cyberpunk, the genre. We live in a much lamer version of that genre, yeah. where we don't have cool robots and like awesome flying cars. It's and not always lights. dark, rainy, and neon. Yeah, it's not moody. It's just crap. <laughs> it's just crap. <laughs> the mood is despair. Yay. Yeah. Um, does Metal become a good streamer in No Way Home, Mauler? Well, I wouldn't want to oh, confirm oh. or deny Metal's <laughs> cameo in No Way Home, so no spoilers. I know a lot of leaks have come out with Metal's images on set. That's, uh, that could be faked. <gasps> oh, can, I, can, I, can I see them? <laughs> just doing a thumbs up. Stop. <laughs> There's like a really intense scene, loads of action, and then at one point he just walks out and goes, I'm here too. <laughs> Hello. It walks off. Wombo. Like, oh, Charlie's friend. It's Charlie's friend. <laughs> um, why does the Friday Night Tights related community, except EFAP, seem to have a hate boner for Zend? Is it Zendaya or Zendaya? I always forget. I think it's Zendaya. Zendaya. I thought it was Zendaya. Every yeah. time. I'm never gonna remember that. Um, what did she do besides play an MJ that is not Mary Jane? Um, That's I, enough I, for them. I do catch I every mean, once in a while. Like the, like, oh, she's like a bad actress, and I'd be like, I don't think you've got any references uh, for that. Nah. Nah. I don't think she's a bad actress. She's, she's, I don't think she's, a bad actress she's barely all. in Homecoming, um, and, and she's fine in Far From Home. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I won't I comment anything it. about her potential performance from No Way Home. She but... gets around a lot because she's in a lot of stuff. I, I hear that she's really good in that HBO show. Like, is it called Euphoria or something? I think she's in that. Well, I always it, say that she's in that. My assessment of her acting is like pending because I, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I need to see more of his stuff, I guess. I've seen enough, but I don't think she's bad. Um, no. if, if my own references in Spider-Man and, like, though, Dune. Yeah, though, if, if, so if that means, like, so it can't be the, her acting that 
they're upset with. It's like, it's more than likely the fact that she is what they would call a fake MJ. She's not the real MJ. She's... But she's, what is, she's M Michelle Jones. Yeah, Michelle, so she's not Mary Jane, she's wrong. Michelle Jones, um, which... That is unacceptable! It, yeah, yeah, it, it genuinely yeah, upsets right. them. I... I just don't care. I don't care. Like, I, yeah, I, just I, don't give, I don't give a shit. It could be... It could, it could be... Uh, Latoya Jackson. And I was like, I don't fucking care. LJ. LJ. Let's do it. LJ. Um, it could be... Um, it could be Wanda uh, Waskovich. WW. A little bit of a mouthful. They probably wouldn't make it that, but, you know, it could happen. You never know. I think that it's it's considered as like one of many elements of how they've butchered the source, quote unquote, which you know Efab doesn't agree with like at all. So, okay, yeah. I definitely but they'll do like a you know look what they did to MJ. It's like I mean, all right. Well, look hey. what they did to this new character they made called Michelle Jones. Well, it's awkward as well because of that that discourse with Spider Man Two, where you just like really look at MJ as a character in that film. She's not exactly a nice person. No. But maybe maybe they'd be thinking more about like the comics, right? Where thinking about well, I, I guess what I'm suggesting there is like maybe that's not so bad that she isn't so but, much of an asshole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I find them yep. cute together as like you know young adults trying to trying to figure stuff out in the middle of a big old superhero story and stuff. It's like it's fine. Well, to me, it feels like yeah, these right. two feel more like people who would get along and have a, like a relationship than a. I don't know. They seem to line up a bit more. Because I feel like uh, MCU Spider-Man's done a good enough job of establishing, like, yeah, Peter's a nerd, you know. And a, you know, remember that. Yeah, it's a bit of, a bit of a, you know, kind of socially awkward, awkward and stuff. Socially awkward. Yeah. And it's kind of a shame <clears throat> that we didn't get more Andrew Garfield Spider-Man stuff. Because I think he would have, I think I liked him as Spider-Man, and it would have been neat to see, I guess, more of him just interacting with people and being him and his character. Do you mean as Spider-Man or as Peter? As, as I guess Peter. I guess Peter. Right, right. Well, well, I guess yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess in in the sense of him being the protagonist of a Spider-Man series, you know, like Tobey Maguire or something. It's still unreal to me if we're to believe the uh, everything. I mean, we already know Jamie Foxx is coming back, um, mm -hmm. but just making use of the villainous elements of the Tasm films, which are just so bad. <laughs> They're horrific. The villains in Tasm are crap. I may have Don't criticism... You know Electro? <laughs> oh, God, that line. You, um... Electro. There are criticisms to be made of the Raimi villains, but my God, Norman Osborn and Otto Octavius, like... Classic. You got so them. much to work with with both of them. They have like believable really sort of motivations and cool actors doing a good job to present this character, and you just want to see more of them. Well, Doc with Ock Electro, I'm just like, uh, go, I can go away. Pretend for a moment that I am me from like yesterday. I can't <laughs> wait to see Willem Dafoe do more Green Goblin shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing Otto Hell yeah. coming around. Doc Ock is such a cool character. Like, he so is. Cool. Uh, there's so and much so you can I do with him, too. Like, arms. dynamically yeah. in scenes. Well, I, I like him in uh, the Spider-Man PS4 game. He's, uh, he's a cool character. And then we got a story... Because in that one, uh, they have it that, like, he's he's ill, and he's getting more frail and weak. Um, and I guess he's worried that he's going to eventually become trapped, like, paralyzed almost. So that's why he wants the, the arms, because it gives him the ability to like <clears throat> do things and be an agent in the world uh, and so, stop getting shit on. Someone in chat said, what is Electra's motivation really? Um, I posted it to <laughs> Fringy yesterday actually because I was trying to remember it myself. <laughs> I've always known it as he's like, he's bad because he's sad. Um, he's, <laughs> and nobody pays attention to him. Yeah, but then if you look like explicitly at the dialogue, it's almost worse. He's like, I want the world to have no light. I want the world to know what it's like with no Spider-Man. Like, huh. that's your and motivation? You want the world to know what it's like to suffer? <laughs> and then, then Mola posted the line, Don't you know I'm Electro? <laughs> Don't you know I'm Electro? <laughs> Such now, a bad line. Bad God, where do you, you even know? begin talking about bad dialogue with shit like that? You're like, so this is I can't even... wait to bring him back. <laughs> 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 I well, let's put it this way: the um, we've me and Freaky have always like alluded to it, and it's not a spoiler to say for you guys for uh, Angel, 
all Buffy, but there is a character that's a fan despised one, like that everyone wants dead and gone. They do come back at one point and they're pretty good. Uh, they do yeah. major repairs. And so, like, you know, maybe Electra's gonna be okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. In the hands maybe. of John Watt. Yeah, well. <laughs> so many people. <laughs> EFAP are like the only people who fucking like John Watts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking for. I guess it depends on this movie, though, but I, I'm kind of looking forward to John Watts' Fantastic Four. Although, I think that got mentioned on, uh, on Real BBC. They were, they were like heartbroken that he's doing Fast Forward. I was like, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so yeah. I reckon it could be really good. I don't know. <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, I'm more good about the fact that he might not be doing more Spider-Mans because I, I loved his entries not necessarily confirming No Way Home. <laughs> it's just funny how evasive you have to I, be I'm hyper aware of everything I'm saying that you will be listening being like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys in chat. Um, I I am uh I would say that I'm pretty in tune with meta stuff in general. And um, when we were watching Buffy and Angel, Mola started to realize that he needed to tell me not to look at the credits because I'd figure things out based well, on not just names <laughs> but things that get shown. You you the, uh, were I I don't know if it ever came. I've seen Buffy with like seven people, and I've always been aware of it, seeing like guest starring big name yeah. that hasn't been seen for a while and I'm like they don't they don't know who that is it's fine um but when you started being like oh they're coming in this and I was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's, it's one of the things that happened with uh with previously on it happened when I was watching Misfits with Jay as well we started skipping the previously on because we could just infer oh it's gonna be yeah. a Curtis episode or oh it's gonna be I feel the know, same like, problem what episode it's gonna be. Batwoman has the same problem. Batwoman has that problem too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it'll just show a scene, like, you know that stupid fucking uh, magpie enemy from like episode three of season oh, one? Oh yeah. If they yeah. just start showing scenes of her, like, remember her? We'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, so she's- I mean, we do, but <laughs> for not the re reasons you wanted us to remember it. <laughs> Like, I, I remember her getting pulled off a fucking building and using exploding <laughs> pearls. Uh, we don't have as many of those hilarious moments now in Batwoman. Yeah, we don't get to yeah. focus on the goofy-ass villains as Talk much. about yeah. failing your way upward. The fact that the team that makes Batwoman is going to make another TV yeah. show. Yeah, that's fucking uh, Batman characters. Oh, scary. Wild. That's Excellent it. news. Wild. Fail upwards. Go ahead. Hey, we get to work with Nightwing and, like, Batgirl. It's like, can we... Man, can like you actually one, fail? Is it possible? I just get really upset when you start doing things with like the actual Batman characters. <laughs> it gets me upset. I don't want to see them ruined like Jason Todd. I don't want to see them ruined Dick Grayson, Barbara Gordon. Don't, don't um, do it. Leave. Someone said, "Why is Muller keeping Far From Home close to the chest?" Yeah, I just don't want these guys to know anything about yeah, Far From Home. You know, they haven't yeah. seen Far From Home. So it's one of those movies. It's been out for a while, but. They just don't want to check it out yet. Uh, Far From Home, um, when's that coming out? I don't, you know, it's, it, it is out. I didn't want to tell you guys that Far From Home is out, but uh, you, I know you Wait, love Jake you Gyllenhaal's performances, and you don't want no to... One, no one ever... No one told me about this. Well, I told you not to tell me when shit. it's coming I'm out. I'm sorry. Spoilers. Bastard. Mysterio probably isn't a hero, okay? You no. know this from Meta. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm sorry. No. Iron Man might be referenced so nice. in it, so it's going to be terrible. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, my favorite Batman villain is... It feels like the lame choice, but it is probably Joker. Lame. Um, Moving on. Rags, what's yours? <laughs> uh... Batman villain? Mm -hmm. hmm. I think I really like the Riddler as a concept. I don't know too much in depth about the characters themselves, so I'm kind of going off of just, like, powers and stuff. And what they do and how they operate. But from my limited knowledge of Batman villains, I really like the Riddler. The the Plenty he, of potential. The, he yeah, absolutely that's the thing. There's a there's an element of cleverness that comes into play in the in in a meta sense, when you have riddles and things of that nature, it's there's like a little bit of audience participation in a sense, where you could sort of maybe think about it yourself and be given some time. And if it's written really well, really clever audience members might be able to figure it out along with the heroes, which is a very satisfying thing to do. 
So that's, I a, really that, like, that's something I like. What, you can jump really over these like yellow the... things? I don't think I've ever known that. Oh. I always you... just drive into them because I assume I'm GG, but like, I, I you can jump over um, them to save yourself. Oh my god. I was <laughs> going to say, I, I do like the penguin a lot. I, I like Penguin. I like uh, this little short man just going around being a ganglord criminal. I was waiting um, for you to just do your default go around doing adventures. <laughs> Crime lord doing, doing adventures. adventures. <laughs> like, you doing know when Batwoman... So Batwoman did a Riddler episode or where it was essentially... It was like the what, what it was, the quiz, the quiz master? Clue master, Clue master? Rags. Jesus, have some respect. Um, but the Clue master <laughs> and it was just shit. Uh, because his clues were dumb and his things, it, like, there, there was basically nothing even approaching intuitive about any of the riddles. And they, yeah. the, the, the heroines only solve, because there's no heroes, it's all heroines. Uh, the heroines of the show, um, it's also the drug that the writers run. But they, they were able to, f they just weren't, they just got through it because plot needed them to. It didn't make any sense. It's just the shittiest version of the Riddler. Uh, was their rendition of the Clue Master, and I don't know if they made him up or if he was a comic book thing. I I'm not sure. So, looking but, at um, uh, looking oof, at chat, it would rough. seem as though Mister Freeze is the most common pick. People, is like, that I because of Arnold of Schwarzenegger? Or because <laughs> I I don't think it is. I think it's I don't probably think because so. of the. Uh, I think it's because okay, of the animated series. Right. That's why he's my um, pick. Okay. I think, I think that's the reason. <laughs> that's why I would pick him. I went, I went, yeah. well, ah, uh, with you, the dinosaurs, the I said, I'm big into Two Face. I think he's really neat. I, I, I think Two Face is a cool concept, yeah. Leaving things up to chance, sort of, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. I like Rachel Ghoul. I, I like most Batman villains, frankly. Like, Clayface is cool. I, I like, uh, I like the Riddler too. Who's better, Clayface um, or Sandman? I prefer Clayface. Is it because he can make himself look like different people? And that leads to interesting things, or...? I think so, yeah. And I know that there was... Because I haven't seen much of Batman in the animated series, but I know that there was, like, uh, an episode where it was, like... There, there was a scene where, like, he was breaking down because of, like, he was getting conflicted about all of his, like, identities and all the roles he played. That was a cool scene. I... I, I think Clayface has a lot of potential, yeah. My question regarding that character is, are That's we terrible. allowed to wear Clayface? Or is that <laughs> not... Is, you can is do Clayface. Uh, we can do Clayface? You can do Clayface, yeah. Because yeah, it's just a just guy. Don't make, okay. Just right. don't be cracker okay. while you do it. That's and I like... <gasps> oh I, like uh, I like Bane a lot as well. He's just a cool guy. You like Bane. I wonder yeah, what the awesome. limits on this are. Like... Because like, that's a pretty damn simple bad guy. I, I like him. I I don't know if I'd rank him like super high in terms of. The I can understand I really why great. you might like a character like that because sometimes I really think there's an interesting man, place you know? to just have a, a brute. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Sometimes that because because um, you could do things with a bane that you probably couldn't do with like a riddler. You know. Oh yeah. This is exactly. big brutish monster to fight essentially. <laughs> well, a lot of. And sometimes it is, it's fun to see that sort of thing. Batman. Because you've got Batman villains where it's definitely more of the psychological element. Those are the ones I like a lot more, typically. Oh, yeah, Scarecrow I do love a lot. Challenges. Sca Scarecrow is awesome. Yeah, Scarecrow is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, fight. yeah, the fear thing. Uh, yeah, that could, that's really cool. I One yeah. of the very few comic books that I have read uh, was I was very young, and I just, for some reason, I got my hands on some Batman comic, and it was, I don't know if it was a short one in a magazine or something, and it was, like, it had the Scarecrow in it. And like that was it was uh, it was like that was kind of neat to see that. Um, so I, uh, everyone, I everyone, everyone say Bane, Bane. Bane's a tactical genius. It's like I mean, I'm, I'm not denying that any in any way whatsoever. It's just that like the Nolan film didn't do him much favors uh, with a lot of his plans. Like it's <laughs> it's clear they wanted him to be some kind of tactical. Goodman, but he was Listen, wasn't. You, and then, you say that, and the next thing you'll say is that the Joker had a lot of issues with his plans too. No, no, the Joker, like, so, you probably didn't understand this, cause it's a little bit, a little bit higher up for you intelligence-wise, but, like, the Joker, yeah. he relies on the chaos of humanity's choices. Oh, okay, cause I, okay, that's what I, that's what I missed, cause I just thought that it was insane convenience, contrivance, and luck, but I, now I see what you mean, it's so thematically accurate, I get what you're saying. Thematically accurate. Oh no! Did I, say, did I say accurate? <laughs> did I say oh, ha no. ha 
I didn't mean to. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Oh boy. Accurate. Um, but yeah, uh, I was obviously wasn't talking about the the, the comics. And if in in the comics, Bane is a very smart man and cool, cool, cool. But obviously, in in the fucking the other movie, he's in. He's a like a moron. He's just strong. Big strong monkey. That's kind of why I was just like, I'm assuming monkey. what is liked about Bane is going to be a little bit beyond him being just strong because we got a lot of those, haven't we? They just look old. You got them, yeah. So I was like, what about my boy Calendar King? <laughs> Isn't it Calendar Man? And then Condiment who's, King? Who's yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you're gonna have to explain. I Calendar need to Man and Condiment King are two Batman villains, and I don't know why you have any trouble understanding that. I only know Calendar Man oh, I can understand. because he was, all, he was like an easter egg in one of the games. Yeah. And he just said like different things when you, I don't know, played at Crim Crimbus or whatever. I'm assuming... So I the confusion there, Rags, you were just wondering how did Condiment King, like what level of royalty is he involved with in what country? Well, I mean, he's a king, his level is royalty, right? That's I'm his assuming, level is king. Uh, well, I, the end of the sentence was in uh, what country is he involved with in, in that? Like, where, where oh, does this come Calandria? from? Calandria? <laughs> Cal well, I mean, you know, th that's a California? fair question to ask. I was just making sure you weren't confused about the condiment parks. That's very straightforward. <laughs> so, I, it's kind of both of them. What? There is... So, listen, I... Well, Rags I need, doesn't know what condiments need, are, apparently. That is the issue he's taking here. No, the issue is that I do know what condiments are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> How did... What, tell me about this condiment king. I don't fucking does he, know anything about him. Does he just spray ketchup at people? <laughs> Pretty and sure. And does he use horseradish to keep people away from him? Like, what... Like, that, that is a character I want James Gunn to make a movie with. Is that is that what he is? I I don't. Someone fill me in. I need I'm to know about. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does have a like a mustard and ketchup thing. ball like in each hand. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is he is 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 like is he is he a lunchman? He's not a lunch. Is he is he a, is he a lunch lady? A nutritionist or something? A lunch lady is Calendar King a lunch lady? <laughs> lunch. Lady. I like uh I like the funny like now I'm thinking about Stiltman from Daredevil. <laughs> Just these funny like goofy kind of. Villains. Daredevil's got a lot of cool villains too. Kingpin, Bullseye, The Hand, Elektra. I guess oh yes, I loved all of them. In the, in the show, The Hand especially. Oh, uh, up notch. Hey, look, alright? Look, alright? The Hand, in the comics, this is cool stuff goes on with The Hand. They, they got up to some shenanigans. Where's the foot? I huh? did like, uh... It's The Hand and The Chaste. The foot is... you're thinking of the, t the teenage the turtle ninja teenagers. <laughs> teenage turtle ninja. Teenager. It's, it's <laughs> awesome, teenage turtle though. ninja I, mutant. I really like... I really like Stick. He's a, he's a cool character. He's just a rip-off of Master Splinter. Stop it. <laughs> um, I don't know which one came first. I, I remember... Uh, I he's remember an ancient the, kung fu rodent. Yeah. In the, uh, oh, okay. There was a character that got introduced in the more recent Daredevil comics who was called Blindspot. I liked him. I'd be interested in seeing if they incorporated him. Wasn't into, that the, um... Like, did a the, character like that catch up guard? Wasn't that the name of the Daredevil parody character or satire character in The Boys? Blindspot? Um, so, well, so Blindspot... Unless I'm mixing up his name, I'm, maybe it was, but because Blindspot had, like, cloaking tech, that was his thing. He didn't have any superpowers, but he cloaked himself. So yeah, I think the one in... Invisible and fight people. If you guys remember in the boys, and for some reason everyone still loves this scene where Blindspot was the guy who got his his ears clapped, right? Yeah, he's like he's like I think he's super strong, has good reactions and stuff, and though he's blind, he's, he's like Daredevil stuff, and then he just yeah. smashes his head, and then he's like, "What use do I have? For someone who can't even like survive yeah. that?" And it's like, "What do you? What, what use do I have to for Maeve when if she gets her like arm snapped by somebody really strong, her arm is snapped? Like, yeah." You clapped his head. That could have killed him if he was a normal person. And the fact that it didn't. I was talking to a drinker about this on Open Bar. Like one of the things I just it's such a missed opportunity with Homelander is I've never believed that he's maintained the reputation he has all these years. No, it's just no, not yeah, a thing. Yeah. He's, he's unhinged. He's, I don't believe he's it. He's too crazy so... and he's too openly crazy. They love their payoffs of having him in a crowd and people will be like, blah, 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 and then he's, and he's you know zooming in on his face and he's getting all stressed out and he's like. Hey! And then he says something wrong, and it's like, oh no, the drama, he's losing his reputation. It's like, no, he should be excellent at this. Like, 
fucking no. 11 out of 10 performance every single time he's in a crowd. This has been his life. You, sh you should know everything in and out about exactly what to say and when to say it. And, and uh, I would prefer... Extremely charismatic. ...that instead of him suffering because of, like... You know, like, you know, corporate speak can sometimes fuck up where where they hope to, you know, like, fucking a sense of pride and accomplishment. Remember that? Yeah, it's that's like, exactly the example I was about to say. I would prefer it if he was a character that didn't make those kinds of slip-ups. He's so creative while also satisfying people, like, publicly that, that uh, he would actually get himself out of those situations. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Also, he's a you psychopath. You should make us, yeah, make us as an audience angry that he gets away with it. Not that he just magically does. Yeah, like, fuck me, let us be impressed. That's another thing I was thinking about. You know how, like, moments we remember from stories are oftentimes when characters die or characters are saved from something or a big explosion happens? It's like, when you write it really well, there are times where just someone was talking to somebody about something pretty casual that will be, like, impressed by it as a scene. I think uh, Mike Flanagan's work can do that a lot. Where we're just like, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. was that scene again? It's like, it was a guy explaining that he feels regret and apologizes for something he did. To the girl, remember in uh, Midnight Mass, for example, that scene like blew us away. And it, you know, nobody died. Well, technically, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> nobody exploded, <laughs> but like it's just because of how well written and delivered the dialogue was that now it becomes a scene that everyone want to reference. And I'm just like, you can do that with like any scene. And I feel like if you had a whole angry crowd riled up against him for all the horrors that he's apparently done, and he just delivers this like, like just have a bunch of writers work on it for ages. What is like the perfect PR speech? as well as like a framing of it, and have Anthony Starr do the performance he does. Man, I would like Homelander a lot more. I feel like Homelander gets away with a lot of just, like, we just like the idea. Like, oh, just, it, yeah, mm. because of his concept. Mm -hmm. Evil Superman, Ooh. isn't that crazy? Ooh, like, wow, really we had that in Man of Steel, but whatever. We already had that, <laughs> we already had that but... <laughs> but fucking The Boys Season 3, it's coming. With our soldier boy, right? Yep. He's gonna be the best. We're gonna guy. be critical of the military. It's gonna go great. Yeah. How stunning and brave. The, the one who so sold those consoles? Say. That soldier boy or No, not no, not him. No. I assume it's gonna be like an attempt to be like, look, it's Captain America but evil. Oh yeah. cool. Like, nice. I'm bored. Wow. wow. <laughs> really yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one referencing the, the Council of Elrond scene. It's like, yeah, that's oh. fucking memorable as shit. It's great. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe that's unfair, though. I have... Rings is just based as hell in every way. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've used the Council of Elrond in my new video. Uh, uh, as an example. I think you showed us that. I remember thinking it was I very did. good. I did. I showed you a, a work in progress for just a... T I got carried away. <laughs> it's it's pretty did. good. Is I'm looking forward to. Um, just finished Arcane. Not a fan of LOL. I won't spoil anything, but I will say it's better than it has any right to be. Love the characters. There you go again. Yeah. There they go. Keep saying this thing's really good. <laughs> I mean, what uh. else? I can't blame them if they feel that way. Yeah, I don't yeah, blame them. Yeah, I don't blame them. I'm just like, what do you know? Everybody. I hear don't nothing blame but us. amazing don't things. Don't blame us later on. <laughs> We're gonna watch it eventually. I, I'm, I'm kind of optimistic though about this. One. I mean, I as many good things as I've heard. I mean, I've heard so Squid Game got like things. half this praise, and Squid Game had plenty yeah. for us to celebrate in it. So, absolutely, I'm glad yeah. I watched Squid Game. Hell oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you know, eventually, but it was a. Uh, I think it was real BBC. I was mentioning like, oh, you guys get them too. And Gary was like, I get like twenty of these per stream. About like, you gotta watch Arcade. He's like, I will. But Leave if I watch alone. it, they won't pay me to tell me I need to watch it. So. <laughs> no, just move on to the <laughs> so next thing. We'll never watch it. Never. never. <laughs> Any thoughts on the Back for Blood patch coming out tomorrow, Rags? That is, if you're still playing it. High metal. Um, oh. I'm so I'm really, really, really happy that a patch is coming to that game because I really want to like the game. Um, I I thought it was really good at first, and then I was like, oh, this is a uh, oh, and then I have a friend who's anal about getting into like the numbers and the stats and some of the things like that, and there's some pretty pretty bad stuff when it comes to how information is conveyed to players and weapon balancing and some stuff of that nature. I really want this game to be good because I enjoy it when it's sort of working. So I got to yeah. check I got to check out the next uh the patch that's coming out for it cuz I really want to play this game and like it, but it's just oh, I can't recommend it right now. It's just not quite there. 
it's not yeah. balanced well enough it's too a bit too buggy it's the, 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 the. so i'm glad it's being patched and hopefully that patch will patch will address a lot of issues it's pouch. Yeah. It would be great pouch. That. i would like to go back to that as, as well it was fun to play i like fighting the zombies in it it's yeah. fun to fight the zombies in that game and I think there's a nifty, there's an interesting card system. It just needs to be implemented a bit better. Um, and I think that there, there's legitimately good things about it that I like. Um, I'm just but there's also the card thing because I just, I personally just don't like the whole card systems in general. I'm just sort of I, fan. I like the the concept of essentially replacing cards are used in place of character attributes that you use when you level up and stuff, and so. If you think about it in that aspect, which is kind of what my brain goes to, it's it's essentially a leveling system for your characters as you progress. Um, and I want that system to exist, but be better implemented. It I don't think it's implemented well, but I like the idea that you can have characters and you can give them card sets that legitimately will set them apart and give you useful things to do. And cards will have positive and negative effects so you can legitimately build characters that are wildly different from each other it's just oh, yeah, getting those cards and act getting them to activate that's the kind of thing that the game really needs to work on um so i hope it i hope it gets improved because i like the idea um about the what if uh, the doctor strange episode is the only good episode everything else in the show is either bad or terrible if you I say heard so. some stuff about the Doctor Strange episode that sounds absurd, but okay. Yeah, I've not seen it. I have not seen it either. I think I think I've only seen the two, and I don't want to see any more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that second one was fucking dreadful. <clears throat> second one, the Captain America one. No, it's the first one. The one where T'Challa saves everything because he's T'Challa. Or T'Challa is the fu it's just the oh. T'Challa dick sucking episode and it's really disappointing. Well never mind, I only watched one episode then. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that show. Um, shit. Can't believe that Spundo looked at the camera and said, fuck Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like Can you imagine that literally <laughs> happens in the show Titans? Yeah, yeah, that was in the trailer, remember? Yeah, yeah that's what Robin does. Yeah, Robin. I can imagine a um <laughs> I can imagine like um oh his actor. I totally forget off the top of my head. Um for Danny Spider Man. DeVito. Oh, Danny DeVito. When Danny DeVito when he I can imagine his nervousness as he's kind of like told to deliver that line <laughs> and he just sort of halfway gets it out with his this weird expression on his face and like he, he's trying to be tough but he just doesn't he can't do it when he's just saying those words um <laughs> Arcane is really punching above its weight. Solid recommendation. Also, Arthur Christmas for Christmas. Christmas Gap. Also, High Rags. Hello. Um, I've seen half of Arthur Christmas, I think, and I enjoyed it. Hardman. Arthur Christmas. I don't hey, know uh, what that is. Hardman made that one. I haven't seen that one, though. Hmm. Um, but yeah, another recommendation for Arcane. Longman, Rag, Fringy, I finally caught ah. up on EFAP. It's been, I want to say, 16 plus months, and I'm so happy to be able to watch live again. Oh. Wow, well, that's welcome. impressive. Yeah. Sweet. I hope you learned all of the things. We're very glad to have you. We're yeah, glad you need here. to watch all I'm the cooler things as well. Welcome to the live times. Mm. Live time. Ooh. I find it odd that in Dune, Arrakis is some backwater planet where its inhabitants have to struggle to survive when it would be the richest place in the universe and have thousands of gall gallons of water shipped to it daily. You'd think with what yeah. it represents, there would be yeah. everyone there, but I guess the Emperor mm. controls that. It is strange when you think about how vital this is to just like the existence of a galactic empire and any kind of attribute. It's and like, it's still, yeah, it's not dust. full of, yeah. But it's just sort of, it's it's Tatooine, but shitty. Yeah. Um, and if, if the excuse is, yeah, that's just the way the Emperor wants it, it's like, okay. I, okay, I, I don't see that logic. You might have to explain it to me. Because I would have, like, 24-7 an Imperial Armada around that planet. 
just you can in probably case. Wipe out the worms, uh, uh, assuming they want to do that. I don't know. So that you can mine spice yeah, if, just easily, you know. Yeah, if you're the only person, like if you're the only person who has the technology and logistics to mine, considering the worms, the worms would make a really good deterrent for anyone else to even try. Uh, but, uh, hmm, I don't know. Uh, covering House of the Dragon, invite Preston Jacobs. I don't know that I'll be covering. Like I might watch it, but that's something that the three of these guys ain't fucking touching because that's Game of Thrones shit, and they ain't watching eight seasons to get context for that. Not that they'd have no. to, but I I do think that there's an element of like. Worms make the spice. Okay, I got you. That explains that. Oh, so you want to keep the the whims alive then? Okay. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, we know they can do that, so... Oh, yeah. Not the worst thing ever. Um, but yeah, House of the Dragon, I'm not even sure. Like, I'll, I might give it a try, but I, my investment in Game of Thrones was absolutely slaughtered. And, like I said, if mine slaughtered, imagine where these guys' investment in, in something like that everyone's yeah, in that no one really. whatsoever. Honestly, the first thought no I had one. was, like, I do want to see it just so Gary isn't alone. <laughs> so... Oh. <laughs> Don't want him to be alone. Remember that no one cared cared when the ten year anniversary came around. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it just that's went, the show. And, you just and it would have it gone by with a huge them. celebration if uh, if they hadn't pissed like all over everyone's cornflakes. Oh yeah, I don't like piss on my cornflakes. No man, lots of people don't. It's weird, but not really. Not put the beat beyond the my cornflakes. Uh, hey Fringy. Yo. Now knowing that party rockers invaded your country's airwaves, I'm curious. I'm curious you've if the American classic peanut butter jelly time, and its effects, for you of the use of the word jam for jelly. Oh, um, uh, no, because I always assumed it was actual jelly. I never assumed that it was jam. I always thought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich was literally with like jello jelly in it or what you guys call jello yeah which i think i did the same thing and now i'm thinking about it and i'm like god that'd be awkward i guess i never questioned it cause yeah americans can be weird you know <laughs> uh, but yes peanut butter jelly time did in fact that, that was a funny gag even though there's really nothing beyond it other than brian in a banana costume just singing Way you, way you, way you, way you, way you, it's been where a lot of jelly. I heard it too, Rags, and I, I just... I Where's just, he at? I just, there he goes. I don't know. We'll never know. Peanut butter and jelly time, and that seemed, uh, that, that, that seems to be the venue where we would in sentences and prepositions. I think that fits. <laughs> I need to use the loo, though. Do it. I will, I will, I will, yeah, that's a 16-year-old joke. Well, very <laughs> old. Yeah. We're too I remember old when Family Guy world. came back. Like, I, it's crazy to think that it's like, man, people in high school who were born after that. <laughs> that's nuts. I'm to fridge myself. Curious if you've heard peanut butter jelly time to correct myself. Oh, it was just a correction. Uh, jelly is that wobbly semi-solid jam is like hope. <laughs> jam is like hope? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm excited for whenever you guys watch and discuss Arcane. Drinker just released his video on it. Question. Do any of you guys have any knowledge about League of Legends? I find the experience is different whether or not you do. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you too. Pretty sure Rags knows fuck all about LOL. Fringy, what do you know? I played it a long... I haven't played it in, like, seven years. Me and Mel played it excessively back in the day. Yeah, we had, I like, a... a lot back then, too, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had some good times, but a lot of shit times, too. It's an interesting game. Uh, though I suppose... MOBA. Um... It'll be interesting yep. to watch the show, because I'm probably gonna recognize a whole bunch of random shit, but I don't know how much it would matter at all. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I'll have to check it out at some point. We will. And, uh, we'll let you know what we think. Play Pokemon Coliseum for Super Chat Catch-Up. 
I've never played that, so I don't know if that works out or not very well. Like, in terms of just a game down in the background, would I need to actually pay attention and thus defeat the entire point? It's turn-based, like, normal Pokemon game. Hmm. But you don't have the whole walking around stuff. I think it's just fight to fight to fight, I think. Okay. Well, we'll if put I it on the main pile. It's been a long time since I've played that game. Uh, San Andreas has Eon Griffith uh, die horribly on the Golden yeah. Gate Bridge because That's he one. suffered psychological trauma and left his kid to get help. Oh, yeah. the movie San Andreas, right? Yeah, he, he gets crushed by like a shipping container on, on the Golden Gate Bridge and it's like, man, it's just, it seems... And, and my favorite part about that movie is how The Rock is meant to be like a rescue person and he just abandons those responsibilities to just save his family. It's cool. Right, I, I, I love I, I, I. Disaster movies like seem to often have these elements that I hate, where like we don't have our heroes actually going out to like try and save other people's lives. No consideration for certain people. Yeah. Do you see um? Do you ever see Rampage Metal? I can't remember. Uh, is that the one with the big animals? Yeah. I did see it. I don't remember if we watched it together or not, but I, I did see it. I think we might have watched it separately and then mentioned it to each other. That's an EFAP movies movie, but um, yeah. that and Resident Evil Retribution, I want to say, are two movies where the main character is shot through what looks to be the like the torso, not the like, not the arm, and it's like, mm. oh no, a significant wound, and then the film just completely forgets about it. Oh yeah. Um, it was really strange in Resident Evil when that happened, because it just never comes up again. She's she's just shot, she looks down, she's like, oh fuck, and it's like, oh no. Mo movie logic of, we're on a ticking time thing now, you're bleeding, but it just never comes up. And the uh, same thing happens to um, uh, The Rock in Rampage, he gets shot, and he's like, oh fuck, but then it's like, nobody cares. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. So that strange. That wasn't a movie. Um, the weirder part of Alex's death in Expanse is that his death was actually Fred Johnson's death in the book. Fred just gets shot in the show. Well, yeah, I, I just, I've heard um, people's interest in Expanse has been going down as time has gone on. The show, I, I mean. This is the last season, right? The one that's happening now? I think it's over? I don't know. It might be. Um, would you fight in the Great Wall, Starship Troopers, or be a Stormtrooper? I think they meant Great War, rather than Wall. Um, but I mean... Yep. Um. Huh? What are, they, what are these sounds? I guess it's his cooking sounds. <laughs> it's Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's just bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, so would, would you fight in the Great War in Starship Troopers or be a Stormtrooper? Uh, I, I feel like I'm gonna get killed in all of them, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I might go for the Great War because the other two seem much more likely to put me in a position where I just get grinded up by <sighs> whatever uh, fight. I am... I returned. What's Rags, up? Rags, what would you rather fight in the Great War, in the Starship Troopers War, I guess, or be a Stormtrooper? Uh... Probably down to either a Stormtrooper or a Starship Trooper. Oh. Um... I'd rather fight... I don't want to fight bug, massive giant bugs. No thanks. I just go, going from what we've seen. It seems like they're much more likely to get wiped out. The stormtroopers and starship troopers. Yeah. So I think because by the end of the movie, star the starship troopers were cleaning up. They they <laughs> really had adjusted like their tech. One starship trooper movie. There's like five or whatever. Oh there. oh yeah. Do we count like roughnecks and the animated ones? Well, I'm ones? assuming the question in spirit is while during this fight, not when the war is over. Well, um, no, oh, well, in the unit, uh, it depends on the nature of the fight because the, because I really like the government system in the Starship Troopers universe and living under that. 
Um, there's also the aspect of Starship Troopers, the soldiers and the generals, the leaders of that army, clearly disp display intelligence and learning from their mistakes and exercising good tactics and using equipment fairly well. Um, so I feel like I can, I can depend on that army far better. And there's also military accountability uh, in that system. And I... Uh, but with with star with stormtroopers, right? So because of the vastness of the empire, you know, the galactic empire, where I might be in that system could vary wildly. Same with any army, but ah, oh, like what? Yeah, because but because I feel like this the people I'd be working with are idiots, you know. Well, I was gonna be honest. And we the can't... current state of the stormtrooper is to be killed. That is its only. Purpose. Yeah, that's yeah. So there's there's. I think I'm gonna go with starship trooper. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with World War One, and I'm gonna hope I end up on a front I that I can live through. Um, someone I, said stormtrooper. One, uh, some someone said uh, you can defect like it's nothing. That's potentially true. Well, because of Finn. Or? Um, well, I, like, well, oh, oh yeah, oh I'm thinking O T. I think an O T stormtroopers, but yeah, I guess. With the first order, I if we're going first order stormtroopers, I will not do that because it requires me to have the force. The force basically decides if I break free of the mind control. Um, what, so that's torture, just out man. of yeah. So so that's just out of the question. If we're going with uh, sequel trilogy stormtroopers, first order stormtroopers, I I would not pick one of those because I would essentially have just no free will at all, at least in the sense that it exists now. Um, I'd be relying on the force to just even make me a, a practically an agent. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to stick with Starship Troopers. All right. If it was uh, OT Stormtroopers, I might go with them. I, it's a bit of a toss up, but I'm going to go with Starship Troopers. Mel, you got an answer? Uh, I think I would go with Stormtroopers. Don't yeah, ask why. <laughs> uh, uh, I know it feels. He likes the imagery. I don't, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't want. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting more horribly murdered by a bug if I if I have to fight, and not just shot clean. I want to get ripped limb from limb by any bugs. Well, you got a third option. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought it was like Starship Troopers during the Great War or Stormtroopers. No, the Great War is World War One. Starship Troopers just in general, and Stormtroopers in general. Oh, I thought those. Oh, oh shit! Uh, still stormtrooper. <laughs> I don't know. All right, there you got a whole <laughs> bunch of answers. There you go. Uh, oh, metal always starting world wars, euphemism. Well, I I, 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 I choose stormtroopers this time. Yeah, Someone said, didn't Solo break free of being an Imperial pilot? So the OT stormtroopers were not brainwashed, captured as children, and brainwashed. Yeah, that's, that's they seem to be just like. Simple conscripts bullshit, yeah. or yeah they, they signed up for it for whatever reason for will, that are unfortunately never really explored i will give it to the sequels that they are explicit in that they changed their uh operations with i think huck says it in tfa he's like fucking conditioning i think he calls it and then we find out in rise of skywalker that it's legitimately like brainwashing and that there's only a few people who ever escape it and that's when the Force decides they're allowed to, which is so wrong. Yeah, and you would think that soldiers who were raised from essentially childhood and brainwashed to be incredible soldiers to do nothing else but to fight as infantrymen would be really, really, really good at that one thing. You'd be incorrect, they're shit. I'm trying to think of it like... Makes me wonder why they bother, you know? My, in my brain, I was like, oh yeah, what Rags is talking about. When has that been done well? And then my brain, for some reason, well, I know why it did it. For a moment, was it was like, did Black Widow? And I was like, no, Black Widow has the same problem. It, like, it has they're the brainwashed brain... from birth and, yeah, but they're shit. But they're socially adjusted instantly. And they're totally chill and normal. And it's like, oh, fuck off. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, But, you know, it's... It's just because we don't have the balls to portray what would actually happen if you took a person when they were basically like fucking two years old, trained them to exclusively to be a soldier and kill people with conditioning, break them out of it, and then release them into the world. Like, uh, they're gonna have some trouble. 
Doesn't mean they wouldn't be oh, a good person. There was that so. there was that Kurt Russell movie, Soldier. I think you've uh, you referenced that one before, yeah. Uh, it's, uh... I might have, but yeah, they kind of do that. Um, fun fact, England declared war on Germany not to defend France, but rather Belgium neutrality. Uh, yeah. France, for her part, invaded neutral Greece to attack the German ally Bulgaria. No one was good in World War One. It was entanglements was the big thing. There were just a lot of alliances and things that got people involved. So it's like, well, they got attacked, so we got to help them. Because of that, we got to help them, and then just spar it out. And of control. it is a grim reality that a lot of people's info in World War One goes as far as well. It was the Germans that were the bad guys, right? That's just yeah. You're like oh, Schlieffen plan though. That was uh. <laughs> That's the one Not word. advised. That was uh, <laughs> that was a big mistake. But yeah, the Spartans from Halo are a good example of that. Of Schlieffen plan. <laughs> Uh, 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 great super soldiers that are portrayed probably is you know man you you are you you missed a lot of that conversation i guess someone in chat just mentioned it so i just <laughs> <laughs> just throw it out there <laughs> okay um, wonder woman if she met a hot german first aries is inside every one of these small hat wearing people oh no one, one Small of them, hat wearing people? Like, I guess the British, because they're like little bowler hats they know... or whatever. Those aren't really small. You can have little bowler hats. I guess you could have comically tiny ones. Yeah, like comically tiny glasses. We've seen those. We have. We Yeah, we saw them in uh, <laughs> Resident <Apocalypse>. Evil. <laughs> That's right. R well, worn by possibly the best actor they had access to in the entire series, Jared Harris. Don't know how he ended up there, but he did, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I just wonder sometimes. Uh, Hitler ruined the mustache like rags ruined grandma. True. Where are all my mixed races at? We're all around you, bro. In a way, we're all mixed race. Mixed with love. Mixed with races, mixed with love. All of all of the races are mixed with love. There you go. Aww. Put that on a bumper sticker. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Except you, Mahler. You don't drive. You. I guess you could still get a pump, bumper sticker. You could put it on other people's cars. Say, not being able to drive doesn't mean I can't get a car. It's yeah. true. You could. You want? You could just leave it in you your. You know what? Not being driveway. able to get a car yeah. wouldn't mean I can't get a bumper. <laughs> so. You could just buy, that's true, you could just buy a bumper for your bumper sticker. Yeah, like bumper stickers. Just walk around with bumper. it. Uh, modern card. War is just so much fun. Yeah, you see those clips of, like, Battlefield 2042 where you got all of them doing their poses and they're like, Oh, look at how cool I am. That stupid trailer. I got you this time. Fun. Sometimes, yeah, that's like, just dude, how it works out. Still got it. It's it's war. Like, <laughs> it's not... Uh, I hate it. Wow, you guys are Debbie Downers. People are just having fun, okay? Jeez. I don't know, it's just this weird thing of, like, gamifying war, which... Interestingly enough, I remember that was, like, some of the concerns that people had when, like, Medal of Honor first came out. Like, veterans, they thought it was disrespectful, but then it comes out and it's like, Oh, no, see, they're just, like, presenting... Like, they're doing it in a way where they're trying to be respectful. We're now long past that, I was gonna those older eras for games had way more, like, honor and respect than newer stuff yeah. does. Because now it is the thing of, like, well, yeah, we are making a World War II game, but we still got to make skins, so we need to have our crazy, super-duper, special force, super-awesome characters. We can't just have normal soldiers running around. Hold on, back. Hello. Hello. Hi, Froggle. Oh, hey. People's heritages interest me, so I want to know, are you of African or Aboriginal heritage? Do you have any family stories or traditions? Um, I'm, He no, sings I'm, daylight I... come and we won't go home. Hey, careful, alright? <laughs> I might, might get you in trouble. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, no, so I'm half African and half uh, African? Australian. Well, I mean, I'm Australian, as that's like my nationality, obviously. But like, I guess, yeah, so it'd be like half Anglo-Saxon, half like heart of Africa. I ain't got any stories, though. Are there lungs I'm, of Africa? I'm from the pelvis of Europe, so we're... Yeah, you know, it's it's important. I, think it's a lot I do of... find the whole thing interesting, though. This is something I think about, and I guess it's because it's relevant here, right? Is like, like I said, I am as much white as I am black, but like, I don't think anybody has ever, ever like <laughs> looked at me and be like, "Oh yeah, you're white." Like, oh yeah, if you're half black, mean... you're black. That's just, I that, guess, that's I guess just, that's, that's what, what the rules guess, are. That's what the rules are. Just, uh, yeah, but I guess I find that interesting, though. Like that, that's kind of how it gets settled. I feel like it is just the thing of like. Maybe it is just a matter of, like, dominant traits are the things that people recognize, right? So, like, if you're... Or, I, or yeah, I don't know. I, I guess all of this just highlights that it's just... It's stupid. Uh, racism <laughs> is stupid. <laughs> like, just in, case you needed, just in case you needed another reminder. EFAP, um, the best place reminder that racism is stupid. <laughs> I'm half black and I'm half white. That means everybody will love me, right? Mm. <laughs> but that was a joke in our family guy i think wasn't it where like they did a, a story where it was like um i think it was uh like peter griffin was uh was a slave and, and lois was like an aristocrat and then the kids <laughs> oh no my hair is like super african hair super duper duper african hair mm. Do you have an afro? Do you get, are you gonna get a? Are you gonna get a flat top? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I had that once when I was a kid, but now it's yeah. just just grows out, and then I shave it. Was it useful to put things there for later? Like soup? Huh? Yeah, like um, you could like yeah, if you need to put something, you <laughs> just put it up there. Um, you could probably if it was small enough, um, and I wouldn't notice. I remember one time when I was a kid, I like I found a twig <laughs> in there. Yeah, uh, just hanging out. After after uh mm, picture after, like oh. grows into a tree somehow <laughs> <laughs> it starts to well, sprout <laughs> uh, well well so the the thing was i remember in high school there were times when um because that was just uh i uh i remember that people would try to sneak up on me and, and sneak stuff in there into the in there and then uh and then find out when i would discover that they had put something in there that was back when I let it grow out a lot more. I wish to. I don't do that anymore. Wish to share my favorite comment of this whole stream. Okay. He sounds bald. I always thought Frigga was bald. He sounds bald. <laughs> he sounds bald. <laughs> That's great. I'm trying. Well, maybe it's because of the. Well, you all. Well, you always have your hood on, and that mask. So, what? I that mean, makes him sound there, bold. There, are questions, <laughs> there, there are que there are simply questions that are that are to be asked. All right, that that's you know who knows what's going on under there. Why does he always keep his hood on? I I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't it, matter. It, it, that's the point. It shouldn't you're, matter. You're you're bald in your gingerbread cookie. I'm I'm a I'm a plague doctor at heart. That's the important part. Nothing you know. That's the, uh... He lacks a lot that's, of that's the human features as a gingerbread man, Rags. You know, I, I don't think we're supposed to take yeah. it as evidence. Like the lack of assume, lack of skin and organs and... Yeah, and nah, just for instance. The ability to move, you know? Yeah, things like that. <laughs> gingerbread man can move in track. I don't know if you're one of those ones. No. No, oh, no, okay. no. Right. I, it's, it's just a little gingerbread fring. That's it. Oh, come drop buttons! Wombo. <laughs> Where's the Undertale EFAP, you massives? It's one of my favorite games, and I know it's shit and sadistically want to see it destroyed. If you're gonna play it, you better stream it, long man. Love y'all. Um, did we ever intend to do an Undertale EFAP? I don't remember that. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't- I don't recall that either. I haven't played- I've only played like 30 minutes of Undertale. Well, I don't think I haven't played it at all, so... Or at least I don't- Drag sounds hairy. I am a dog. I am covered in <laughs> hair. <laughs> There are very few parts of me that are not hairy. I'm mostly hair. Just as a creature. Hold up. Is someone stealing my weird anime look up super chats? Now I have to tell you to look up a bobbit worm early. A bobbit worm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the ones that are in the water and they burrow down and they reach out and they grab fish. They like Whoa. fuck them up. Look at them. And they like. Sensory yeah. gold things. I don't even know. These are, these are gnarly. It's gnarly, bro. These are just, ugh, man. What a creature. What a. Damn, evolution, ugh. you scary. I'm glad that some of these horrific creatures are small and I don't have to worry about them much. Yeah. You know? Like, imagine if these were the size of, like, dogs or something like that, you know? And they were just, ugh, they were just out there. Um, fun fact. Jeez. The comics depict the Autobot slash Decepticon war as lasting four million years. Uh, and no, they don't die from old age. So many, like Optimus, fought for that long. Man, must have gone insane from the stress. Uh, I don't think the Transformers is going to be the show that will probably represent what the kind of damage a four million year war would do to your brain. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's just going to be like maybe you just uh, let's fight. You just get used Ooh, to it. Guns. You know, that's just that's just the default state of your existence say, yeah, is war. Yeah. It wouldn't even be war to them. Maybe they wouldn't call it war. They just call it you know. Yeah, it's just civilization. Okay, so, uh, uh, I don't know if this is true, mm. but, um, the bobbit worm buries itself in the ocean floor and waits for something to swim past, then uses its scissor-like jaws to attack with such speed that its prey is sometimes cut in half. Its Jesus. real name is Eunice Aphroditoid. Uh, Eunice Aphroditois. Aphrodotois, but it became known as the Bobbit Worm in 1996 after Lorena Bobbit cut off her husband's penis with a knife. Uh, I, I remember the yeah the Lorena Bobbit yeah that whole thing. Oh, yeah. is that the garbage disposal one? She no, she uh, so she chopped it off and then threw it out into a corn like a field, uh, and then they found it and reattached it and it still works. Neat, nice medical science, yeah. everyone. Yeah, I don't have, well. yeah, that that's beats any of my point. penis stories. I don't have a penis story where it gets de detached, oh, well. yeah. Just where the people on the, the show laugh about this happening. It's just like, man, we uh, we don't care if, like when men get hurt, do we? <laughs> we really don't care. Fuck them. It's funny, we, we start making jokes. Not, not only do we not care, it's funny, yeah. Yeah, it is funny. It is, it, I don't, it's, I can't explain it, but there is something funny about getting your penis cut off and then reattached after it was in a field. It is tragic. It is simultaneously horrific, like, but yeah. there is some, I guess it's funny it because, down, I, guess. I guess knowing that it <laughs> uh, ended out, ended up okay, Makes it uh, easier ending, to joke right? about. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, a yeah. happy ending if you. Yeah, yeah you know, it's got there's a gnarly a scar down the middle, but it works fine. <laughs> yeah, that's. Um, a, I can't imagine, like, th that is like when you present to a man like some of the worst things that can happen so to, to you. That, that really is high up on that list. I yeah. gotta say. And uh, and uh, Superjet just came in to say, look up Lorena Bobbit for which the Bobbit would get his name. It's like, yeah, there you go. Ah, yeah. I knew about Lorena Bobbitt, but I, I guess I just didn't put the two together, and so to speak. <laughs> so, um, nice. but, uh, did she? She didn't go, yeah, she, because there was a whole trial. I'm pretty sure she just got totally yeah. acquitted. I think they, I think the, the, the angle was, um, that, that it was like an abusive relationship. Um, and so that was like why it happened, right? Like a breaking right. point situation. Okay, uh, so, on, uh, I, I, it, Lorena was found I, not guilty due to temporary insanity, uh, meaning she did not have to spend time in prison for wounding John. Following the wounding, following the <laughs> acquittal, she was sent. Following the acquittal, she was sent to a hospital for a forty-five day psychiatric evaluation, as registered by Virginia state law. After which, she was released. Wounding it should be mutilated. Now this, surely. Now, now this says. Um, uh, wait, just a second. Um, let me, because this is saying that. Well, so they both got acquitted. He got charged for rape and was acquitted and she was acquitted of assault. So neither of them spent any time in jail by the sounds of it. I imagine they don't hang out much anymore. I, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he started doing like uh, pornographic films, uh, oh. marketing. Hey, corner that market, man. 
Well, yeah, I mean, you might, you might as well, right? Like, if it, it's like the um, I think it was from a Mark Twain story. I forget which one, but there's the the one legged prostitute, and her attitude, <laughs> and her attitude was basically, yeah, but no, no man ever has had sex with a one legged, you know, that's woman before, hard. and that's the angle I take, so <laughs> to speak. So uh, the uh, so that's the you know it's like making it, it I guess it was just a crass anecdote in a story about how to turn you know make lemonade out of lemons essentially you know see the so, see the upside of you know a potential you know, you know of a tragedy or something like that that happens to you so apparently they met again in two thousand nine it was the first time they met since their divorce and on the show. John, the guy who got his penis chopped off, apologized for the way he treated her during their marriage. Apparently, he continued to send her Valentine's Day cards and flowers. Oh, wow. Jeez. What a simp. I she mean, cut your I... cock off and you're still, like, sending her... Gee, what, what does she have to do to you to where you're like, you know what? This might be an unhealthy relationship. Oh, right, apparently he has been in trouble with the law several times, so... I, yeah. Yeah, that happens you when you get your cock chopped off. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait. That was that was after he got his penis chopped off, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this pre? Is this pre? I had a feeling uh, you do it. Or post pre? <laughs> I assume you do it like with time. Like, like time for him is only before and after the penis chop. It has yeah. To be. Like it's it's his A D B C. Yeah. Yeah. Um, happy Spider-Man No Way Home Day. Have some pennies, you wonderful massives. Hi, Rags. Hello to the Austri Hello. Austrian. Uh, Friggy, <laughs> Moolah. I recommend the original <laughs> West Side Story. Yes, it's dated, but I likes it. But I hear the new one is people like it, but nobody's seeing it. <laughs> yeah, nobody's saying it's shit, right? They're just saying that nobody's They're seeing all it. <laughs> Nobody went to watch it. Yeah. I didn't even know it existed until a second ago when he mentioned it. Dollars uh, budget and it's one fifty million. A hundred million dollars, I think, was the budget and opening weekend worldwide. It made ten million dollars. Oh, that's Steven an expensive Spielberg. musical. Well, that is well, Steven Spielberg. Uh, <laughs> I guess he oh got shit! The money His coffee costs a hundred million, right? <laughs> um. JC Denton voice, everything is pain. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Arcane's biggest flaw is the random pop music they like to throw in doesn't fit the aesthetic. Alright. Maybe, maybe. Pop? Uh, Cyberpork reminds me of Karl Marx. Hoi, Rugs. Hoi. Good old Cyberpork. Guess the movie quote. I heard your lieutenant is a real nutbuster. Hmm. All right. No clue. Um, it's familiar, but I can't quite guess it. Were you, Frankie? No, I no, I don't either. All right, chat. Which one is it? Oh, is this Starship Troopers? I don't know. All right. I really can't. Maybe. Some sort of Full Metal Jacket. I'm not sure. I can't remember. No, 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 no. Aliens? Got another Starship Troopers. Mulan. Starship Troopers, Starship Troopers, Starship Mulan. Troopers. There you go, Starship Troopers. I've decided through voting that that must be the truth. Um, favorite guns and abilities in Infinite, uh, Infinite everyone? Mine are Commando and Skewer. Grapple is really fun too. Seriously, everyone play Infinite. It's God damn great. Oh my, this praise. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the grapple is usually my favorite equipment, if that's what they're called. Oh, yeah. Bold and then yeah, I think so. That's fun. As for the... Oh, fun to be mobile. Favorite gun? It's like, uh... Um, I kind of enjoy using the cinder shot when you get used to it, and let's call it good with it, quote-unquote. Um, it can be really effective. Yeah. There's like a there's like a skill to it to a degree. Um, obviously same with the skewer, just aiming and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, have fun with a bunch of them. 
I think the core shit in, in, in Halo Infinite is pretty solid. I just, uh... Absolutely. Such a barren game. Get more in there. More spice, I've been, I've been more flavor. Playing the campaign a lot these last couple of days, and... Been using the Commando a lot. It's really good in a campaign. Because you, you have a lot of space to do, like, all the mid-range shooting if you want to. And you can just pop those heads left and right. Yeah. And... Because uh, there's, there's lots of variants of the weapons in the campaign. I haven't tried them all yet. But I do like the lock-on spanker. That's pretty neat. Uh, That's what got... I, the lock on hmm? spanker that's what got um john's dick cut off so be careful <laughs> yeah yeah you better aim at the enemy otherwise it's a bad time uh and just the uh, the burst fire rifle i forgot the name of that one because i'm stupid uh that's basically the loadout i'm, I'm running most of the time mm -hmm. and then just randomly pick up weapons that are around because in the campaign like for pve basically all the weapons are pretty solid i i have a friend who tells me that he thinks the game was like explicitly balanced far more for campaign than it was multiplayer based yeah. on him playing both of them because you can stagger enemies in the campaign so the ravager for example gets really useful so it actually kills people in like one burst Ooh. Uh, yeah, because all the Covenant weapons in multiplayer feel unbalanced with the Spartan yeah. ones. The Pulse Rifle is really good in, in the campaign, because I think one burst gets rid of the shield and the second burst mostly kills stuff if it's not an elite or, or a big brood. Um, running people over is very effective. <laughs> I've, I've, I've uh, noticed that. Realistic. I put uh, I put a, I think I put a put that clip in the holocrons on the Discord where it's, it's like a like a boss jackal and I just fucking yeet him over with the banshee. <laughs> His skills flying, really funny. Uh, but the banshee is very weak uh, as an actual vehicle. It gets destroyed pretty quickly and the firepower is awful. You need like two rockets to kill a grunt. Unless you hit it like spot on, I think. Uh, yeah, but I can totally see that the weapons have been balanced around the campaign. Which would be strange, on the, but yeah, all right. Yeah, I've been playing on the heroic, and I don't think it's super challenging. Like, unless you, I, I do tend to YOLO into these phases, and then I get shot a bunch and die. But if you just slowly do these outposts. Or with a little bit of care and don't just yolo in like I do, you can just easily kill most of the things before you get e get even in range. I think jackals are still your number one enemy. Like, well, there you go. Uh, just watched the first Spider-Man again on Saturday. The campaign for sure. Gonna be playing more. Mary Jane was awful in that one too. I couldn't believe it. We we'll have to rewatch them someday and. In Halo, yeah. Think, okay. think, well, yeah, one day because that's getting a TV show. Uh, mm. Long awaited. Everyone wanted it. Because a lot of people did want it. Uh, oh, OBS just said my connection went down for a second there. Yes, it did. Hopefully, it's big. I'll refresh. Boom, 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 boom. Did you see this? It was just posted. I just I just looked down there to take a look at the EFAP memes. Did you see this? I don't see nothing yet. <laughs> no. I'm waiting the, patently. Oh, and the EF, in the EFAP meme, the neon monkey one? I well, thought you were about to post it. Why wouldn't you post it? If you, like, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's there. The last one that was in EFAP memes. That's oh, what I'm I can't to. look at anything on Discord with Runicle. Oh, it's an animated oh, okay. one as well. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness gracious.
I want I I just played a little bit because I want to focus on the super chat stuff because I want it to be there for me so I could sit down and watch the rest of it later. But it's it's wonderful so far, and I I dare not watch the rest of the moment. Well, all right. I guess what you didn't post anything, so I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just sitting here no, like I, what? It, it I I'll just I'll leave you in suspense so that you could see it all later on. I was right, just, I was just curious. We could move on. It'll be there. Blame it's there, rags yeah. on me. Okay. Nope. I, I mean, I'm watching it right now. Shouldn't I? <laughs> What's your favorite gun from Halo Infinite? Bring ye. Um. Hmm. Um. I really like the pistol. Super fun to use. Well, there you have it. Unless ranks, do you have a do you have one you want to pick? Not really. I I just don't feel very strongly about having a favorite weapon that just feels really great to me. Um, I'll I'll probably I will certainly have a favorite weapon if um um when I'm done with the campaign. Mm-hmm. Halo Infinite reminds me a lot of Far Cry 5. The gameplay is fun, but that's about all I can say. Chief is great, but I find not Cortana annoying, and I'd rather have any random grunt as a sidekick. I like the pilot. So far, anyway. Yeah, I like the pilot, too. Especially um, after you get get a little bit of a story in the beginning, which is like, why is he whining so much? <laughs> then you get the story. It's like, ah, oh, okay. pilots. Ugh, am I right? Always Stupid whining. Pilots. I spit on those pilots. Oh fuck's it. Uh, the, oh, also propaganda grunt, best character. Love that guy. <laughs> I've seen some funny clips of him. Apparently, there's a there's a video out there that's just an hour long with all the propaganda tower lines. <laughs> need to watch that someday Probably because really I funny, yeah. never listened to it but considering they put an hour worth of lines in there that's pretty cool there's a really funny uh, or at least at least one really funny grunt audio log that I found I don't know if there's more but man it made me laugh I found that yesterday it's, uh, it's pretty good I don't know if I, if I want to spoil it it's really Hearing funny when you find it the compiled voice lines that you find in like video games can be really cool. My favorite is Nico Bellix. Every quote of his, just his, uh, <laughs> all of the quotes he says when he's angry. Roman, I should have never read your fucking emails and stayed away. <laughs> 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 I love that one. <laughs> oh, thi <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> I did not. Thought you could mess with me. <laughs> There's so many great lines. <laughs> uh, I there was a a compilation of Vermintide One voice lines, and I'd played that game for a long ass time, and there were still some that I just had never heard, and, and some of them were good that I'd yeah. never heard before. Uh, listen to the Homecoming debate episode again. Gary said Spider-Man 2 will outlast Homecoming in terms of quality. That did not age well. Hi, Fringo. Hey, well, I think a lot of people still think that Spider-Man 2 that is awesome, though. So, he's yeah. probably right, ultimately. Uh, not to yeah. EFAP, but to the general audiences, yeah, I think Spider-Man 2 will have a lasting legacy more so than Homecoming will, but people don't seem to hate Homecoming. They don't seem to hate Homecoming. It's, fu it's uh, far from home. It's what the people hate. Um, as far as EFAP's concerned, yeah, Spider-Man 2 aged badly, while, um, Homecoming, Homecoming is, is, is aging not, like a yeah. fine wine. So, from our point of view, yeah. Spider-Verse sequel has Lord and Miller, any hope? I thought it didn't have Lord and Miller. It does, apparently, they're, uh, they're co-writing. Well, okay, that's better. That is better. <laughs> yeah, so there's a little hope, sure. Um, EFAP episode covering Santa Inc. When no plans for that, I'm afraid. No, nah, I will, but not EFAP. I don't. I don't think. I don't think anyone here has got plans to cover it other than me. Thanks but, for taking a shot, buddy. Oh, I mean, it's. I think it should be interesting to talk about. 
I think it's gonna be based on what I've seen and heard. <laughs> so, uh, Dev made a good video that I recommend for people to watch. Yeah, uh, I saw Short that. Pat Otaku. He made a good video on it. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be interesting to cover the show because it's not too long, and um, it's really, really bad from what I hear and from what I've seen so far. I have no interest in watching it. I've, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, I My interest this. in it is purely from like a reviewing and looking at it and seeing why it yeah, doesn't yeah, work. Right. And I guess that, in that, that sense, kind of perspective. Maybe there is morbid curiosity of like how not to write a comedy. Yeah, like I would be, I'm, I would be legitimately interested in doing a a legit review of like Army of the Dead. You know, just because none of it works and it's so bizarre in its badness. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. I've mainly heard that it's annoying white supremacists. So you know. That's, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why are you a white supremacist? That'll be interesting to. Just some, just just some angry I do find that talk about this. That is kind of funny, right? There's no way that anybody would hate something I made, <laughs> uh, unless they're just a bad person. Like that's the only the only people who the wouldn't like what I made it. must be bad people. Uh. Uh, Mola Squid Game, you know the drill. You've had time to think it over. What's the order? You can add rags if you want. So this question is basically like, if me, Drinker, as Gary, and now Rags were all in Squid Game, who's lasted the longest? And I don't know, I feel like there's so many things that could happen that could kill any of us at any time that... How do you answer the question? I don't know. Hmm. How, do, how, do you, how do you figure this out? Like, who's passing red light, green light? It's like, I assume all of us, but at the same time, any of us could die because we... You know, a mistake is made. Yeah. Yeah, or we sneeze. Absolutely. And then it's like That's honeycomb, stuck. it's like, well, it's gonna be luck of the draw, assuming we don't know <laughs> going in, you know? <laughs> and like, I don't know that fucking drinker or rags are any better at scraping at a honeycomb with a needle. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Um, but if the question is more so like, who do you think would be the ruthless ones to like, sort of, uh kill others to get their place set. It's like, I feel like the set we've got there of people would be willing to talk about how it's a reality that all of us might not make it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that we have to think about that. So, yeah. Oh, JCS has just uploaded a new video. Oh, it's sick. Ah, oh, vomit. Ah, oh, vomit. Christmas with Cliff Oh, sea urchin. Called. 47 minutes ago. Well, I know what I'm watching when the stream's over. Yeah, well, I'm watching Spider-Man when this is <laughs> How long have we got for that now? I will have to disappear in like an hour and a half. Well, like, that's our cap, everybody. Yep. Cap America. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, why are we streaming? Spundo is coming out. True. From but this. true this time, yeah. Um, Like YouTube ads, I'm not consuming Arcane out of spite. Uh, I don't know. Why. Right. It's not the show's fault that everybody likes yeah. it. Well, well I, yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's. <laughs> I don't. If that's the spite he's talking about, it could be that he hates LOL or something. Oh, that he hates League of Legends, right? True. Yeah, which is the Ooh. correct opinion, but I think that there is like I've never even played it, but its reputation uh, truly has Man. gone past well, the game. Itself. The reputation is bad. I think a lot more so for the community rather than the well, game you... itself. Which I think is inevitable for anything that gets really popular, like... Anything, yes. yeah. We know who's replaced Especially. LOL in that regard right now. Right. Um... FIFA? Nope. Fortnite? <laughs> there you go. Has it surpassed League of Legends? In player base, yeah. Reputation? Yeah. Well, I mean, player base, sure, but like, in terms of reputation... I would have... If you hadn't Maybe? said that question, I would have been like, easily. LOL is referenced way less than Fortnite for being absolute cancerous cringe. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Especially yeah. since, like, Fortnite has been monetized incredibly. Like, Literally you go and you see Fortnite TV shirts, uh, TV shirts, Fortnite <laughs> t shirts, Fortnite <laughs> toys, Fortnite Nerf guns. Like, the amount of merchandising for uh, for Fortnite compared to, like, League of Legends is pretty insane. I'm having Thor play it, like, ugh. It's so tacky. Yeah. <laughs> ugh. Yeah. Well, I think the thing is, is that, like, at least when you look at League of Legends, it is, like, a big aspect of pop culture, and it is kind of, like, an amalgamation of a lot of things in terms of, like, fantasy, th especially, like, that seems to... It, it it definitely slots into that category, but I think League of Legends has a lot more, like, artistic integrity to it. 
as like a thing with characters in a world and like you know some sort of cohesive art style. And to be fair, MOBAs um, are mechanically rich. Uh, exactly. Obviously, That's they answer. differ, but like LOL was there's a shit ton of strategy that goes into LOL to the point where, mm -hmm. much like RTS is right, where early game if someone makes a mistake like in the highest levels of play in esports and stuff, then the entire team is like, it's over, we lost. Like, yeah. one mistake, we, we know what this means 40 minutes down the line. Mm -hmm. I suppose you could say the that for a lot of is... games, but I don't know, there's just a lot in LoL. I think, I think MOBAs, it's the fact that they're so long and it's all like, you get kills that get you the points and the money you need to like build up your skills and then start mm. stacking them. It's, there is that element. Fortnite is, just seems to me more so like just this amalgamation of pop culture. Yeah. It's like Ready Player One, but a game, but... I don't know, it didn't, it didn't start out, it didn't feel like it started out that way. It didn't start out that way, it started out as a base building, t uh, tower, like, defense thing. You build a fort, and then you fight, d at night, you defend it from zombies. That's what Fortnite was. <laughs> I always forget that was a thing. Well, that was what the game was, and then they just added a battle royale mode to try and for like PUBG, and then they that just became what Fortnite is. Wait, no. uh, Thunder just said COD's going the same way. They've added Rambo and John McClane. Is that true? I think that is true. I didn't uh, know that. Warzone, Fucking yeah. hell, we really are edging yeah, into that yeah. era, aren't we? Jesus. We are. Yes, we are. We are, and it's. I don't like it. Well, yeah, because like when I saw Predator turn up in Mortal Kombat, I was like s super happy to see him and noting all of the really well-made references and how mechanically he's like a really great representation. But at the same time, I'm like, oh god, I'm part of the problem. Mortal Kombat <laughs> has a lot of guest Damn characters. It. They have Rambo, and they have Robocop, well, and Terminator. It was just yesterday, I was, I was saying, he's like, oh, it's so cool that the ring girl is going to be a bad guy in, in Dead by Daylight. But like... It's so much more meaningful than a lot of these properties doing it because uh, it'll change the mechanics of the, the whole game. Each mm -hmm. killer has a different approach, and every time they add one, they'll have new mechanics that often are representative of their uh, respective IPs, which I think is really cool. Right. So it's like, I, I definitely am not against that, but it, it feels like aesthetic microtransactions where I'm like, hmm, I feel like we're going to go somewhere. Where are we going? What's, what's I feel happening? like this is a stepping stone to just like selling our for, for selling white for twenty dollars, you know? Exactly, because mm -hmm. having selling like and we, we talked about it before, but it's like the Gandalf skin for Viger in, in LOL. It's like that is neat, and then it's like, what if it cost a billion dollars? Though, it's like that would not be neat. It would not be neat. <laughs> no, it would not. No, it would not. And so yeah, I don't know. It's just a matter of. Hopefully they control themselves just a little bit. Oh, someone in chat said, check the newest post on the subreddit. I was curious that it's about how wrong we are again about the adaptation stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> about what? Well, it, if, to be fair, it opens up with, first off, Riggy's just wrong when he says 616 wasn't consistent. Yeah, Fringy, fuck you. Uh, what what are we what are we Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't It took know. me a second there to catch up. It's like, oh Spider-Man, right, again. Bad me. Yeah. Mola then said the definitive Spidey is just what people like the most. That is just factually incorrect. Nope, that's correct. That's literally how it works for all of them. It's whichever one is liked the most and understood to be the definitive one. The idea that there is a definitive one according to who? And to what source? Because it ain't whatever came first. We know this very well. Look at fucking Batman. Portman. Universe 616 is the main Marvel universe. Alrighty. Yeah. It's not like Earth 1. Mola then pivoted to a Dracula reference. That's not a pivot, that's an example. So, I... I, I'm going to distract you with something I've seen that I find very funny. I've seen that before. <laughs> I bring, you I are bring, the goo. I, I the goo is in you. I bring you. It's bringing you. Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> it's bringing goo. Don't let it get away. Is, Break its legs. No, it's, it's bringing. Oh, it's bringing. Is that a character from something? Oh. So, Simpsons. Man, you need to watch the Simpsons. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> by itself, it's just interesting. <laughs> 
but I figured there might be context behind the kind of character that this was. I remember the uh, visual. I, I can't put the episode in my head right now. It was now. the one all about X Files. I had the X Files one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they they had the yeah that's right. Then uh when they told Mo he's like FBI, give me a second. He goes back into the back room where there's a whale. All right, they're <laughs> on to us. Get him back to Sea World. No. <laughs> and then at the end of the episode, Mo and the two guys are carrying. I see them in the background. Just, yeah. Oh God, who knew whales were so heavy? Oh Jesus, <laughs> the feds! They run away. <laughs> so many great lines. I was just thinking, the Dracula example was a great example. Fucking, like, perfect. Because the definitive Dracula has changed so many times. Yep. And be ready for Spider-Man to change his definitive version if enough people, like, who know him mm -hmm. as he is now die, and enough people replace those people who think he's a, you know, giant tree... Because guess what? There was a period of time when more people than not thought Spider-Man shot webs out of his wrists, like yep. physically. That was a time definitive Spider-Man, bro. Yeah. Oh boy. Comic Fly. fans like Toby Spider-Man because Shocker, his personality matches the Stanley D Steve Ditko comics. Yes, only Toby's does. Andrew Garfield's and Tom Holland's have no traits that match. That's the thing. I don't even like Tasm, but the idea that uh, Garfield's to uh, Peter Parker doesn't count either, it's just like, oh, come on. No, I think that's ridiculous, yeah. And I mean, a lot of people a lot of people talk about how much they like his Spider-Man specifically, and how quippy he is, and how many jokes he makes, and how sarcastic. And oh my god, I've, this post implies that Peter Parker's entire personality was changed in the MCU from the comics. Entirely. Uh, okay. I... I have received an email oh, no. from a oh, Shadow no. Legends representative. Are we going to have a millionaire on the EFEP crew? This is, <laughs> well, uh, hello. Since the client works with dollars, maybe we could agree <laughs> on $1,000? <000? laughs> <laughs> I bumped it up. Hey, yeah, they bumped it up, right? There you go. <laughs> that, just, to, just to be clear to everybody, that little joke... Just made me three hundred dollars. <laughs> negotiate. You gotta negotiate. Negotiate. You're out of the deal. You're out of the deal. Well, like, wait. Maybe if they this... lowball on purpose because a thousand is their limit. You know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they're just like, That's oh, yeah, you these negotiate. YouTubers will just. Well, yeah. This. Oh, these YouTubers. They'll just do it for the offer. They'll just. They won't even think about negotiating. Yeah, yeah. They'll just say yes. Yeah. But like, just to be clear, that, like if this isn't the perfect example of that, I was fuck. I have no interest whatsoever in taking their paltry thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm more. I'm better than that, right? I'm better than taking a thousand dollars for a Rage Shadow Legends ad. I'm better than that. <laughs> okay. So I joke around about dongs, and they're like, "Here's three hundred <laughs> more dollars. Please do it. <laughs> Negotiate." people do yeah. it <laughs> oh someone like, in chat said the negotiations were short <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man i just That's like someone great. someone read that it's like oh, i'll try a thousand <laughs> see what happens <laughs> um last thing i thought was interesting from this post so uh. Mola says he finds it strange when people say holland is not spider-man how is it strange to say that an adaptation of a character doesn't line up with how the character is in the main comic universe? It's like, those two statements aren't the same at all. Yeah. Not even close. So yes, it is retarded to say he's not Spider-Man in terms of like a literal sense. Like, he is, he's... The movie's called Spider-Man. He's the character of Spider-Man. Dressed, he got bitten by a spider, that's why he called yeah. himself Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spondo of the undercover. <laughs> However, I also love the, the main comic universe. Like, uh huh. Main one for Spider Man. It has to be adhering to that. It couldn't adhere to anything else. And unless, I guess, you called the movie Superior Spider Man or something, and then you could just do whatever. You... Well, uh, no, then I guess you'd have to do the Doc Ock thing, right? And where is this or fucking you... zeal when it comes to all the other MCU characters? Well, yeah, because people, yeah. nobody is like this with Iron Man or Captain <clears throat> Marvel or uh, Black Panther. No, but you see, Fringy, all of their spirits were nailed, but Peter Parker didn't get nailed. People, 
people aren't even like this with Batman. Like, look at all the defenses people made for Batman v Superman, where, like, Batman is killing people, which is one of the things <laughs> that people generally think that he doesn't do. And people just say that that's fine. Like, even Batman doesn't get this much further, like, like... People get weird about this. Point. Like, we've... We... You guys who watch EVAP, you've been watching us from day one try to figure this shit out. We just... It doesn't make any <laughs> sense to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get conflicting information everywhere. It's like... Fuck you, Tom Holland Spider-Man. You're not even Spider-Man. We're like, oh, why is that? Like, because he's not one-to-one -one with the version of him in the comics I like. Because we didn't see oh. Uncle Ben take two to the chest, so <laughs> we fuck didn't him. see Uncle Ben get beaten to death with a shovel. It has to be something significant, right? You think Tony Stark's Iron uh, Tony Stark's uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man is now considered the main one because he's so popular? Main hero from Marvel? No, Spider-Man. No, still... the, the main, the, the main Iron Man. Oh, he's got to be the dominant one for culture now. Yeah, he's he's, yeah, he's definitely taken over the comic one as the definitive Iron Man. He, that's a good point. Yeah, that's what I, was, I just thought about. So, that. like a lot of people probably go for his, his ones because it's really good as well. So, so. I, I, great point. God damn! I just so look. Uh, so. Fringy argues that uh, the general population would not pick 616 as the definitive version, so therefore it can't be definitive. That's silly. It doesn't matter if 1% uh, of the population says oh. 616 is not the definitive version. It's literally a fact in universe. Yeah, in that universe. That, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. I hate to break it to you, pal. 1% of all people who enjoy Spider-Man is not what represents the movie-going audience. <clears throat> yeah. It's a lot more I think than this that. This is the part where you just got to remember, like a lot of people haven't read comic books. It's time to take the L, I'm afraid. So, definitive Spider-Man right now is probably Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, if not Tom Holland Spider-Man, to the if world not Tom Holland, at large. Yeah, you've got thousands of people in these generations who fucking barely know the comics are a thing, and then they watch mm -hmm. Tom Holland being the Spooderman. And this is the thing: you really want to appeal to the numbers. You've lost your definitive characters significantly. Like, de definitive Batman? I don't know. I guess it's Nolan, probably? I'm not even sure. Um, might be. And apparently it's disingenuous to point out, like, the ch changes with the, uh, the web shooters in the Raimi How is that disingenuous? That it's, it's correct. <laughs> it's just it's true. Not, <laughs> like, it's not disingenuous. Wait, wait, because... It's really simple. We're talking about how everything is perceived. Because that seems to be how we determine what the definitive edition is. And so, definitively, people might think that he's supposed to have it come out of his wrists. So, so to clarify, because someone mentioned it in chat, so my argument... So, yeah, 616 is, like, the main continuity of the comics. That's true. But when we're talking about the idea of what people generally consider Spider-Man to be, like, you can't just reference the fact that 616 is the main comic continuity. That's not really... That's not, like, addressing the point, because the point is not about, like, legitimacy in terms of canon. It's about what people broadly recognize to be, like, what what is, yeah, you know, Spider-Man. We have to walk them through this every fucking time, but what makes something definitive? I'm willing to agree it is the first version. However, we're not doing that for comics, because that breaks all of your arguments. Like, we, we can't. That break down, because we can't do that with Batman. The way can't that do Batman it as much as I like the idea. Yeah, as much as I like the idea of bat gun, uh, Batman Nancy. machine gunning down communists, that's not <laughs> generally what he's known for now. And that's, the, yeah. that's the thing, though. Like, it, it, I'd be willing to accept that as your definition, but I know you don't accept that as a definition, so we're going to have to move to a different one. You don't accept it for other things. Yeah. Yeah, you don't accept it because when it's... But I feel like I feel like it is the thing of, like, the Flash is very much like the killer argument. I don't know that there's any... Like, when people think of who is Flash, like, who is the Flash, the Flash that they're aware of, they usually say Barry Allen or Wally West. People don't mm -hmm. say Jay Garrick. They don't. And he is the original At least one. not in large numbers. And he is the original. But a lot of people say the definitive one is Barry Allen. And, I mean, you know, that probably is the the correct answer, right, in terms of the amount of like, time you see him in movies and TV shows and things. To help these people out a little bit, it's okay, okay? To, to have, a, nice. have okay. a preference for one of them. Even in an arbitrary sense, in, in in the sense that there's no reason other than you really like the way they were handled, that's okay. That can be your reason. Someone's pointed out in chat one that I think is good. For a lot of people, Kevin Conroy Batman is like Batman in their head. Not necessarily strictly from the animated show or strictly from the game or whichever other appearances he's done, but just like the, the Batman that he often presents in terms of like the voice, 
uh the way that he like behaves like a lot of people will think of batman they think of that but i mean you've got multiple different like eras of batman that you could be pulling from and it depends on what time you're pulling from as well like you're pulling from his first year batman year one you're pulling from like a later comic arc you're pulling from more of the modern comics are you pulling from the 60s are you pull you know like it i i think i think and and like yeah, because EFAP is, EFAP is very disingenuous yeah. on this subject. Nerdrotic is correct on this subject. So what Gary told me uh, to you, so yesterday was that um, it isn't determined by which came first. It's it's a complicated mixture of like the era, the authors, then just public perception, um, and sometimes, oftentimes, it can be which one was first, or whatever. But mm -hmm. it's not exactly solid. Uh, it's can get really complex sometimes and the flash really does cause problems with this for the uh the purity crowd mm -hmm. yeah Which purity of course crowd. It does. and i'm very glad it exists as an example because i think if we used it theoretically people would reject it they'd be like nah yeah. that's not a thing it's like well lucky we have the flash and green lantern isn't a good one just because of the fact that there are multiple green lanterns all the time the flash is like perfect in terms of highlighting this point you're probably right. Batman is a great one, too. There's so many Batmans that are awesome. There are a lot of different Batmans. Thomas Wayne, then you got Terry McGuinness. Um, you got different, like, versions of Batman, different universes. Um, you've got different eras of Batman, uh, where he's more campy and more dark. Um, yeah. I mean, you've got Superman. There are, like, multiple different v versions of Superman, too. I just think that it's it's a, a lot of people really like uh, the individual versions or the famous versions, and they're like, that's the definitive one. And you're like, we, we all kind of just agreed on that. We didn't actually have any reasoning for that. I guess the thing is, is that, I don't know, I feel like, because someone has mentioned it in chat, and I always think about it too, a lot of people's favorite Green Lantern is Jon Stewart, and he came around much later than a bunch of the other Green Lanterns, but people like him, and they li and, and then at that point, when people think of Green Lantern... There are probably plenty of people who immediately go to him. And of course, Green Lantern is like, it's like a job role. So there are always multiple Green Lanterns, but I feel like it's still another example of this whole thing. I guess I just find it confusing because I don't really get what the point is in terms of arguing about the idea of definitive. It's it's like the whole oh, Miles Morales thing, right? It's like Miles Morales is Spider-Man. He's just a different Spider-Man. I don't, I, I don't know that... I don't know that just saying that that's true like means anything in terms of, I guess, legitimacy or like, what people are attaching to, you know? Yeah, if we only had... If we only ever had Peter Parker Spider-Man, and he was very rigidly characterized, not in, like, a bad way, just that we understand him perfectly, and then someone was like, what if he, um... I don't know. What if Uncle Ben wasn't shot, it was his best friend, or if it was a girlfriend, or, uh, or the, the aunt instead? And it's like, I wonder how that changes the story. Let's explore it. And I, I just, like... You gotta be careful when people are just like, no, it's supposed to be Uncle Ben. The like, idea that whoa. that's exactly that it's not possible that we can explore these different ideas. Or or the idea that it's like, well, you can, just don't say that it's legitimate, I guess, you know, like, and yes. always, always mark it as an alternate story. And, you know, I've, I've heard this doubled up by, like, lots of comic fans as well, but, like, it seems like the important elements of Spider-Man you've got to keep. Uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Man... Now I'm having another because somebody's mentioned this and I totally forgot. John Stewart wasn't from the comics originally. Um, he was an animated TV show, right? So like he was an animated he was in the animated shows and then because he was popular, he got translated over to the comics. Huh. Interesting. Because like <laughs> I don't even think that the the comic purists agree with each other necessarily a lot of the time when they get into the actual details. Um, right. You'll find, like, like all of them disagree on whether or not Tasm Peter Parker was good or bad as an adaptation. Uh, you get lots of different results, I guess is what I'm saying. And then, of course, pretty much all of them think Raimi's one was, was top-notch. Um, and then the, the, the MCU one, you get all kinds of answers for that as well. It's like, if this is so objectively clear, it seems weird that so many people are unsure about it. But then again, I guess you can make argument for Flat it. Earth, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Harley started off in an animated show, and then, because she's so popular, she became a comic book character. Yeah. I guess, uh, maybe, 
I, I, I guess I can understand... Uh, yeah, I guess I can somewhat understand, right? Um, Like, if somebody looks at changes that happen in the film and they recognize... But, but I feel like this is almost a tacit acknowledgement that they know that they're wrong. That they recognize that if the film does it a certain way, that, that change might bleed into the comics because it does happen. Where, like, the comics will start to yeah, yeah. warp, to alter, to be more like the films. But all that demonstrates to me is that there is a recognition that the films are going to influence the comics. Because the films are seen by more people than the comics are read by. And like Sorry, this, you know. I feel like there's just way too much identity tied to these things being facts. Thus, us here on the old Fappins, we're just trying to make sense right, of it. it was in the comic first. While right, when we bring it up to contradict like an argument, it sounds like we're actually hurting people, and it's like, oh shit, uh, we're just looking to. Figure this shit <laughs> yeah, out. we're just asking. Yeah, we're. Uh, I think we've we've seemed to be given this a lot more thought than other people have. They just sort of go with this ambiguous sort of gut feeling that they have and they don't really explore that or push the boundaries of it or examine it closely. Like part of my video on DS2 was figuring out what the definitive edition of the game was to review because I, I didn't know if I was supposed to do DS2 or Scarlet of the First Sin. Now mm -hmm. if someone said well it's the first one is the definitive one I'd be like well is that how that works? Isn't it games oftentimes the definitive version might be the latest one? You know, Absolutely. And then I was like so maybe it's that and then I think I checked the the description on Steam, and the the devs had chosen to to uh, describe Scholar of the First Sin as the definitive edition. I was like, well, so I feel like the authors describing which version is definitive kind of trumps any other metric I'm going for. If but like, but I don't I don't know. I feel like definitive could mean a couple things, and so when people say the definitive Spider-Man, I'm just like, I don't know what you mean by that, really. Mm -hmm. Same for Batman. Because I guess if uh, if, uh, if the, the, the maker from stuff says, yeah, this is the definitive one, but people all have just been playing the original one, it's like, hmm, maybe I want to review the the, the one everyone is playing, because that's probably the most interesting one to people. Right? Oh, well, yeah. Um, Evan said then, then again, death of the author. It's like, that's not, I don't know that I'm appealing to like a, an in-universe judgment of any the content. I'm talking about like a meta one, like categorically, is it definitive? And could definitive mean whichever one the creator has said is the final version slash most completed version? Which you would rely on them for that, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Rags? When I got the definitive edition, what is for, it like if we're talking about yeah, how it would from you a, define what makes something the definitive edition? Well, when I, looking at it from a like a video game perspective, right? When I got the definitive edition for Battlefield Five, it was the 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 current stage of the game, I guess you could say, all of the DLCs and mm -hmm. add-ons. This is post all of the balance changes and adjustments. It is pretty much the ideal version of that game. It is the truest, probably, the, the truest form of that game that the developers were able to make a reality. Uh, their best, I guess you could say. Uh, when it comes to movies, I guess you could say that when it came to maybe Justice League, when it came to Zack Snyder, his version was the truest version of that to what he wanted. That was the, the most ideal manifestation of his... I guess you could say his vision. Um, so maybe that should be what the, the the definitive edition that it defines in a way of speaking what the creator or creators wanted to happen the most with their project. Um, I feel like that's it, close to how I was saying it. Yeah. Like, that, I, I, just, I went with the authors, if you will, of DS2's, their opinion on what the definitive one is, rather than whatever metric I could come up with. I guess that is a metric I I'm think, coming up with. I think I'll... I think, tentatively, of course, I'm gonna probably go with that. That seems to be a decent way of looking at it that's certainly charitable to the material that's being looked at. And so how would that um, translate, then, over to a character? Now that I don't, yeah, that I, uh, that I don't know. 
Um, I do know what you missed. I mean, I don't know uh, about uh, like the, the, yeah, the character aspect of it. To catch you up, friend, we basically just went over what makes a game definitive and the different ways we figure it out. And then it's like, does that right, reflect right. well or not usefully at all when thinking what makes a character definitive? Well, Someone asked a good question. To, if if I could just put this in, because this is similar. Sure. What about Fallout? Which Fallout is the definitive right. Fallout game? That's New Vegas, good. one or two, three, four, seventy-six, and that's very similar to the character. Uh, but yeah, too. yeah, changes was, based on who well, you talk to. I was to. about to bring up uh, Assassin's Creed, but I think Fallout's even better example because you you went straight from like an asymmetrical, not asymmetric, isometric. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, and what was, what's the, the system that that uses? It, it uses like one of those role playing systems with chances and things like that. And then you change that to Fallout 3 and, and 4, which are like very different. Cause people, cause people's opinions on that are going to be influenced by which ones they played first. That's definitely true. Mm -hmm. Like what people yeah, consider no, and then, to be the definitive will be determined you, by which one they played first. And you start to uh, notice to the extent, similarities well, then with the character problem we're having. Where people got exposed to Wally West through comics or cartoons when they were a kid, and then Barry Allen comes back and it's like, well, wait a minute. No, it's Wally West. That was the one I always saw when I was growing up. Or like, which, you know, which Robin is the definitive Robin? A lot of people would probably say Dick to bring back but a Dracula example. On Someone's like Lee Dracula. That's that's the one. Someone's like no yeah, Lugosi Dracula. Right. That's the one. And you're like no. Mm -hmm. But by the way, yeah. definitive James Bond. I feel like a lot of people would be like Sean Connery, right? It's like well, some people might feel well, a little different. Some people would say Pierce Brosnan. And if yeah, someone's like yeah, but Sean was Fist. Right? It's like I don't know that Fist is really. The... I feel like the Flash is just the killer argument for first is just not all, always the way that it works. A lot of the you time know, it is, but not Especially with how old these things are and how yeah. and now people just don't know about the first. When when people yeah. see Batman machine gunning down communists, they, I mean, as awesome as that is, a lot of people just don't know that even exists. And if they do, they think, oh, oh, that's a different version of Batman that definitely isn't the real one. <laughs> And that's the Man, keyword. Instead of saying it's an older version and that's it, uh, it's 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 not the right one. It's not the correct one. It's not the legitimate one. I think one. someone's... This is... You'll read the super chat eventually, but they brought up how, like, Guardians... A lot of people... Guardians is what James Gunn yeah. did. Yeah. That's Guardians. I think that you will find that, like, 95% of people, that's what they think Guardians of the Galaxy is. You'll find very few people who are going to be referencing, like, the 80s comic book. Um, and it's so much so that, like, a lot of other Guardian stuff going forward is just gonna take inspiration from his because it was so significant in terms of how popular it was. And so it's like, man, the movie kinda, like, defined what Guardians is. And I'm sure that, like, the film, because I don't know that much about the comics for Guardians, like, I'm sure a lot of it was inspired oh. directly from the comic books, but, like, goddamn, like, there is a style there that has now become what people associate with Guardians. Uh, hypothetically, because we're trying to figure out how this is working exactly it's just like for anybody who feels that we're 100 million percent wrong here um if everyone's memory of spider-man got wiped except for mcu spider-man tomorrow does that make mcu spider-man definitively spider-man is that how that works and so therefore if we then made the raimi like, trilogy to, that would be like bad to clarify all of the content still exists okay. it's just not been read by anybody like the comics for spider-man at that point oh, yeah, they're okay, out there right. you can go find them and buy them but no one cares about them so, what mm -hmm. happens then? And if your system breaks down, maybe you need a new system. Just think about it. Yep. Because, um, this is the thing. If a, if a new Buffy came out, everyone loved it, and I thought it was shit, and they were like, that's the definitive Buffy now, I'd be like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't put much stock in it. However, if I'm like, this character's really well written, then someone goes, yeah, well, it's not the definitive Spider-Man. It's like... Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not particularly valuable as an observation. It's like we're well, still good. So what difference does it make? But it, and it always feels like much more interest in trying to be like, no, actually, your character sucks. And you're like, oh. Or like that it's illegitimate. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What is the definitive Mario game? Hmm. Because, oh, uh, damn. I feel like a knee jerk reaction for a lot of people I would be N64, and it's like, no, no, no. I feel like a knee jerk response for a lot of people would be Super Mario Brothers. Depends how uh, old these people Super are Mario we're talking about. Brothers 3 <laughs> or Super Mario World. Um, some might say 
uh, that it's like Mario Kart is more definitive for like Mario than a. Uh, Oh, can I, I just want to answer like this? Someone said Silmola so yeah. is definitive edition then a form of mass bias. I don't think it's we need to consider it bias if we acknowledge that that is the definition we're running with. Like, yeah. it's okay. I've, I'm have i more than happy if we want to say the definitive character is simply the one that most people see them to be or know them to be. I'm like, okay, that's fine. As long as you don't make any other prescriptions afterward, that's fine, I think. And if someone was like, and with that metric, we know for a fact that uh, the Stanley Steve Ditko Spider-Man from 616 is definitive. I'd be like, I don't know that that's true by that metric, but I don't care to argue that much. Yeah. Because I but feel then if you like... Say, and therefore, that's why MC Spider-Man's bad. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Stop it. Come on, line him up. Oh, you got him. No, you didn't get him all. Oh, you did. Awesome. I did, yeah. I enjoy that minigame. I wish it were harder. I want to do level 2. <laughs> I should make a whole game that's just shooting a bunch of yeah. Bowser Jr. balloons. And ironically, Mario Kart is probably the definitive laugh my ass off. Um, I don't even know where we would begin. Um, I feel like the first one might be the easiest way to go with this, but what about like the one that made it the most popular, or the one that sold the most, or the one that everyone thinks about? Mm-hmm. I saw that meme earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this shit is fire. There is, I was filling up my car the other day, and I got a whiff of the gas, and I was like, there's a something about this smell that I just like. <laughs> there is something about the smell of petrol. I, I, It doesn't actually surprise me that that is like an addiction for people. It represents it's power. A, a, I mean, it's just got, it's got this, it smells like, it smells like work, you know, like it smells like um, because I've been around like grease and turpentine. I've been around motor parts and engines and tractors and stuff like that. And there's just this pleasant. My mind goes to these industrious memories when I when I see, you know, a, a greasy you know bit of machinery and I, and I kind of smell that lubricant in the air or the. Or the, the, you know, the gasoline. Uh, there's something about it that just it gives me really good imagery. Not in like I'm getting highway, but in terms of just good memories. I, I like that. I wouldn't that say smell. that for me it's not poetic. It just smells <laughs> nice sometimes. <laughs> That's all I got for that. It's weird. But it, I, it doesn't surprise me that people get addicted to, like, huffing petrol. My dad owns a, a John Deere tractor from like the 50s or I think it's the 50s. And when it runs and when it's just puffing, when it runs and that belt is spinning and it's just going thump, 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 thump. And you hear that engine running and you see it wiggling a little bit and it, and it puts off this, this fuck it, I'm going to say an aroma. It just it oh. smells great when you when you get the sound and you look at it and you smell it. It there's something great about it that I really maybe this is that that car culture that they're trying to demonize now. <laughs> maybe I, you're what, already what, addicted. What? I don't know. Could be wait, that too. sorry. Wait, is that you? I guess you're not happy about that, right? That people are trying to get people off car culture by the sounds of it. Yeah, it's that thing they're doing, like uh, cars, like it's t toxic masculinity and cars and Wait, motor. Toxic masculinity? <laughs> Wait, what? That, that's a, that's I thought that the reason why people going. wanted to disincentivize cars is because they want to push towards like bikes and walking and stuff. Uh, I think some maybe, you, you really get the push from, I think, the idea that, I think it's more of a, this is a thing that men do, you know, men are in their muscle really? cars okay. and their engines. I think, I think like women that. can drive cars, that's what I think. <laughs> I do, Ab yes. <laughs> Absolutely, but generally car culture is a mostly masculine thing. Oh, sure, uh, sure. Yeah, I just didn't like, realize people demonized it because men enjoyed it. I thought it was more of like a... Oh, you know, anything like, men enjoy gets demonized. <laughs> bringy, it's, yeah, it's, I, I guess okay. I should have... Yeah, It'll come for everything. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of independence to it. That oh, is yeah. that a lot of people don't like the idea that like for me you the idea that you can just get in a car whenever you want and just go independent mm -hmm. of like anyone else like a lot of people might you know they they look down on that sort of thing they want it's it's a shame but mm. I mean America needs better public transport infrastructure though <laughs> like I feel like that's uh that's undeniable based on everything I've heard about 
the way that buses and shit run in, in most American cities. It there sounds just like isn't you don't really have a car, public. you just can't get around. Like around here, there are some buses and stuff that people do use, but pretty much everyone here has a car. Well, it's the same in Australia, right? Everybody here has a car because it's just a big place. Like, you can't get most places and public transport's pretty bad. Um, it's pretty good, like, in basically in Melbourne and that's it. Like, anywhere else, it's just really uh, not easy to get around if you don't have a car. But it seems to be different, right? Like, in Europe, there's much better public transport infrastructure. Like, they're less mm -hmm. built for cars. America and Australia were, like, built for cars. I have a bus stop in front of my door. Well, I, I think it might just be legitimately really right. The bus stops in front of my house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I mean. That's like super. <laughs> I, I feel like it's mountain. um. Sure. I do wonder. If, cool. I wonder if it is like as simple as because the United States and Australia are much younger countries than European uh like cities, um mm. that when our cities were developing, they could develop with consideration for cars, whereas Europe was already like pretty condensed and so like trying to fit cars in was difficult in general but i do think it's partly policy as well right like some european cities will do infrastructure projects that make it harder to move around by cars so then people are it's also quite spread out here there's a lot of suburbs and there there's a lot of room to move around and stuff so yeah but i mean I, like i feel like suburbs are just kind of like lame right like that's that's kind of the thing whereas you see in these european cities they have less of that like you can walk places you don't need a car. i mean i can walk places but they they oh, sure. just, just the spread of everything you, you like, I, some, I think it's the thing if you see those maps like the pictures that people share on twitter and it's like oh a suburb it's like where is the public space that you can walk to oh it doesn't exist <laughs> like it's all just houses and maybe like a park every now and then but there's no like public spaces where they've got all of the shops and like all of the uh places that you would want to visit where you can interact and just organically meet people you got to drive to like a shopping center um, uh maybe it depends on where you live because certainly around here town, like if you live in a small town where you've got the main street that that's kind of how things are sort of organized here i suppose where you have you just have like um whole blocks that are sh that are shopping malls and grocery stores and things of that nature mm -hmm. it's not just you don't see just you generally don't see just a random one by itself though that happens of course but for the most like next to the grocery store there's uh within walking distance there's the ups place there is a the post office place there's a hobby lobby there's a restaurants there's a this there's a convenience store you know it's it's all it's a, it, it makes me wonder, maybe it's just because people just don't want to walk. Because I could, because for me, like, I understand I why you're going to get walk. groceries. Yeah, I think a lot of people just don't. Um, yeah, because uh, for me, I can go to the grocery store, and if I don't buy too much, I can carry it back. But there is an aspect of, you know, I'm loading up for X amount of time of food, so, you know, da da da. But I can walk to convenience stores i can walk to a lot of places it's just a matter of do i want to do it or just or do i just want to get in my car get there and then come back mm -hmm. um i but I, uh, I guess the idea is is there an element of you can just change that mindset in people through city planning like if you plan the city in a certain way you will just end up naturally making people not want to drive they'd rather walk because they're going to get something out of that uh it's it's not merely just getting to this location like if they go walking, they might bump into somebody, or if they go walking, they might cut through a park that's really nice, you know, stuff like that. Because here, our park, because we have a decent amount of parks here, um, and I guess it would depend on which city you're in, right? Like, or, or oh, absolutely, country, it will, absolutely. You've got lots of parks, yeah. There's so a bunch of lakes true. here. There's a decent amount of parks and stuff like that. A lot of them you can walk to when you go there, or even when you drive past, you can just see people walking around like there's mm -hmm. there's a bunch of lakes here and people walk around those and they've got the sidewalks for it and there's baseball fields and playgrounds and tennis courts and stuff of that nature um but it, it's all there i mean it, it, i guess it depends i guess it's just where you the are. thing of like you often because we got plenty of parks here and like playgrounds and stuff but you rarely see people on them <laughs> they're just there they exist but people don't use them that much hmm. um because I think it's more complicated than just having them be there. It's like giving people a reason to go through them um, or uh, making it so that people go through them more often. I don't know. I was just sent a DM 
by Gary saying apparently the newest episode of Hawkeye they've reckoned it so that Black Widow's sacrifice in Endgame was actually about Yelena. What? what? No. <laughs> what? No. Are you serious? No. Fuck no, off. It's just a sentence, so that could mean a lot of different things. But okay. All uh, right. Okay. I'm. Ooh. Man. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what that means. I didn't like the Holy sentence already, fuck. so thanks. <laughs> Holy shit! That's, uh, I don't even know how yeah. you could, like, uh, that man. That is, uh, I, ooh, ooh. that makes me a little angry. We'll have to see it. We'll have to see it. All right. I don't know what it yeah, what it yeah, means. If that's exactly. the case. Oh, if uh, oh, that sounds so stupid, I might actually watch Hawkeye now. <laughs> well, like, Just, wait. So it's worse. Is, is that that's six plausible? Now? Five out of six are out. The next, the last episode's out next week. I might mm. try and watch that soon. And uh, I don't even know that I want to do an EFAB with you guys on it, just so that I've seen it and I can be like, it was this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. Gotcha. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's worst is that I can believe that they would do that. Yeah. It's oh, totally. One hundred percent plausible that. Yeah, they'd they've do done that. way worse. To do so that of in course. the Hawkeye show. <laughs> to do that in the show about Hawkeye. Man, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, like how the could they do that? About like, him. Literally, how though? How, yeah, how do you explain that? How could how could you, you possibly know that? Explain that. that. Mm -hmm. Um, and something I wanted to highlight as well because it was interesting as just a sort of closing on the the other uh, discussion we had. Um, a future super chat said, on a similar note, the Mortal Kombat movie in the '90s influenced the game series. After the first game was out, Kano was from Brazil in MK1, then they changed it to Australia after the movie came out. Definitive changes with ages. Yeah, because if anyone said Kano is not Australian definitively, we'd just be like, okay. That's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's like his, one of his main traits that everyone loves, so I don't even know why. Yeah. You know, it would just get weird at that point. And to me, and I feel like we this is EFAB's position on this, just about what people like the most, that becomes definitive yeah. traits of the character, and that is fine. I just prefer that we say that that's what it is. Um, no main line. Oh yeah, as for Hawkeye, I, I, don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I mean, I'm off work next week. We can watch it together. Oh, can we can suffer together. Okay. It makes it sound like it's trying to be fun, Matt. Yeah, I can Not Ooh, fun. fly my, your, your schedule to mine now, so we can Ew. actually hang out again <laughs> in the daytimes. Uh, wait, nighttime. Whatever. Shut up. Oh, I came so close. These maps are quite big for a GameCube game. These are I love them. They're awesome. Yeah. I wish this game were finished the, to the <laughs> level they wanted it to be, because it probably it probably could have kicked some serious ass if it were complete. Yeah. Could have. Uh, Odyssey very much does bear a lot of similarities to like Sunshine when you think about it. It's just. But then again, that's more the collectathon aspect. But these big open environments where you get to explore around and just look for things and do and stuff, play around with I think mechanics. We've said it before, but like the water in this game is better than a it's lot amazing. of water just ever. <laughs> like, it's it's like amazing, yeah. It, for a GameCube game, oh my god. Look at that water. Great. So good. Uh, oh, Mario Sunshine. Okay. Mario Galaxy is definitive Mario. Well, yeah, some people. Might. I mean, that's my favorite Mario game. Well, and I was about to say, like, if someone was like, "Oh, that's absurd," Mario Galaxy came out like really. It's like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. If if it was the best Mario's ever been, I can totally see why someone would say it's definitive. But also, at this point, it's worthwhile remembering, like, Super Mario Galaxy is fourteen years old. It's uh, it's not a recent game. Not a young baby game, you know. Yeah. yeah. I find Mario super interesting because uh, even like the 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 musical sort of um, like Mario's musical themes have like changed significantly. Like at this point, Mario mm. has mainly got like jazz pieces, but there was a period there where like Mario was super orchestral. There was a period there where Mario had a lot of like the the sunshine influence of like very relaxing sort of like tropical sounding music. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the chiptune stuff, it's like, yeah, what, like, Mario, even, like, Mario's musical motifs have changed. Um, you know, it's just interesting to think about. Sunshine was 2002, yeah, this game, dude, this game is 20 years old next year. Whoa! Man. <laughs> <laughs> that is just like a, ooh, the early 2000s was a while ago. <laughs> like, yep. I, I think that's what started to scare me. 
Rags, have you heard of Project Zomboid? It's a cool zombie game with a sort of 2D art style, kind of like Fallout 1 and 2. Great gameplay, and you can customize it to be like TWD or 28 Days. Big recommend. I think what they mean is isometric. So, within the last probably two weeks, that game has been popping up in conversation and recommendation more than normal. I've heard... Well, sorry, I've heard very good things about it, and I am definitely, I have a friend who's playing it right now, according to Discord. Mm -hmm. I am quite interested in that game. Um, I think it seems the, like it could be really interesting. I think the so reason it's on my been, list. I think the reason why it's been popping up more lately is because they released their uh, multiplayer, they implemented yes, multiplayer that's now. that's what I've heard, yeah. So I think that's why it's popped up again. I liked this. I thought this comment, this was amusing from a little bit ago, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Twice. Very important. So it says, the core aspect of Peter Parker is his uncle being shot twice. Twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> Comma twice, just in case you need yeah. further emphasis. Gotta be fucking dead. Uh, grape or strawberry peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, is it grape and strawberry, grape or strawberry in a PBJ? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't really care for PBJs that much. You're American. We don't do peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, yeah I'm not too keen on them. Uh, I don't really, I haven't had one in, I can't even remember the last time. I like peanut butter. I like jelly. Love Together, butter. I just, uh... Like I'm, I'm snacking on peanuts now. It's like, that's one of my go-to snack foods. Um, but together, I don't really like them too much. Um, ugh, if grape, I would, I think goes better. But I'm, right. I'm not really the one to ask too much about that one. I, I typically I just not do it. I'm not a PBJ guy. I think someone asked me this before, and then I said it's grape. Jam is like pretty uncommon here. Like I, I've legitimately checked since I've been asked this because I wanted to try it out. But I, like in the normal shops, I couldn't find any grape jam or marmalade or whatever. It's like, huh, weird. It's very common here. I'm like marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Hey, like nice. if you say jelly to people, I bet most people around here, you know, a purple is what comes to mind. You know, a purple jelly like grape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey guys, how was yours was Thanksgiving? I think I know what they're trying to say, and uh... It was very good. I assume it was good, I forget which day it falls on, because we don't do it here. I'm pretty sure it was a 20th. Thursday. It's the Thursday, last Thursday of, uh... One November, right? <clears throat> um, well, Rags, how was Thanksgiving? My, uh, my, my Thanksgiving went well. Yay. We had the whole family there and ate a bunch of stuff and had a good time. Yay. Sweet. There you go. There's your Thanksgiving stories in full. I know, it took a while, but we did it. You could see me on Thanksgiving because Ew. the whole day is always just streaming. <laughs> uh, I bet none of you know when the War of 1812 was. Oh, was it 1917? Yeah. Trick question. <laughs> It was 1218. So. Dang. Oldie. Oldie but a goodie. That's quite a typo. Uh, we used to talk Star Wars, which was the style at the time. <laughs> 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 we really did. Oh, that's great. Don't worry. Book of Boba Fett is right the on the cusp of bringing out. Oh, the best God. part about that joke was how Abe leaned into the camera, <laughs> just yeah. with like a kind of blank expression, which, which, <laughs> which was the, the style time. of the time. <laughs> Tie an onion to my belt. Um, right, where are we? Boop, boop. Bringy, been meaning to ask you this a while. Have you ever <laughs> really been far enough even as decided to use even go want to do look more like also high rags? Oh, hello. So is the point that's of that, question. that's gibberish, or...? Oh, you gibberish. read it again you if you mean? want me to... If you want I, don't, to I don't understand it, and I don't <laughs> think that reading it again will help. I think it was pretty straightforward. Well, that's uh, not a very good attitude to have, for I was gonna off. say, I mean, Rags, if you wanna answer it instead. Seems like Fringy's not allowing that one. 
Oh, you can read it. If, you can answer it if you want. I just don't understand the question. Absolutely. Just so, just for the sake of clarity, so I know what they're asking. Can you say it one more time? Yeah. So I, I'll change to like addressing you now. So rags. Uh, okay. Been meaning yes. to ask you this a little while. Have you ever really been far enough, even as decided to use, even go want to do look more like? Also high ranks. Yeah, I think so. I think that's fair to ask. Um, it happens every once in a while, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't say it's too. It's enough to make you when it does happen, right? When you do, you know, when you are in a situation like that. I can understand so why Fringy thought it was a bit too personal to answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's some people don't like to talk about it. I think it's fine. I don't think it's a big issue for me personally. I feel that some clearly some people won't have the same kind of reaction that I do. But it is a sort of situation that it's when it does arise, man. you go, oh, it is a reality for for everyone, really. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. But how much it happens, when it happens, and probably what's most important is who you're with. Because that's going to change a lot about it. That's that's probably... that's When people... It's, it's a scenario that when people bring up, it's not about the thing itself. It's who you're with and what you do as a result of the thing that they're really trying to get into. I think, I think they got their money's worth of that one. I think so. Uh, what, Fringy, you don't want to do your part? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what that regards, because it came in ages yeah, ago. Me but... <laughs> Welcome to EFAP Super Chat Catch-Up, where your question becomes <laughs> impossible to interpret <laughs> due to the passage of time. Uh, the Great Wall is in the Matt Damon movie, not War. You said... Did you say Great Wall? And I just assumed you weren't talking oh, about the Matt Damon I don't movie. Wanna, I don't want to live in the Great Wall universe. I haven't seen that it, so I awful. can't address that it's just as an option. Medieval times, but with crazy ass monsters. Like, no thanks. That was a fun movie. I haven't seen it, but. It, it, Did you I ever think, see The Great Wall? I think you said it would be good for a, an EFAP movies, right? Or... I think so, yeah. I think it really? will. I think it would be a really good EFAP movies. We saw that in the theater, my dad and I, and we were just like, well, that was stupid, and we liked it. It was just Yay. weird and wild. Uh, only Poland was good during World War One. I. I, like the I don't know much about out. what happened with Poland in, uh, in World War One. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's an area that I'm not as familiar with. Just to jump ahead a little bit, follow up with the one we just had, but... Uh... Gibberish? Man, fuck you, Fringy. That was straight from the heart. Took a while to build up the courage <laughs> to ask you that. Uh, thanks, Rags, for answering. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. well, Always happy to help. What if the Book of Boba Fett was on the CW? Jabba ruled with fear. I will rule when this suit fits a woman. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, I really dislike the term colored people. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> there are I people. Really don't like I don't like people of color don't either. Have a color. I don't like people of color. The big thing I don't like about people of color is that I think it's <laughs> very revealing of like a very again. It feels like a super you know Western centric. Like there's white people and then there's everyone else. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we're, of we're the world. normal. We're like, the default like, for humans, but they they East, colored the rest of them. East Asians, Southeast Asians, Africans, our uh, our people. It's like you're all just part of this amorphous group of non-whites. I hate Dude, it. Uh, I hate the term. I think it sounds especially really bad when you pair it. it with there are people and then there are people of color. I like, know, right? It's like, damn. what are you implying? Like, what? <laughs> I feel like it's you... just the thing of, you, for some reason, you just have the view that the default w race is white because you're, I don't know, like, you just aren't aware that the whole world exists. I, you, you know, when the Kevin Costner Robin Hood, uh, Prince of Thieves, uh, you have um, in that game Morgan Freeman, uh, sorry, that, <laughs> that game. movie, uh, Morgan Freeman. He plays, um, what's his name, Haseem, I think? I forget the name of his character. Um, but he's a, I, guess, I think he's a Moor. And he, and, and that little kid comes up to him and he said, Did God paint you? I, I can understand, like, in that person, you know, like, someone who's never seen a black person before, maybe, going up like, oh man, like, this is clearly a person who's been colored. 
right? Well, they're not normal. In the same way, imagine how fucking shocking it is to see a white person for the first time if your whole life you were surrounded by black people. You'd be like, holy Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, what happened to you? Yeah. And I, I, I saw someone else mention it, like, also implies that white people don't have, like, a skin color almost. It's like, you know, it's, it's not, like, literally white. You know, like, it's... It's... it's Yeah. Well, yeah, it... It's an interesting and color, and there's and loads different, of different ones. Yeah. There's different ones because if you're if you're from Norway, you probably don't look quite the same as someone from Italy, or from or the same for someone from Spain compared to someone from Russia. Yeah, it's not an amorphous blob. None of them are. None of them are. It's, but again, this is it's, racism is retarded, guys. Just you know, <laughs> I think that's gonna be a new thing. Just we just keep friendly, saying that. Like. Friendly reminder. Well, because every time you talk about it, you just remind us. Like this is stupid, man. Like, why, like can we not do this, please? Well, I heard saying slurs is a Chad move, so I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's but as and then getting bad <laughs> straight away. <laughs> getting bad straight after saying that is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's so good. It's so funny. It's so it. funny. It's it's like poetry. <laughs> it, it does indeed rhyme. Um, Christmas talks about presents for children, but who delivers to grandmas? Rags, of course. His def definition of presents <laughs> is rather strange, though. Rags. No, like needs, my, my... We need to see rags in a Santa hat delivering. <laughs> presents to old ladies someone <laughs> needs to draw that and they're all smiling and happy and it's nice and wholesome yeah nothing wrong of course about it. that's what would happen mm -hmm. i just want to make old ladies happy i want to make all just kinds of smiling, people happy the smile and shiba sticking out of the uh of the the sleigh throwing presents at grandma's i'm over the nursing that. homes and everything i'm <laughs> yeah, just chucking exactly everybody's chucking smiling there's they no like. frowning faces yeah i'm uh, jams and jellies Yay. they like those um, the books about Jesus, sewing, um, Golden Girls VHS tapes, yeah. just all all the stuff that they like. Photo albums. <laughs> There's nothing in them. It's just photo albums. <laughs> just photo just albums. Photo albums with empty. <laughs> mm -hmm. empty you guys all like photo black. albums, right? <laughs> I read about it on Wikipedia. Picture frames with nothing in them. Yeah, the yeah, default, picture frames. The, 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 the thing that comes in them, the placeholder text. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, oh, the, the I people, love that 12-inch yeah. photo frame picture. That was a great day. I wonder when young Billy is going to come and visit. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Aww. Uh... And then she sees the smile and she fly it across the sky and then she smiles. So there's little happy. jingly songs and... Fun yeah. little atmosphere, you know. Uh, Longfellow Mubleton Sire, the lengthy. Yeah, that was my night name. Mm -hmm. uh, look up Lorena. Oh, wait, I read that one. Spoiler! Um, they find out that Spider Man is Aquarius. <laughs> Sorry, I had to read it. I was about bubble gay, too. Sorry, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's okay. Oh, you guys are very upset, I can tell. Okay. I'm, an, I'm an Aquarius. So is Spider Man apparently. Ooh. Rags maybe Spider Man. I can't. Me, 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 me. Are you definitely mm -hmm. Spider Man then? Or mm -hmm. Uh Rags if Rags was Spider Man, he would be the definitive Spider Man, yeah. Yeah. I knew it. At least in my heart. Oh yeah. Ugh. I'm off oh. to see Scooter today. Hope it's Gucci. Ooh. I hope it's Gucci as well. Cause you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Um, that was a joke for a record. He is clearly a Libra. Oh, sorry, Spider-Man's a Libra. Um, oh, is he? Libra. Either that or Aquarius, or the other ones. Libra, that's the scales, right? Yes, that's mine. That's where we get the LBS for pounds. Is it? Okay, that's interesting. I always wonder why it's LBS when it's pounds. That always seemed weird to me. There's... I, I get some of them confused too, because there's three that are very similar in Latin. There's there's book, like we get we get book. Uh, let's see. Uh, Latin. DVD. Translate, because I, I get them mixed up all the time. So let's go Latin. Book is no, don't don't. What do you? How can a Latin word for book be book? That's obviously dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, liber. All right. It's Liber. L-I-B-E-R is the Latin for book. 
Pound is Libra. Bro. And uh, let me see. Uh, da, 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 just a second. And Libertas is Liberty. So those three. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Libertad so those... is Liberty in Spanish, right? But his silence. Um, I don't know. I don't know about Spanish. I don't know about Spanish. You should know that you American. You gotta learn Spanish at school, right? Nope. Oh, I okay. D Fuck that. The Spanish have... should learn English. Damn. Yeah, but I mean, most places in the world, pe people have to learn English at school, right? Like, especially in Europe, we are uh, okay. we very much monopolize language in that sense. Like, in order to, like, if you're a politician, you need to know how to speak English on like the global scale. Awesome. Why don't just level well, it all out and make everyone learn Klingon? Yeah, let's yeah, uh, just say, we fuck it, all... we're tearing it down, we're all learning Klingon. Why didn't we all just agree at the beginning of humanity to just have one language? Because everybody's a bitch. Start... Everybody's bitching about their little cultures and their little this and that, and it's like, oh. Kapla! Why couldn't we all just speak and call it unify? That's what the language is called, because it's about unity. So, I was looking up some Klingon phrases here. So when you when you're toasting, when you're drinking, right? Cheers and good health. Their phrase is um Ilj Jacques, which means may your blood scream. Oh. oh my god. And of no, course, sorry. as we know, as of course, as we all know, the most horrific Cleon insult is Hab Sosul Kuch. Oh, Which means oof. your mother has a smooth forehead. Oh God! That's... You never want to say that. I, I might, I, you can't even say, you can't say that on Twitch. Luckily, you This will you be edited it, before but... it reuploads. So, I now I'm just thinking. When you said all the languages together, my mind immediately goes to South Park. All of the languages merged together. It's a mix of like English, Turk, uh, Norwegian, pretty much all languages. And it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how I also. <laughs> Can I help you? I want to, I want like, a, a chicken, you know, a chicken, oh, no, wait, it was, I think it was, like, a large cheeseburger and fries. Chicken sandwich? <laughs> no, I want a goddamn cheeseburger and some goddamn fries, you freaking G-word. Stan Marsh. <laughs> G-word. Oh, oh, well, it's a G-word. Yeah, you can't say that on, <laughs> on any platform. Gastric bypass? The the, the, no, it's it it's it actually and it is. I would agree that it is offensive because it uses goo in a pejorative way. It's not not good. Shouldn't call people pejorative things about goo. Goo is lo life and love and everything <laughs> wonderful. Uh, does Wings make a cameo in the new Spider-Man? Why would I fucking <laughs> spoil that? I'm not gonna spoil. Oh, that. could you imagine? <laughs> If any more yeah, villains come out of the other dimensions, they're getting banned, okay? <laughs> and then he comes in and he's like, ban anybody who says, <laughs> ban anybody who says, it's not the definitive Spider-Man. <laughs> if I hear anybody else talking about definitive Spider-Man, I'm going to ban you. I don't, I don't have fun. I don't swing webs. I just, I do this to make money and I hate it. I, I swing webs for a living and I fucking hate it. <laughs> Spider-Man's ruined my life. I fight crime for a living and I hate it. That's all I do is I, I wake up being a spider and getting kicked. That's all it is. <laughs> Wake up being fat and Spider Man. <laughs> I'm being kicked. That's all it is. <laughs> that fucking quote, man. Where you have so many awful, awful quotes in terms of just the yeah. the thoughts it gives you, but the um, the chat of this like, would you like to get pegged? And he's like, uh, yeah, but no, because of my hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm just thinking, could you imagine if, like, Tom Oliver, Peter Parker, Spider-Man swinging around, just gets grabbed? Look at her! Look, listen! listen. 
Apparently, offline does not stop. It. So stop it's like Doctor Strange, stop the, it's like, the spell. It's like appearing offline doesn't stop the spell. Stop talking about things you have nothing about. Ban anybody who's trying to help me. Ban anybody offering advice. Ban anyone offering advice. <laughs> And then you just have our sad moment, right? It's like the sad reflective moment when the hero is talking to the villain. I, I just wanted that surgery. <laughs> I wanted it. Sorry, I stop. I'll stop. I can't... <laughs> it's just too funny. Um. So the statement is yes, and do you guys agree with that or disagree with that? I don't know the context, so I'll have to abstain. Yes. All right. Mel saying yes. Rags? Hmm. Sorry, can you say the question again? I was... <laughs> I was just in a... I'm sorry. I, like, legitimately, like, faced... There are times... Out. What, sorry, what was that? There are times where you say that, and it'll be really relevant for me to repeat it, because it's an actual question. This was not okay. one of those. <laughs> this okay, is not one of those. Of those. <laughs> Your, your choices were agree or disagree with the statement, yes. Yes. Oh shit, two, I'm gonna go with no, just to try and balance this out. We got two yeses and, and, and I was about to say an obstination. I'm assuming that's not a word. It is now. Uh, speaking of the... whims, losing body parts, going crazy from being immortal at war, Iconoclasts, a cave story inspired game about a rogue mechanic in a secretly artificial war that runs on magic worm juice. Mm. Okay. Magic, uh, magic worm juice, yeah, that's fair enough. I was gonna say, that, that kind of story, when you read it out loud, you're like, yeah, why didn't someone make this ages ago? It just seems so, <laughs> you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's right there, jeez. <laughs> Uh, for as packed as the villain roster of No Way Home is, I'm worried the end credits sequence of Venom 2 means they're going to stuff Eddie in as well. Uh, who knows? I've said it in a bunch, but after after the trash that is 5, I just have to say it again. Everyone play Infinite. It's fucking amazing. Also, hi, Rex. Hello. Such praise. I keep hearing good things about it. Uh, since Rag mentioned it, EFAP, I have sad news. My dad likes Army of the Dead and said it's really cool. I have no father anymore. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. Old okay, it's okay. Guys can, they, they can be odd sometimes. It happens. Yeah, he's just, you know. That's okay. That's fine. He's wrong. Maybe he's just but... doing a dad joke. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this is one elaborate dad joke. The ultimate dad joke is liking that movie. <laughs> yep. Uh, what the? I remember that uh, Christmas with Cliff video from another video on JCS's channel from years ago. Did he nuke his channel at some point? I don't know. Uh, no clue. <clears throat> I have no answer for that one. Oh, Ragu the Mighty Fagu. <laughs> <laughs> Tis I. They, they got away with that through a crazy font, but to be fair, like you probably should be able to get away with that, but I guess you can't... <laughs> Look upon my works, my twerks, ye mighty in despair. Mightiest of the Shibu, Shibu race, please tell us the sacred doggo rules for eternal life. Hmm. I don't know if you can just go around giving them out, can you? The secret of eternal life? Uh, do two baths a day and pine cones. There you go. I'm assuming they might want some more details, but that's... I don't know if that's a secret you want to reveal. It's all, it's all you're getting. Need to get some... Get, to get a journey going. Get some... Stuff. E. See, my, I think that my mind would lead me somewhere with this, but just completely failed. So I'll just ignore that I said anything and just go ahead and read the next Super Chat. I know how to do that. I do it a whole bunch. It's fine. <laughs> um... So this is kind of, I've just seen this. Variety. James Cameron has ideas for the possibilities of streaming. I want to do a movie that's six hours long. 
and two and a half hours long at the same time. What? You can stream it for six hours, or you can have a more condensed, immersive uh, version in a movie theater. Uh, um... James Cameron, the long man, huh? Well, just can I just like... see the six-hour movie at home? It just it just feels like we ma like we have those James. They're called TV shows, really. You could yeah, just create just, natural gaps it... if you want, or not. Yeah, yeah. or make it two parter. <laughs> I guess his idea of just having a super long movie. Well, yeah, because you just make it a two part and release the two parts in theaters, then release one version on like Blu ray. Well, because the thing is, you know? people will naturally be like, when's a good break? So I don't want to watch six hours in a row. And it's yeah. a movie, yeah. so the TV shows wanna, don't like, provide episodes. Or, yeah. yeah, most people are like, oh, I've got an hour free, I can watch an episode of whatever. But if it's like I've got an hour free, mm -hmm. I can't watch six hours, but I'll stop at an hour, I guess, no matter what's happening. Right, yeah, so what, what are the natural breaks, I guess, right? Yeah. I wonder how many acts would be in a six hour movie. Well, you could still have three acts, right? They'd just be like if you just made Dune, you know, and then that it's was gonna just make one movie, it with seven thousand acts. It's gonna break. I everything. like the idea that you just make the film longer so that the twelve percent mark just becomes much, much longer. It's like so at which point at what point does this rule start to fail? The twelve percent, if I make it a fifteen hour long movie. You know? Is it cool that the whole movie is the first act? Uh, uh, lol, next time I get a quote for an oil change or something, I'm just gonna tell him all I have is 43 million dongs. <laughs> well, it's on them if they don't know the exchange. I don't like water, it's hot, cold, and gets everywhere. <laughs> Not the same. Could, it could be hot, cold at the same time? I guess they're saying, you know, it can be both, but I, 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 I like those aspects of water. Obviously, I don't like the extremes, but... I mean... I'm a fan otherwise, you know? I'm trying to think of a Star Wars joke that incorporates lukewarm into the... Th but I, <laughs> yeah, I can't. sir. Yeah, I don't... You need a bit more think. time to work that one out. You've got the, you've got the start of a really great idea. I've got... Because there's the Tauntaun one, of course, which is how hot is the inside of a Tauntaun? Lukewarm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's so classic. being able to. Yeah. Oh, by the of, um, way, I... just yeah, quick an for... accidental joke I think Rich Evans makes is like when they ask him retroactively what's his opinion on like TFA and he says I was the only one who was lukewarm on that film when it came out and that's not a goddamn pun. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I, this is probably an, an obvious observation, but like. Spider-Man is going to make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it already making a lot of money? Well, so I know that this is anecdotal, but like I'm going to a, a, a screening at a time that would not be considered very like accessible for most people. And there are a lot of people in it already. Honestly, um, it could be wrong. And you can it to, well, I guess the thing is, is that, um, when I went to see Eternals, I went on the opening night. I did go later, but like there weren't that many people there. It's like right. maybe like Well, another 14, question for that. People. How 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 jazzed were the audience with Eternals? Were they laughing, murmuring at uh, all? I there was minimal laughter. Um which was kind of but then again, Shang-Chi also didn't get many laughs either. Like even at the obvious jokes, there weren't there wasn't much laughter. Cuz what which surprised kind of me uh, just quick with with No Way Home and honestly gave me a quick knee jerk reaction of man this film's gonna do well was there was a lot of laughing and the two big cheers from what is a very <clears throat> not cheering audience typically at least in my experience I will say, I remember because we, we've talked about this I've talked about it on stream before but I remember that I was uh, I was happy with but also somewhat disappointed with the audience when I went to watch Ragnarok because I was really impressed with like Jeff Goldblum uh, all of his jokes but those didn't get as many laughs as I felt they deserved. I don't even um, know. Like, I would, I would audience... watch a joke and I'd laugh my ass off, yeah. and nobody else is laughing, and it's like, that's... You, you're you wrong. That was a great <laughs> <laughs> don't even realize. You're wrong. I, uh, with, with me, I think I've said this before, but I was with, like, five other people, and all of us were, like, cry laughing. We were absolutely losing our shit. I can't even remember what the, other, the rest of the audience well, was doing. You know what? Maybe this is maybe maybe it's just because I remember when I watched uh, Sausage Party, that Seth Rogen movie. That was like a full theater, and everybody was losing their shit at the like last part of that film. Um, which, if for the people who've watched that film, probably know what that is. I remember seeing people on the like Twitter saying that that part was shit and like it wasn't funny. It's like, man, 
Like, at the, I remember at the theater I went to, like, everybody was laughing at that, and it's like, hmm, I wonder if, uh... It isn't just me. The Jeff Goldblum stuff was hilarious. No, of course not. What are you I, 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 I adore it. Uh, there's loads of little, little things he does that are really fucking Yeah, that are hilarious. Like, you were parted from life. That's funny as hell. Do you remember when, um... But I was off as much. Uh, one of the, the his, like, the more nerdy people, or Hunter, or whatever, she, like... I, oh, I think it's Valkyrie, actually. She, like, touches his face briefly, goes to continue speaking, then he just stops yeah, and goes... Yeah, mm. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that was really funny. Um, and the It's My Birthday thing was really funny. John Paul, oh, this... Yeah, I am, because it's good humor. And it's annoying that people don't recognize that. I was say, of course we're defensive about something we think is being unfairly attacked. Like, uh, I have, I end up defending Ragnarok a lot, because uh, a lot of people don't like yeah. it for many reasons, but... Ella had the... a lot of funny lines that nobody laughed at either. That was annoying. Do you remember the... When Thor and Loki first sort of see each other, and they're talking, yeah. and then Loki's yeah. like, stay quiet, like, and, and they keep whispering back and forth and back and forth, and then suddenly Jeff Goldberg just appears and goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, Jeff Goldblum did a Raid Shadow Legends ad. Yay! Oh, did he? Yeah. How many dong did he get? I don't know. That man probably, probably a charges. Lot more. <laughs> he charges a lot of. He probably charges more dongs than I do. Yeah. Damn. Uh, but I guess the, the reason why I brought up that uh, that sausage party one is it's like it is interesting to think about you know, what the audience will laugh at um, in terms of what they find funny versus what I think is really funny and working. Um, yeah, um, it got a, a decent chunk of laughs out of the audience I was with, uh, No Way Home, and, and like I said, I, I can't judge that against Ragnarok because I can't remember what the audience was like, so I couldn't hear them over me anyway. The, uh, right. um, but I know that a lot of people found Ragnarok to be not funny at all, which really surprised me, but I mean, that's just how it works. But, you know... I, I guess that's what I mean, though, is because when I, because I didn't laugh at Black Widow, obviously. I didn't laugh at Black Widow. <laughs> I did. Or Shang what do you mean? Eternals. Oh, well, I guess the stupid stuff we laughed at, <laughs> but I mean, in terms of the idea of laughing, like, you know, with it, I, I don't think I've done that throughout. I think I think the last time I laughed with the MCU was, like, episode one of WandaVision, and that was only a couple of times. Uh, episode um, two, right? It was my favorite joke from the lot, where... Yeah. Yeah. He turns the real piano into, or she turns the real piano into like cardboard to try and justify how he was picking it up so easily. And then there's that guy who's like, "That was my grandmother." Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. And, it's just cardboard. And that is that's the last time, and that was that nearly was the last a year time, ago yeah. because yeah. Falcon and Winter Soldier, like the sorcerer wizard thing, that was just annoying. And that show was fucking miserable. Um, Loki was not funny. Like the whole sign, "This is everything you've ever said." It's like that's yeah, this is absurd. It's so absurd that I don't understand what this means in this world. Yeah, like, you don't know why anything of this, like, this is happening. Yeah. So if I laugh in No Way Home, it's already doing better on the comedy <laughs> spectrum. Just by well, virtue of getting one laugh out of me. I feel like I could say that and not spoil anything. It's better than anything in Phase 4 that I've seen. Yay! Oh, high you, bar. You, I was gonna say, you guys are like, <laughs> well, that's oh, well, well, I know everything I, mean, I need to know. It's so, at but... least a 4 out of 10. <laughs> 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 God, the pits that we're in, <laughs> like, in terms of <laughs> quality in the MCU at this point. Also, the clock's ticking, we're getting close to that. It's at least a 4 out of 10, yay! It is okay, yeah. I mean, whenever you must leave, you may leave, but, uh, <laughs> we, will, we will continue until you do. Uh, what else we got here? Don't like water. Uh, you don't understand, though, Peter is the MCU isn't poor, clearly not Spider-Man, obviously, duh, gosh darn. Uh -huh. It's done. Well, Except like, for that time when, for a few years, he had a whole company that he ran. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, uh, we don't even know because he's not really in the college years. He's in the high school years, which no, is the he's, time he's still... exactly where you are going to be supported quite significantly. And the idea that it's like, no, you should be scrapping like completely. I'm just like, all right, just hang on, okay? They, they've done some other stuff. Maybe he'll be really poor in the fucking next one, all right? Chill. Maybe he will, yeah. Or this one. There's still time for him to suffer horrific traumatic... There's still time for him <laughs> yeah. to suffer, yes. <laughs> Uncle Ben, like, bursts onto the scene and is like, Show me! Show me now! We're running out of time! Like, <laughs> he cries. <laughs> like, Uncle Ben, you're alive! I know, it's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to do something. <laughs> Not my Spider-Man if Ben isn't mugged with a banana.
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Specific, but fair. Uh, your argument hurts my point. That's disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Feels that way sometimes. Uh, I think Definitive Guardians is Gun's version to the point where most media copies that one. Do they mean original yep. when saying Definitive? No, because again, the Flash no. destroys that notion. Yeah, first is yeah. original. Yeah, a lot of people are just, they don't know what the originals <clears throat> of these characters yeah. are. I just don't know. It's been so long. So the King Arthur is a really good example. King Arthur is an excellent example. Oh, yeah. Very few people. I, because, uh, because T.H. White's The Once and Future King isn't even the original. That's just the the more the thing that brought it, brought it back into the mainstream that we base a lot of our imagery off of. You have to keep going back and back and back and back. And even then, what was that? You just don't know what the original was. And to be fair, uh, that is likely Spider-Man's fate. Fast forward 500 years. Yeah. Think of the amount of Spider-Man content that will be out by then. Like I said, right now, there's a good chance a lot of people like Raimi Spider-Man is Spider-Man. Or some people will be like, mm. well, no, Tom Holland Spider-Man is Spider-Man. And then there's a lot of, like... And then you got the handful of people who think that it's Tasm for some... <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I don't want to say that they don't exist. The definitive do. version of Electro is the one who says, don't you know, before he says his name, That's... Electro. <laughs> that is theme is... He hates me. It's... He lies. I hope that they reprise that. <laughs> Spider-Man is Spider-Man. Spider Spider <laughs> and then it's Mitzi Spider. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Uh, I bet Hassan loves smelling gasoline. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Nuggaline. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's just <laughs> nuggy paste in a bucket. <laughs> um, you know, Mola's never driven. If he said women can drive, Kappa. Wow, I can. I've still been. I've seen women drive. I don't have Liar. to have driven. No, allegedly. Um, y'all here Southpaw is making a Civil War vid. <laughs> good, good luck. Um, ugh. He, episode 5's real bad. Oh, Hawkeye. Uh, you might need to cover uh, it. And also, I'm pretty sure that it has now confirms, uh... Kingpin? Dead, dead, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's, uh, I think that's just, up, up, yeah, up, happened. Up, up, up. So we'll have to see. Please, 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 please don't ruin him. Please, please, <laughs> like, please. don't drag, don't drag my dead devil pet peeps through the mud. Uh, could you guys talk about World War Z, the book, if you've read it? Also, would you consider doing episodes on books in the future? For example, The Winds of Winter when it releases in the summer of 2041? No. Pretty much, yeah, so first of all, whether or not we would do... That book. That's not happening. These guys ain't gonna read through all the fucking Game of Thrones books. That's just... That's, I seriously doubt it. Um, as we're doing any book ever, I guess I wouldn't rule that out entirely. I don't know what circumstance would have to rise for it to happen, though. It ain't gonna be World War Z either, yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah, I, mean, I, I'm i not looking forward list. to the idea of having to read a book for an EFAP. Um, um, uncultured swine. Yeah, I just... just do an EFAP on my book when it's done. Hey, Fringy, here's your book. How <laughs> shit is it? Let's, <laughs> let's talk about it in painstaking yeah. detail. Dude, imagine like... Hey, that character was really stupid. I don't know what the writer, whoever they were, was thinking. Imagine we're like, no, it'll be great. We're going to read it out and we'll praise slash, you know, we'll, we'll go easy and, and, and we'll just promote it. And you're like, oh, okay. And I like, I read out the first few sentences and I'm just going... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just continue. You're like, man, this, this feels a little bit awkward. And I'm like, no, I'm just reading it out. It's fine. Totally fine. It was a sunny day in town place. <laughs> Bill walked The city of town's said, place. Hi, I'm Bill. And what a wonderful day it is. <laughs> Bill happily, gleefully skipped to the shops to walk around and do things. And he did. And it was nice. 
It's like that glad book things that worked out wrote. For, like, glad <laughs> things worked out for him, you know? Yeah. I know, it makes me happy to, that things have worked out so well for Bill. Yeah. The price of independence um, of the... Oh, wait, go ahead. I was just going to say, now is now is the time. It is the time that I must well, embark. Um, I'll save any that directly come to you, but all I'll do is finish up okay. today's ones. I, fair enough. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go watch Spider-Man. Okay, go watch Spider-Man. Spider Spider you know what? I mean. I'm a, and and it's, it's an interesting thing because, like, I... Of course, I'm nervous about this film. <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to watching it. I'm looking forward to watching this film. Bring it, um, I hope you have a wonderful time. Looking yeah. forward to talking to you. About I hope it. I do too. I really do. I really hope that even if like plot's bad and everything, I hope that I can at least be like, man, at least the characters were great. We got a great end to MCU Spider Man's little arc that he's been going on, and the future is exciting. That's my hope anyway. But yeah. Yep, we'll I'll, see what happens. Yeah, I suppose I'll talk to you, Mubish, about it, like, if you're around, as soon as I'm... Is that four hours from now? Probably. Uh, you're going straight like home that. from it? Yeah. Alright, well, okay, yeah, yeah. Three and a half, four, yeah. something like Alright. See you later, chat and peeps and everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, Peen. Toodaloo. Slim slam. I got away with calling him Peen. He didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> G -g -g got him. Now that he's gone, do you guys want to know what my my if I if uh, anything about my perspective on the film at all, or would you rather stay as as clean as him? I guess. I don't know. I guess I don't mind if you really want to tell it. It's up to metal. Uh, I'm I'm more invested in answering any burning question you may think about before seeing it. Not I mean, necessarily I don't want what happens. Just well, I, mean, I don't want any spoilers if it, if you say it's good. Or bad or what you thought i don't mind what are your ranks um yeah as long as it's spoiler free well the problem is saying it's good or bad is considered a spoiler almost for fringy because he i guess sees it as like it will be indicative of what he may see in it um i mean we're pretty i mean we we line up pretty similarly true um, true yeah so mm. it's it's i don't know when the last time i've been surprised by you or you by me you know? Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't in any way affect your uh, your viewing enjoyment of the thing for me to tell you anything. In fact, if I said it was like catastrophic or incredible and they, it wasn't that for you, I think you would just be like, huh. And then you want to know why I said that. As opposed to it changing start... how you felt. Yeah, I doubt even if we disagreed on how we felt about it, I would see why you thought that way. But we tend to line up pretty darn close on a lot of stuff. Um, so I, I guess I wouldn't mind... All right. Like I doubt that I I highly doubt that what anything you'd have to say would taint my uh, viewing of it. Um. Well then, with zero spoilers, I guess I'll say what I felt about it, and then I can give a vague on on how good I think it is. is it, how does that work? Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. All right. It goes. This is a big deal, okay? Because this is the biggest movie ever. Oh wow. my spoilers. goodness gracious! Oh, oh my god. Chat, are you oh, fucking oh. ready, chat? You ready? I'm, I'm sitting. I'm sitting down. I'm. Ooh, Wait, I'm ready. Let me, let me stand up. Let me stand up. Okay, I've sat back down. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna say, don't get out of breath, Jesus. Alexa <laughs> said, "Okay, see you, that guys. I'm not listening." It's like I. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, he he's not gonna spoil it. He's just gonna say some things. He's gonna end the stream. No, no, no. So genuinely, oh 100 percent honestly. Um, yeah. I loved it. I think it might be okay to bad. I'm not sure. That's fair enough. I mean, that who knows? That happens with a fair amount of films. But I'm really glad that you enjoyed it because that's sort of like I'm. I'm legitimately not going into this thinking it's gonna be good, um, especially with all the stuff that's in it and all the juggling that they're doing with all the stuff that seems to be, you know, in the trailers and things. What I'm aiming for and what I'm hoping for is that I go in. And I, and I laugh, and I just like seeing all this stuff happening, and I like seeing Peter, and I like seeing you know, Doc Ock and everybody again. That, that's kind of what I'm in this for. I, I never was really super, you know, I wasn't, you know, clenching my anus and really hoping that it would be a legitimately great written film. Because I, I think I'm just, I have realistic expectations, particularly for just MCU stuff now. But I'm really glad that you liked it. 
and I hope that I will like it too, as a result. I had many an enjoyment, and I feel like most people will. I don't know why most people wouldn't. Um, feel like even the, the FNT lads would be satisfied with a lot of the choices they make in this. Um, but oh, we'll, yeah. we'll have to see, I don't know. Okay. And I would okay. happily watch it again right now, but I have not booked for another no. viewing, so... <laughs> <laughs> That is fair days, enough. And then I can watch it on Blu-ray. Oh. All a bad cancel. Well, um, you hit it here first. Better than the father. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> better than okay. the father. I knew it. Yo. And those uh, those cheers from the audience were very enjoyable because I I felt similar, but I did not cheer. Yeah, it, it is. I, I can't imagine that's very satisfying to know that the audience is liking a thing that you also like. Like, yeah. you're just sort of in this together. You're sort of on a team with these it's strangers some... in a weird way. When you have Cap picking up the hammer and all the heroes coming together in the end of the MCU, like, it's easy to argue that's a cultural moment and that we're all like, man, it's been so long, we've all kind of been watching these films, not necessarily together, but as a society, kind of. Um, yeah. There's stuff that happens in this where I was like, oh, that is so fucking cool. And I was like, oh, everyone else finds that really cool too? Oh, shit. Maybe oh. this is more widespread than I thought. Like, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, um, I don't see any reason why you, Metal, and Fringy won't really like this. Yeah. Um. It's good to me. Well, I, hope to I, so I certainly hope I do, and I certainly hope he does. Not to imply it's flawless. I would never want to do that. In fact, oh. I feel like I really yeah. didn't imply that when I first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think when he said it's it's okay to bad, I think. We, I, <laughs> so that, so that, <laughs> was a, well, that means it's bad. <laughs> okay. I could but, be wrong um, on that. This is part of why I don't want to. It's possible. You know, possible. I got lots to think about. Um, and there are examples of things getting better yeah. with repeat viewing sometimes. That you know, but well, I, guess, I guess we'll see. I'm I'm legitimately quite curious. And yes, yes Saturday will be the EFAP breakdown of it, and we're going to have Jay, I think, Indigo Gaming, and uh, Metal. So it, it'll just be a good old-fashioned chronological breakdown, we'll talk about as much uh -huh. as we can. Yeah, I, I decided against it, uh, covering when I come back. It's like, nah. Because we talked about it yesterday, it's like, yeah, it's probably just a good idea just to think about it first. A lot of my perspectives are undercooked right now, and I was... I'm definitely potentially blinded by emotionism. I knew that before I watched the film that that was going to happen. Mm. I ain't stupid. <clears throat> it's like the opposite of uh, when they just shoot John Connor to death in the opening of Dark Fate, where I'm like, so now I hate you, movie. Like, no, what, no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah. But they fucked the whole rest of the movie up anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Didn't we, didn't we go into the cinema for this, knowing that would happen, but we didn't know when? <laughs> the movie started with him getting shot immediately. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. I saw it in the fucking cinema, and I, and I knew that, like, people had said it happened, and I was just like, oh, you pieces of shit. Yeah. Time for him to move over, make room for the next savior of humanity, girl. You're like, why, why? Yeah. She employs the exact same fucking position, but she ain't John Connor because he's done. Go away. That was the last time I was over. Feels like a fucking lifetime ago now. Stupid Rona. Yeah. Right, where are we? Surprise dinner treat for myself. Chicken and dumplings. Mm. Alright. Alright, yeah. Those are gonna be really good. Uh... The price of an independence of the car is the independence of the legs. In a sense, the driver has stolen freedom from the walker, as most of most of the public spaces for cars. Hi, Rags. What is your best sword? Hello. My best. I only have one sword, and it's the Albion Landgraf, and it's really great, and I love it quite a bit. And on my to-do list is to get a good scabbard for it. Um, so I guess that's my best. Have you um, spread it is a very butter good on toast with it? I have not. That would be unwieldy, and uh, I might hurt myself. But I got it on uh, the the brand at least was uh, Shad's recommendation, mm. uh, and he definitely came through with that one because that is a fine piece of craftsmanship. That sword. It was pricey, but 
if it's for a good thing, man, I, I, I really don't mind. I, I'm very glad that I got it. It's good to know that I have it. Um, someone said you feel comfortable saying whether or not characters were ruined. Like, I feel like that would be a little too much information for Rags. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't want to know that. Yeah. <laughs> they will see for themselves before knowing anything like that. Same for all of you in chat, because I know plenty of you are probably going to see it. And you haven't seen it yet. Um, that, that gibberish. Oh wait. No. Um, have you guys seen the Wonder Chosen clip? Celebrate our differences. No. 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 Wonder Chosen? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, Celebrate Our Differences. Song by Wonder Chosen. Uh, this is a video. It's from a... Oh, okay. It's a... It's a... This is from MTV, about 30 seconds long. Okay, I'll take a look at this later. I'll take a look at this later. All right, I'll leave that up. Looks interesting. Like a parody of, uh, uh, like, uh, Sesame Street. Uh, greetings old. Tremors is an oldish movie that has aged pretty well. Might be good to cover October streams. Just stop at four because the rest are so bad they may be good, but I wouldn't ask that of you. But yeah, I four. love the Ooh. original Tremors. Fucking awesome. I I've heard seen, it's very, very good. I haven't seen any of the others, uh, so I'd be interested to do that as an arc sometime. Uh, Rags, you, your mother has a smooth forehead. Oof. Oh my goodness gracious, Damn. you can't be saying that. Banned. That's incredibly insulting. You take Ugh. that back. Um, Spanish is Chad Latin. English is cringe Germanic. <laughs> All right, then. Latin is Chad Latin. Yeah. Um, you can win a million dollars, but from now on, every game you play has to be deleted after one death. Oh, fuck that. I, I feel like that's <laughs> going to have so much damage for the rest of my yeah, life. Yeah, no way. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to play so many amazing, incredible games you for the rest of my life. So you can't die, in case, like, so you can get the stories at least, but yeah. We'll play them vicariously through Let's Plays, which is not my idea oh, good of time. fun gaming. <laughs> So yeah, no, I'm alright. I'll leave the mill. I'll put it in the little bucket. And pee on it. Why, why did you need to pee on it? I didn't, what? You invented that. What? No, you just said you're gonna pee on it. Uh, you invented it! It's to the pee. Nuh uh You are Yeah. uh Thor Love and Thunder is one of the only MCU Phase 4 movies that I have faith in. Taika Waititi is an amazing writer and director. Still cautious, though. Exact same take from me. I adore yeah, some very of his cautious. work. Yeah, it's like for everything media. He also right wrote now. an episode of Mandalorian that was terrible. So, I am um, well. So you yeah. said that's the same for everything, right? Uh, Mel, Mike Flanagan. If he releases a TV show, I feel like it's a guarantee we'll have good acting, yeah. good monologues, yeah. plenty of good ideas and good execution. But we just I have worry about the ending. In, <laughs> the I have ending, more confidence uh, in different, uh, yeah. in different writers and directors and Taika. publisher and uh, de developers. But overall, it's just like. Hmm. Tiger's a mixed bag for me. Like, sometimes you'll make a thing that I am in love with. Sometimes you'll make a thing where I'm like, oh, hmm. I don't know about that. Uh, so we'll have to yeah. see. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm far happier to hear that he will be yeah. on it than meh. Pretty, almost all people. Um, ba -do -ba -do. You know what's a tough choice between actors is Michael Clark Duncan and Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin. Different aspects of a great character. Yeah, I love both those portrayals. Um, I th think Vincent D'Onofrio is as close to the comic from what I've heard, but Michael Clark Duncan's fucking voice, man. You know what I'm talking about, that actor? Mm, no, no, I don't think so. Uh... Unfortunately, he died, but uh, he was in quite a few things. He's the black guy in Green Mile. It's probably one of the most famous roles he had. Oh, okay. I gotcha. He talks like super deep. I can't fucking mm -hmm. even bother. Oh, trying that guy. That okay, now, oh, now I got yeah, that. it just yeah. just connected. Yeah. 
And yeah, he was Kingpin in the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie, and I r remember him right. being pretty badass as Kingpin in that. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Longman sounds kind of disappointed by Spooderman. That's what a lot of people have interpreted my tweet to be. My I, my tweet was, I've seen Spider-Man, I have thoughts, I'll share them on Saturday. <laughs> and they're like, ooh, that's, he's... That's it? That's all you said? Uh, yeah. You have thoughts? I mean, I used, uh, you know, dot, dot, dot twice, so I wonder if that... <laughs> maybe that implies, like, oh, he's angry. Maybe. maybe. Um, I mean, you know... It... <laughs> Jay just tweeted out Spider-Man a couple of minutes ago. Is just that it? Just Spider-Man? Just, just Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Saturday you'll get every answer you were looking for about my take on Spider-Man. Don't worry. Uh, definitive Edition just means the most recent version. Think about it. Does anybody initially release as a Definitive Edition of itself? Yeah, well, uh, you are right in that it's weird for a game to have its first release be the Definitive Edition, but I suppose if ever that happens, you it's like the implication is we're not making any more after this, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what else yeah, you take or from they that. sell the, or they sell a, a full experience first, and then maybe chapters afterwards, something like that. Like yeah, the whole yeah. thing's done, you could buy the whole thing here. But if you want, you can buy it in segments. It it generally is not it's not necessarily, but it's just um, like there's no reason the definitive edition couldn't be the first one. It just for for pretty clear reasons, it doesn't seem to be the case that the definitive version of something is the first one that you put out. Mm -hmm. It will change and be edited a bit over time, and it will receive all of the updates that you want it to have. Mola can't imitate someone's deep voice. Is that guy even in the human hearing range then? Dude, Michael Clark Duncan <laughs> would probably be my pick for, like, deepest voice. I'm not sure. At least with mainstream actors. His voice is fucking deep. It sounds awesome. Uh, be safe, Fringy. Don't let the drop bears bite. Oh no. Not the drop bears. <laughs> How the hell did Rags screw up Stranger Things into the Tremblers? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the Tremblers. <laughs> I don't know. That was, I, don't I don't know, know like, man. I don't know. It don't says like, is, it, that sort of is it like the Goonies? Is that somehow into the formula to make it the Tremblers? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when I was thinking of the show, it was just like the font that came into my mind. And when the font was coming into my mind, the letters that just formed in my head were the Tremblers. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just said that. I guess it's funny to me as well because it sounds like it might be real, the Tremblers. I don't know. It's like, what is the tremblers? And it's like, the they tremble. Tremblers. They make you tremble? Yeah, I, uh, I don't the know. Tremblers. I don't know. Don't ask me to explain that. Apparently uh, there's a, it's a band that's called the Tremblers. Uh, uh, the Spider-Man I grew up with was the one from the 90s animated show. Just shows you which one had an impact on you. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm, that might be your definitive Spider-Man. I guess that man. The amount of people who would be like, the definitive Joker is Heath Ledger. Like, excuse me, Mark Hamill. And then they're like, no, yeah, excuse I get it, me, but... other one, Joaquin Phoenix, maybe. And they're like, whoa, no. I mean, it's it's just, yeah, it's not... I get why you think that, and maybe it's your definitive one, maybe the ones that, come, that comes to your mind, but to just say that it is, it simply is as a fact of reality, the definitive version of that character, I'm like, I just don't see how... Yeah, I don't see it. Um, you can, I think you can justify that. And like I said, if you want to change it to it's the original, like the first iteration of the character, again, I'd be like, I don't think anyone gives a fuck. Like, yeah, because it might not be the best. It might yeah. be terrible. It might not be... It might be completely unknown. Like a lot of great things come from being built on previously not so great things. I mean, who knew about the polka dot man, right? Before the Suicide Squad. I oh, that's did. A, good for that's you, a good example. But... The definitive polka dot man. Is it really going to be the one for the comics? Like, no. It's going to be oh. the movie one. At least for now. I'm like, that's not a crime or anything. You know, it's just how things work. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, the definitive King Arthur is Artoria Pendragon from Fate. She's a girl in this version, but Merlin magically created a 
something and something for her so she could be Mordred's father. YouTube censored me. Oh, okay. I have no idea. I don't recognize any of that, I'm afraid. It looks like the King Arthur myth. Modred was um, Arthur's sister who they had uh, relations and that is how I think that's how Gawain, Geharis, Agravain, and Gareth were born. I, I'd have to mm. I'd have to rethink it. I'd have to go uh, Modred is okay. I Mordred, okay. M I get him confused. Arthur's uh, Mordred because the 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 uh, let me just Google it. <laughs> Morgaz, okay. Morgaz was okay. So she was the mother of uh, Gawain, Geharis, Agravain, Gareth, and. Mordred. She had Mordred with Arthur. So, Morgaz is there. Okay. Okay. I get. I get. There's a lot of names to keep straight. I'm glad I remember the four brothers. All right. Technically five, but you know the four brothers together. Um. My viewing of Spooderman is supposed to start in 10 minutes, but the massives never sent email confirmation. Guess I'll book tomorrow a.m. instead, for fuck's sake. Um, yeah, that's annoying. <clears throat> Go get to see your Spooderman. What a bunch of longer says. Alright, last time, I swear. Everyone play Infinite. 343 really hit the ball out of the park with this one. Morley a gay. I know. So really so many hours of the game. Leave me alone. I was like, Mel's playing it. You gotta stop bullying him. Leave yeah, alone, it's like you know. a stream everything. You can see it with mm -hmm, your eyes. True. Ain't no we, lie. Or your feet if you try really we hard. Bye bye bye. <laughs> oh no, you oh, shouldn't no. die. Ah Don't die, little creature. Aliens Fire Team Elite is now on Xbox Game Pass. Now I can oh, finally sweet. play it too. <laughs> Rise, we, we loved that game. It was fucking great, remember? We loved it. I love I like the robots the best. That was the funnest part. Oh. I love I love how I they keep throwing fucking androids that you had to fight for long segments in the Because they alien gave games. up on making levels. They were like, fuck it. Androids. <laughs> androids. Waste high cover for everyone. Androids. Androids. Andrew-roids. Disnoids. <laughs> uh, sent this during real BBC, but not sure if read. Arcane is average at best, objectively. We spend an episode talking about its flaws. High rags. Hello. Well, that might be the case. That might be the case. It might just have really good characters or wonderful animation. Who knows? But I don't I know. Mean, I haven't seen it. We concluded that Squid Game had wonderful characters, but really, like, kind of really shit plot and will building. Yeah. You know, that, and, and I still think it's well worth seeing, so. Absolutely. I'm sure Arcane is overhyped. I'm sure that's the case, because this thing has been hyped higher than literally anything. But I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be good to at least some degree with this level of praise from people. <laughs> The last Super Chat catch-up, you were confused when I wrote the 666 rule strikes again, although I typed it 666. It's a rule Fringy made up, remember? Oh, fuck. I don't remember. <laughs> I... I don't remember either. Sorry, I just don't... Is that the survival I don't recall. rule he made up? Just... Fridge yourself? I don't know. I don't... It might be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't remember. It's actually kind of funny because you said, don't know what that means, then seconds later you discussed asinine essayist rules, i.e. 12% inciting incident. Oh, well, so we... he made up 666 rule as like a fakey, uh, like example of a rule that would be we... made up. I can believe that, I just can't remember what the rule was. I would have violated those rules. <sighs> Arcane is almost assuredly overhyped. I always get scared when everyone is talking about how good something I like is. 
<laughs> like, I like it, but everyone else does. Oh no, I usually hate things everyone loves. <laughs> Only must be wrong with it. Um, Muntalo, thoughts on Brawlverse, you schnitzel. Wait, Moon. Oh, that's supposed to be me. I legit didn't connect those two. Me, my name. Bra I think Schnitzel Brawlwalker? gave it away too. Yeah, that's what. That's when I was like, Schnitzel? That couldn't be fun. This is not for me. Uh, Bra <laughs> Brawlverse? Does that sound familiar? The Schnitzel one. Brawlverse? That's not is that a wrestling thing? I'm, doesn't. Brawlverse? It's there. It's like the MCU, the Brawlverse. It's all the different wrestlers from different, you know, IPs. Yeah, yeah. It's the continuity of all the. Time for them to punch stuff. stuff. Yeah, it's their nice. shared universe, their lore, the Brawlverse. Brawlverse. I I I don't know what that is. I have no I prefer idea. Pummelverse. Oh, all right then. Brawlverse. What? I saw Tasms in theater, but I can't watch Spood because not jabbed. Feels bad, man. My province has given out test kits, so there's hope, but not by Saturday, sadly. Oh. Uh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um. Well, the film will be out for a while, right? Oh, I guess they want to see it before we cover it on Saturday. Well, you know what? That'll be a VOD for that, so don't worry about spo spiolas. Yes. Um, you, you see yourself that movie if, if you get that chance. Go right ahead. Um, hi, Rags. What is the gayest thing you've done in the last 72 hours? In the last 72 hours? That's the one, yeah. Um, it's... I'm trying to think, uh... It's probably just had... Gay sexual fantasies. I that's guess. Pretty gay, yeah, I'd say that's yeah, that's gay. pretty. That's pretty fucking gay. Um, I suppose so. Yeah. Uh, I guess I was just in a guy mood. I don't know. Uh, I haven't done anything physical with a guy in the last seventy-two hours, so it would oh. probably be something like that. Um, I'm trying to think of a joke, or like something stereotypically gay, like I, I, I got the drapes to match the 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 the. the the armchair covers or something like that, you know. Yeah, that's very gay. Yeah. yeah, that is very super gay. But yeah, I, there's your answer. Yeah. Wait. Not too exciting, but that is super gay. Because if oh, that's yeah. like the gayest thing. Yeah, that's yeah. super super hyper gay even. Uh, have any of you been eaten by a blue whale yet? Also, if oh wait, that's well, that's the first question. Uh, have you guys eaten? No. By a blue whale? No. Yeah, no, I, I no, no. No. Now that would be the gayest thing. That ever happened to If me. the blue whale were gay, sure. No. Just any time. <laughs> they're all gay. <laughs> they're all, all blue whales. Like, that's why there's not that many, because they're all oh, gay. They're dying out because they're all gay. They're all blue gay. Whales gay. <laughs> when God created them, there was hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of trillions, and you know, now they're <laughs> running out because, yeah. That's why the o that's why the o the ocean levels used to be way higher because mm. it was full of whales. But because they're all gay. Because they're all gay, slowly but surely, the waters receded and it revealed more land. Exactly. Pretty cool. That's that's one of the stories in the Bible, right? Yeah, that is one of the stories in the Bible. Just oh, and also the story of Jonah, right? He was not swallowed by a whale. It was a big fish. Some people say swallowed by a whale, but it wasn't. It's a big fish. A whale can be a big fish. Fish boy. No, they're mammals. Yeah, but like, did the people who wrote the Bible know that? Oh. Now the Bible, now the Bible <laughs> does say that bats are birds. So Dude, this someone is what I'm really talking about, okay? So someone, so I don't know, someone forgot to carry a one somewhere with the <laughs> taxonomy, but. Uh, uh. Um. Also, if you could have any game remade, which would you pick, and why is it Star Wars Battlefront Two? Um, Honestly, I, I definitely wouldn't pick that. Well, wait. If our uh, if our thing is like they get fixed, then that's potential. They get fixed? Oh, yeah. yeah. If they if, I doubt if this they get is, fixed, there's absolutely potential. I doubt the Not spirit like of this question. A remake. Yeah, I doubt. I doubt the spirit of this question is like you know if it gets done horribly or anything because of. Otherwise, we just say no, <laughs> like to all of it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So wait, if 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 the question was um remade then yeah i'm assuming that's a ground up thing sure yeah in which case um, hmm hmm
Man, that's a it's tougher than I thought. <laughs> uh Maybe Mario Sunshine would actually be a potential for that, so you can get all the levels completed and get the glitches out and maybe do some more crazy cool stuff with the goo. Obviously higher frames maybe... so you can get you know, expert information on that. Mm -hmm -hmm. Maybe Fallout 1 or 2? Uh, I haven't played those, but I bet a lot of people would appreciate like a new a remake of those first Fallout games before, you know, 3 came out and really brought it into a more popular light. Um, but, uh, Fallout New Vegas is up there, too. But I'm almost thinking, like, should I... Should I use my choice for a bad game that we get a good version of? that, Or, like, a really flawed game that we get a better version of? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um... <sighs> That's really, really tough to say. Um, oh, a game that could have been like really great, but wasn't. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't know. That's really tough. Um, you know what? Someone mentioned it. I might actually agree with them. Fallout seventy six. Fix it up oh, and the, get it all done. The concept of that thing working in an ideal world, a multiplayer kind of version of Fallout 76 that plays out like a Escape from Tarkov slash Daisy kind of a bunch of survivors where going out and playing that game where you have either you have like instances of maps where you have to complete missions or you go out into the world and you leave your safe area when the safe area sort of represents your progression in terms of items and things that you can acquire and bring back and you can go out and do missions and you can meet up with people and team up with them or you can fight them potentially um, for their resources. I think I would really, really like that idea of a Fallout themed, you know, Daisy Tarkov style game where you're just kind of out in this world and you're doing all sorts of things and you're doing quests and you're surviving like a proper survival game. I think I would really, really like that. I, I, I think I would really, really enjoy that. In fact. Um, so I think, I think I'm actually going to take that to be my answer. I quite liked um, the suggestion of Bioshock infinite. I feel like this. Yeah. If we, if we yeah. completely redo yeah. that game, we can get a lot of great shit out of it. Well, all we added then. I'm need a rebirth. <laughs> oh, just get rid of it. Do it all <laughs> over again. I don't. I don't even want a good version of that game. I feel oh, it's there's, weird. There's stuff in Infinite that I think we we can see what can become of that in a good game. But like rebirth, I don't. I don't know. I, I... Why did you even exist? You existed yeah. because you guys were like, oh man, they love the original Amnesia, but they didn't like Soma. So now, maybe if we make a sequel to. To amnesia and they'll love it and we'll even tie it in that'll be great People someone mentioned it. the last of us too i mean yeah i think that's fair i'm gonna stick with my i'm gonna stick with fallout 76 you know what? i'm though. going for for a game i've played a lot as a child and i really liked as a as a young lad uh two rock two that could be cool in a with, with everything new what if it isn't well, you know what? Fuck you, then. <laughs> wow. Look at this guy, just fucking crying whenever someone asks a question. Well, no, he's just being disrespectful. What a, what a beta. Just... No, what you. What a chud. You're... what a cracker. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! Ban, 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 or... Yeah. Okay. I I know of it, but I never played it. I just saw J I opened chat for the first time today. I see James writing two rock two. Like the number is two. Two rock two. two rock. Oh. <laughs> T U R O K. You silly goose. <laughs> yeah, I can I can see how that could happen. Um Metal waking up games again. <laughs> are pandas gay? Is that why they won't get it on? Yes. James isn't a boomer. Oh, screw y'all. I'm going to close chat again. You're just being. Mean. Pandas are hyper gay.
They gayed themselves into extinction. Yeah. <laughs> They're also not horny, ever. They're gay and not horny. They're just like, nah. I'm not even feeling it for gay. Gorny. Um, have any of you watched Klaus on Netflix? Thoughts? I have not. Or Claws? I don't know if it's Klaus or Claws. Klaus. Nice. Yeah. Norm MacDonald voice is one of the characters in that. It's like a stylized animation of... I don't even know what the plot is. Hmm. But, yeah, I'd be down for watching that sometime. I have not seen it either. Uh, if China took over Japan, would all anime just be Chinese cartoons? If Japan took over the world, would all cartoons become anime? Hello, Raggles. Hello. Unfortunately, they probably would. <laughs> the Japanese nation attacked and everything became anime. Including we are metal. The we are the resistance. Oh, no. Um, I miss ER High Rags. Hello. He's been gone for a while now. Uh, the win from the. I'm still the 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 Avatar Atla live action thing that could wake him from his slumber. And uh, we'll get some more ER videos maybe. But yeah, that is us having caught up with today's flumbos. Whoa. Um, and we're probably gonna cut it out there because we've hit a nice strong four hours forty minutes. We literally didn't catch up with a single super chat. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Uh, oh, we, had, fuck. we had a couple well, long conversations today. I think it was a good, fun stream. I mean, I, yeah, I enjoyed it. I had fun. Yeah. I'm glad I was here. So that, you know, you means know, something. And um, so the plan, EFAPers, is Saturday, normal EFAP, normal time, talking about Spundo. Then Spundo. that Wednesday, you're getting a pre recorded. Like I think nine hour EFAP that's already it's already been cooked. It's all ready for you. How exciting. While, while that premieres on Moolah, we will record an offline catch up, probably. Uh so we'll definitely catch up a bit more by then. And then the Saturday following that is Christmas. So I'm not actually one hundred percent sure what our plans are gonna be yet, because I don't know what everyone's availability is surrounding Christmas Day, you know, even like Christmas Eve and uh, New Year's Day sorry not New Year's Day, uh, the Boxing Day uh, can be busy for a lot of people so we shall see um, but yeah that's that's the plan and there will be more of all the different kinds of things coming as time goes on. Uh, super chat so you can keep going for nine more hours oh my <laughs> I read that out in less than nine hours yeah, get fucked Wrecked. You stay. you're so bad at this uh, lol, you need to change the name of the stream. I didn't spoil <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, well, we, I guess, yeah, Super Chat Ketchup. Okay, no, you know what? I'll read one from the backlog, so... It's the true title. Thoughts on the new Ghostbusters? None of us have seen it, as far as I know. I have not seen it. And honestly, I don't have any interest out? in seeing it. I forgot that came out. Completely. I thought I'd be interested in seeing it, and then I just <clears throat> didn't. Um, and I haven't, and I, I think once it Red comes Letter out... Media video on it. Yeah, I did that too, I, I just... I don't know, I just I haven't got the drive, I thought I would, but I don't. Yeah, I just, I just don't care. Uh, got my PC gaming going strong also, thanks Rags. Oh, uh, you're welcome, I'm really glad that you're uh, doing it, and hopefully you're really, really enjoying it too. And, um, yeah, anything else you guys want to say before we head out? Nah, um, honestly, I think I'm a, uh, I'm a okay. I was, I was just reminding, I'm, I'm doing the Metals Forge now. The, 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 that's my, my shill for that. I don't know if the, did you put a link for that? No, no, it's Twitch. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, probably gonna skip the, the one this week because there's some work to do before I, I'm on my vacaciones. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying oh, to do one bilingual. early, early next mm. week. And maybe do two next week. So there's like the, the there's like the catch up, I guess. Also on Monday, I planned a a, a, a drunkle stream. So that's gonna happen on on the Twitch. So that should be fun. All kinds of massive will be there. It's gonna be gonna be good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for for hanging with us, for donating, and for uh, well, just. The insight you guys provide here. We're gonna go now. Have, have yeah, a we'll little sleep, eat, or assorted other humany things. Um, yeah. We'll see you guys on Saturday. Get hype.
Good oh show. yeah, we'll see you then. We'll talk about the Spundo. Yeah. Slum. It's a Spundo man. Oh, the last one says Super Chat Ouroboros. All right. Good night, everybody. Toodaloo. Goodbye.